here on Insomniac Game Theater, Phenomenon Senpai gets all the ladies. Um, thanks, I think. Mr. Phenomenon, sir, this is my station ID. Okay, thanks, bye. Yeah. Live from the Insomniac Game Theater in Chicago, it's the Very, Very Late Night Show, starring Phenomenon. Featuring Blue Bears, Tonight's guests are Master Tonberry, Becky, and introducing Karen. With the very, very late night show band, I'm your announcer, Thorngar. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's Phenomena! So close. So close. What's up? It's showtime. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday? Does that mean anything? I don't know. Does it mean anything to you? Does Monday mean anything to you? To me, it means the end of the stream week. The second day of retro streaming. What is it? Ephemeral Fantasia. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's say hello. Okay, bye. Hello, Night Dreamer is here. Heimlich, good to see you. Sen says good luck. Heat wave. It cooled down a bit here in Chicago. It was mid 80s instead of high 90s. That's still way, way, way too hot for me. But it isn't like brownout territory like it was yesterday. Whoo! Oh boy! Oh boy! Magnumer, what's up? He asks if I am. What did Magnumer say? He said, Are you ready for this torture? I'm always ready, man. I'm always ready. Even for the bad stuff. Bring it. I'm a fight. <laughs> uh, who else is here? Isaac. I see an Isaac. Who else? I saw a Lich Smash who fixed his uh, driver issues. Hooray. Congratulations. Shulking. What's good? Lich, get us a picture, man. I want to see that setup. Durian sketched something last night, trying to come up with a shield for his dragonborn cleric. Let's show that off. I want to show off Durian's art. I want to show it off. Oh. That's not it. Well, I'll show this off then. Okay, apparently that's my going live tweet. You know, sometimes my copy paste just don't work. Really strange. Really strange. All right, let me just turn this on. Bam. How about that? That's kind of cool, isn't it? It gives me vibes. You know what that reminds me of? Mech Warrior. It reminds me of Mech Warrior. Like the, the clans in Mech Warrior. Like the, what are they called? The Jade Falcon and Wolf Clan or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? That's what that reminds me of. Reminds you of Firefox? It does look a little bit like that too, doesn't it? Lickety's guest starring. Yeah, she's been on that tree, so I'm keeping it going. Karita. I don't know what that is, Lich. What's Karita? You're never ready for a Feral Fantasia. No one was ready. <laughs> Hit it with a fish. Yeah, exactly. Karita is a mech warrior faction. Ah, okay. The only ones I know are the Wolf, the Jade Falcon, and Ghost Bear. I liked Ghost Bear, but that game was awesome. I really enjoyed Ghost Bear. That was a really good expansion to Mech Warrior 2. Get to use the Kodiak mech. That thing was beastly. 
Beastly. A beastly mech. I don't like mecha shit, but I like the mech warrior games in the 90s. I really enjoyed them. Why am I off center? Yeah, that's a little better. There we go. I, I like that. I don't like just being like over here on the camera and there's just all this dead space here. That's bad camera work, in my opinion. I can also just do a little scooch. A little scooch over. Matthews. Hello. Hello, Clarice. Hello. Doo doo doo. Get us that pick, Lich, if you want. If, you're, if you're, your setup's too messy right now, I totally get it. And then it would be like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. Let me show you something else that Bektar made. You guys know Bektar? She, she's, she's there for all of our D&D streams. She's done a lot of art for it, too. Just pop this one out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Uh, actually, it'd be easier if I do this. There we go. And then I can do this, right? So we get a nice little full screen browser view. The world needs more treasures like Zither. Check that out. Be the treasures you wish to see in the dungeon. <laughs> It's adorable. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> uh, she's done some of the screen art, Magnumer. She's done just a lot of like fan art, like non commission art. She did some art for uh, Ace, commission art for Ace and Dragon Wolf and uh, Thorangar. Uh, Peanut Butter Princess did a lot of the official like character portraits and tokens. in the layout. Um, Bakhtar's done a ton of fan art and some of the character portraits and tokens. And Bakhtar's done a ton of just random fan art for the campaign. It's really flattering. I know I was there, came by. I was wondering what that was about. But yeah, it was a cute little Zibby. Zibby. Chibi Zither. Zibby. <laughs> she said she's going to do the other characters too. So yeah. That's pretty neat. I have anytime what's up desert wolf how are you zibby that's right that's pretty awesome i saw that i was like oh my god it's so cute he helped anytime he do he do i didn't play station id to start because i was like oh desert wolf usually doesn't show up until later so i'll wait and he's here like, all right he's early cool how about that how about that Do, 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 do. Thanks for the host, Lane. How are you today? He's early. Guess what arrived today? One of my retro purchases. I want him to bring that emote back, Desert Wolf. I'm so annoyed that he got rid of it. People were using it nonstop, and then he gets rid of it. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Stop taking things away, people like. <laughs> this arrived. Who has played this? Beyond the Beyond on PS1. This is going to be a fun playthrough, I think. A fun stream. I don't know if the game's going to be fun. I like the sprite design on it, though. Honestly, let's see if we can get this camera to actually focus. There you go. There you go. I, honestly, I kind of like the way the art looks. So... That you know, chroma key always screws with it, but head diamond and garbage. No, I just want to play all these RPGs I never played before, good or bad. I mean, let's put it this way look at the next list. How many great RPGs are on that next list that have little or no votes? So, <laughs> you want good shit? Start voting for it. What can I tell you? <laughs> it's a major improvement over EF, so I've heard. Yeah, so I've heard. One of Bowie's favorite games. I know Palmer likes it a lot too. However, Palmer really likes average games. He likes to give, hit those obscure titles, right? So I always take that with a bit of a grain of salt. But um, much like myself, Palmer knows how to make basic ass games like that entertaining. So, hey, it's a great, ex I think it's a good stream experience, you know, because we can all rally around the cause of, wow, what were they thinking? <laughs> Bowie will support Camelot to the end. Yeah, I like Bowie's streams. I rarely get to catch them because of the time differences, but 
if I'm up late, I'll turn him on. It'll be like speed running MSF2 or Golden Sun or something like that. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. So I'm legitimately looking forward to playing Beyond the Beyond. I'm trying to determine if I should make it a sub incentive or just pop that puppy. I think I should make it a sub incentive, honestly. What do you think? I want your input on that. I like everybody's input on that. What do you think about making Beyond the Beyond a sub incentive? A step in the direction, you know? You're actually mad about it, Sen? You, were you hoping for more from it? Like you, you had uh, expectations from it and they weren't reached. I've seen that many times for a lot of games. They weren't thinking, says Magnumer. Touche, touche. Never had the quote pleasure of playing it before slain. Me either. Most of the games on our uh, watch list are blind and the next list. Most of them are blind, not all of them. I have marked the ones I've never played and that's the purple highlight on the next list. As you can see, most of them are purple. Um, there's quite a few I've previously beat, but it's been like more than 20 years. So effectively they're blind, you know, effectively them's blind. One of your childhood friends stole your jewel case and left you the disc and book. So you still have the game and book, but you have to use a case with a burnt CD. Wait, what? Are you saying you just need a case? I'm confused because you can find those on eBay. They're not cheap. Or you can just get reproduction cases on eBay, which are much cheaper. A generic CD case. Okay. A jewel. You just have a generic jewel case. Got you. I understand now. You said burnt CD. I was like, do you have the game or not? I'm confused. I got a little thrown off there. Yeah, I would look for... If you're okay with those repro cases, they're actually pretty well done. I personally don't want them because I like OG only, but I'm persnickety about that, I suppose, you know? It's just something about having the original that gives me this warm, fuzzy feeling. Like, hey, this is original, you know? We're playing an antique. <laughs> uh, an antique. There's probably people in chat like, listen to this freaking guy calling these games antiques. And then you go look at the release date and it's like, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, uh, you should get a double repro case for Dragon Warrior 7. Mine is in really good condition because I was the original owner of it, I think. No, no, no. I bought it used on Amazon, but it was mint at the time. So it's still in exceptional condition. And that, when I bought it off Amazon, it was like 2006, you know? So it wasn't really retro at that point. It was just not popular. Ascent, you have, I think you just find the case, honestly. I I do eBay searches almost every day. Um, and a lot of the times I get annoyed because I see a good listing. Oh, that looks like a good listing. And then it says just case only, you know, like, oh, come on. You can find it. You have to, you just gotta be patient, man. It's not gonna be right now, but you can find it and it'll be a reasonable price, I think. In my opinion, that's what you should do. Look for an OG case on eBay. Just make sure you always check the pictures and how much feedback the seller has. He mm -hmm. loaned yours? Yeah. You know what? That's what happened to my um, Ogre Battle cart. I loaned it to someone got it back it was broke like the game still worked but the plastic case was just broke and then when i went to college all those got auctions oh, fucking hell and what can you do oh no slain has got becky <laughs> oh no let me check that reward queue i don't think anybody's been checking that i still got boats on there did that it was a week ago jesus I just keep forgetting to check that. Okay, cool. Cool. Bikai. 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 Yes, you be a good Bikai to you as well, Isaac. Uh, just as a reminder, new bit emote. New bit emote. Twenty-five thousand. You've ever given up to twenty-five thousand or more bits in the lifetime of this channel. 
not in a single go like cumulative like your total amount of bits you've given on the channel is that much or more you get that emote the sea is invisible oh just like becky got it i get it i get jokes i get jokes do, 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 do. why do they keep summoning the murder well you know they like the attention sometimes you just want a hug even if that hug involves suffocation I don't kink shame. <laughs> so yeah, beyond the beyonds there. Um, genuinely though, your advice. Beyond the beyond. 400 subs? Sub score? What do you think? Should we do it like that? Like make it a 400 sub score game? Because this is one of those games that's just... It's going to be hard. I know that much. I know it's a very hard game. Like difficulty spiky. Very spiky in difficulty. A hug, but it involves a blade. Then gurgling and choking. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Something I think we can all appreciate right now. While you think about that question I just asked. Is this. Right here. Grand RPG sale on GOG.com. Why don't we take a look at that? I don't have any affiliation with GOG at all. I just saw this. Ah! Number 068. Dude, KOTOR 2 getting some love. Thank you, Desert Wolf. 146 pence. Thanks, man. Um, I have no affiliation with GOG at all, but I saw this sale. There is a week long sale for massive amounts of old RPGs on GOG and some new Baldur's Gate games, Neverwinter Nights, uh, Gold Box games from like the early 90s, Divinity Original Sin, Outward, Pathfinder Kingmaker, KOTOR 2 and 1 and 2. Uh, the list goes on and on. It is just like RPG gold, the sale. Like, any good RPGs on PC are basically in this sale. It's nuts. It's nuts. Yo, what's up, Reg? Dragon Age for five bucks? Really? Yeah, the sale's actually really good. Like, these percentages are, like, 50% off, 75%, 80 90% off on a lot of these games. It's pretty crazy. Let's see. How much is Divinity Original Sin? It's 50% off. Original Sin 2. Original Sin is 66% off. Kingmaker is, uh, let's see, that's more than 50% off. Um, Dragon Age is 75% off, it's five bucks. Yeah, so like, here's, I think I linked it in chat for you, check it out. Um, I don't get anything from this. I just wanted to share it with you because most of us love RPGs, right? And I think this is a good, a good link to share. This is Valhalla Music, Athena, yeah. I don't have all the best music. It's been a hallmark of the channel for a good four years now. Having great music. I can't play all the great music I used to anymore. DMCA, you know, worries aside. But I can still play a lot of great music. <laughs> and this is music that you are allowed to play. So, yeah. GOG always has great discounts on their sales. It, so I see. Ultima games are in here. Shadowrun games. Those are cool games. Tyranny, I heard, was decent. Legend of Heroes games are in here. Like, all of these are on sale. Pretty awesome. I don't get anything from it except being able to share with you something that you maybe you've been waiting on an RPG and you couldn't afford. Maybe you can now. So, you know, just a little uh, signal in there for something that I think is a good, a good deal for a great, great deal of games. Pretty awesome. You're interested in those East games? I played a song from one of the East games for our intro from uh, East 3, Oath and Felgana, which is amazing. Great time with that. Phone charge, picture taken. Nice. Let's see if we got that uh, somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. Slightly blurry, but we'll get the picture. Let's check out Lich's very cool setup here. Uh, why is that so tiny? There we go. How about that? Nice triple monitor set up there. 
Are you able to get them all like wedged close together so that they're, you know, like the bevel differences aren't so bad? Why is that? Why? Why is that? I don't know. Why is that? Hi, Suntop. How are you, man? Yeah, look at you spin on the tree. You are, but you just clean. Gotcha. Gotcha. Very cool, man. Thanks for sharing. I like it. I see your little Behringer mixer over there on the right. It's behind my camera. There. Little Behringer mixer over here. Looks like a 802. It's probably an 802. Good stuff, man. I like your setup. Nice and clean. Lots of lots of desk space. Where the hell's your key? Oh, you got one of those keyboard trays. Gotcha. Keyboard tray. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, that's nice. Good job, man. It's a 10 channel. Ah, okay. 1002 then, right? Or is that 1002, I think, is the model? Xenix Q1002. Hey, local host. What's up, man? How are you today? It's good to have you folks here today. Ease games? Yeah, I like ease games. Um, so one thing to approach with ease games, they're action RPGs primarily. So there's, it's not turn-based. It's like a more fast-paced, challenging Secret of Mana style gameplay. Um, without the terrible menu system. <laughs> so yeah, really fun games, really great music in them. Um, those games are r r excellent pacing a lot of the time too. So you just feel like you're always in the action. Something's always happening. You just lose hours to them. It may or may not be easy to ease into. Oh, Wes. Oh, last place. How are you today, man? What's good? You do enjoy action RPGs? Right up your alley then, dude. Right up. I, try, I would start with Origins. I've heard Origins is really good. And that was, I think that's like a remake of the first, the first ones or like a prequel to the first ones with the same style of combat, you know, like the action heavily, heavily based action RPG style. I would go with Origins to start off. Can we put Leth on the wheel instead of Reg for the night? <laughs> Poor Leth. <laughs> Taking it easy tonight? Hey, thank you for choosing uh, our community to take it easy in. We always like to have you, Leth. Puns aside. Uh... <laughs> Let's should not be punished. Oh boy. All right. I don't think anyone answered my question. So I, I asked it twice and no one said anything. So I'm going to take that as a sign not to ask it anymore. So we're going to move on from that. Uh, okay. See, so I shared the sale. Baka emotes new. Our fail emote still does not work for some mysterious reason. For some mysterious reason, it's just broken. You missed the question. I mean, I asked it. I'm not saying, I'm not blaming you. I'm saying that nobody here wanted to answer the question the two times I asked it. To me, that's a sign that they don't want to answer it. So I'm not going to ask it again. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. When people don't give feedback when you ask for it, it means that they're not going to do it. So I'm just not going to bother. Fail mode is failing. Yeah, right? It is. It absolutely is. I don't get it. I tried to upload it twice and it won't work. It doesn't make any sense. It's the 50,000 bit tier emote. Um, I automatically get full access to all my own emotes and it just doesn't work. Well, you did? Well, I missed it, son. When did you say that? I missed it. Sorry. I don't see it anywhere, but whatever. I believe you. I believe you. Some stream time for games I choose. Um. Mm, that is a game that I'm choosing, isn't it? 
It's a game I'm choosing to slot into an incentive. Yo, what's up, Big Bear? How are you? You get distracted looking at the RPG. <laughs> Bow, bow, bow. I gotta do something to keep people invested in, um, uh, in, um, the upcoming content. Cause it's not working right now. So that's what that is. Maybe you forgot to hit enter. <laughs> oh boy, the amount of times I've done that. Whew. Boy. Four fifty? That would require over a hundred subs. Yeah. You literally typed it out. I mean I if you typed it, I just didn't see it, but I can't I scrolled up and I didn't see it, so but I can't scroll all the way up. There's like a a point where it starts cutting off messages. <laughs> Yeah, we're sitting currently at 332. 332. You are a strange one. I think we all are. Don't worry. We're all strange. You're re-downloading an old game to show what this setup does for you and why you use it. Okay. Snitch Weasel, what's up? Derpin, you derpin? Um, another uh request. One other thing that has been, I've noticed, I have seen infinitely less of is, um, because I keep forgetting to remind people, is clips. Um, if you see something funny or interesting happen on the stream, clip it and share it. Clip it in chat, share it in chat, share it in Discord. Because I've been like looking through my clips, I'm like, they're just not happening anymore. It's like, night and day compared to just half a year ago so maybe it has to do with the ui changes i don't know honestly because i don't clip things myself a lot of the time um because i can't remember when these moments happened in my vods <laughs> but yeah if you see something funny you see something interesting or it could be good a good alert or something like that clip it share it in chat share it in discord let other people see it Here's a good clip from last week. Let's check it out. Oh God, yeah, that was a good one. This is a good example right here. Let's 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 take a look. <laughs> let's take a look here. This is called. If you want to know how you're supposed to feel about this game, okay. Here you go. If you want to know just how you're supposed to feel about this game, if you want to know. How you're supposed to feel about this game. Something went wrong. Good. Good. <laughs> Here you go. So that's how you're supposed to feel about this game. Something went wrong. <laughs> I can't believe the timing of that. <laughs> That, that just in three words sums up the entire experience of Ephemeral Fantasia. Something went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. I can't believe how perfect that lined up. And I didn't even recognize it at first until, <laughs> until people in chat started saying it. I'm like, oh god. That's just so, that's so perfect. <laughs> oh man. What can you do? It's a fair assessment, right? <laughs> it's a very fair assessment. Uh, but yeah, all I'll say is, um, giving feedback on that stuff, clipping, it helps and I need your help. So you want to help out? Even if you're clipping, it's a few views, it's still Honestly, I, I just the thing I've noticed is they compound when there's a lot of good clips in a short amount of time They all start getting looks because people are like oh that was funny. I want to see if there's other funny moments, right? 
And if there isn't one of those, then they're not going to look for more. I'm just speaking from my own experience. If I go to someone's clips and I can't find something I like, I'm not going to keep looking most of the time. I'm like, okay, I'll just go back to the live stream or whatever. So doing a lot of them is actually really helpful. It really is. Um, so long as um, you get just the one that has like 10 views or so, you know, and then it's it starts to balloon on. They start to build on each other. It's really interesting basic psychology that was funny i want to see more funny things let's check another one right your last clip from this channel is from three months ago yeah i noticed you used to clip all the time and then you just stopped i was like oh okay he must be busy <laughs> uh, that should be submitted to twitch's top clips of 2020 yeah i i i've it's really good, but everybody would have to know that game to get it. That's the problem. It's very niche. And I mean, we are very niche around here, aren't we? It's RPGs, retro D&D. That's niche. It is. Whether we'd like to admit it, it is. Oh, nice on top. That's really cool. 5,000 views. Awesome, dude. Let's see what my most popular clip is, and it's not... <laughs> And I mean, the, of ones I've made, not of, uh, not of my own channel. I don't even know of my own channel. I think the most popular one is not even anything. Let's see. Oh, right. It's from BGG's channel. It has a hundred views. So it's old and doesn't get views anymore. <laughs> That's the most popular one. So yeah, I don't know how to clip is what I'm telling you. I have no idea how to actually make good clips. I'm a terrible video editor though. So that's 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 a big problem. Like I I don't like video editing. I'm not good at it, but I, there's a lot of things in content creation that I really do enjoy doing. It's just that's not one of them. That's all. It's a different skill set and some people are really good at it. You did get busy? Good. I hope it's been a good kind of busy. You always forget it's a thing until someone points it out. Yeah, I'm trying to train myself to ask for it more when things happen in a game, and I just keep forgetting. Legitimately. Last clip from your channel is something funny. is like five months ago. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's hard for me to have. I mean, I hadn't had many since that one you made left. Like, that was like, it had been months before that. The last one you did was from Lunar 2, the bathhouse scene. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty pretty good. Uh New Becky? New Becky. What is this? This isn't like one of those ear destruction ones. Oh no, this is from three months ago. Okay, yeah, no, this is something else. Let's go, uh, here. I want to see what this is. New Becky. E? Oh God, that'd be funny. It could be this. I think I'm sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that was creepy. Oh Uh, <laughs> oh, no, that was terrifying. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man, what is that? <laughs> Voice changers are so weird. <laughs> Holy crap, four thousand! Right, yeah, the most most views any of my clips have ever had is like a hundred. Like I said, I don't know how to make clips. <laughs> I have no idea. It's just an alien. It's an alien skill set to me. It needs to be an alert sound effects. Make it happen. Crap it out for me. Let's do it.
Let's do it. That's another thing I've been trying to brainstorm with people. <sighs> As of four days ago, it has zero replies. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I need to find people I can brainstorm with because it's like pulling teeth. Holy shit. Holy shit. You can get the audio off that? Nice. Hell yeah. Let me put a no for it. Becky laugh alert. Okay, I got it. You're bad with ideas? No, you're not. You're just being self-conscious. That's the same bullshit excuse I get from every- I'm bad at ideas! And then they give me like three awesome ideas. It's like... Okay. For sure. The clips of yours that have most views are for speedrun skips. So technical fascination type of clip. You're human, you're literally designed to have good ideas. Touche, yes. Touche. <laughs> have I done the sound effects for the slime quest? No. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I was thinking about alerts for them, but I haven't had time to think about them yet. For a week and a half now, if that tells you what my schedule is like. I haven't had time to think about it, let alone put it as an alert. Yikes. The question is, what is a phenomena? The question is, who cares? It's part Three of why. Ephemeral Fantasia, game of the millennium material here. Ervid, thank you for the sub. It's part of why I keep saying I need help with shit, because I don't have time to do anything. I just don't. I just don't. Plain and simple. My Wednesday is my one day to work on stream stuff, and it's like six to ten hours of D and D prep, and then if I have energy, I can spend like thirty minutes doing something else. But that's it. I just don't have time. What is a phenomenon? It's a it's a horribly named village in DQ eleven. <laughs> oh man. DMs do a lot of prep. Tons. Yeah. Tons. Yeah. Yeah, I need help. So, I'm going to be probably... Soon... DMing mods and asking them what they want to do, if anything. And if not, we'll figure it out. Because I am overwhelmed and I'm just needing help. They don't just improv on the spot. Um, they should. But I'd say 80% of my campaign is improv. About 80% somewhere in there. About that, yeah. Like I have the, yeah, that's okay. Sorry, I didn't get it. It's text, I don't get it. Text to me is just like, whoosh. Ervin again, thank you, man. First sub of the night, much appreciated. Game of the Millennium, sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, man. It's a very eventful town. By the time you go through it, you have to ask yourself, now what? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha-cha. What are we cha-ching? What are we cha-ching? We're charging. Oh, that one, yeah. <laughs> the dance? The dance? Yeah. The dance. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? I didn't think they would all dance. <laughs> This was like one of my favorite moments. They're all just dancing. Look at fucking Silvando is the best dance. Look at him. <laughs> you know what like my favorite part of this is though? Hammer dance. Oh my god. Is Jade? <laughs> since she grew up in Dundersill, she's doing like an Irish here. jig. Look at him go. <laughs> Holy shit. Cause that whole city is like super Celtic. So she's just doing this like really cool Irish dance. <laughs> Oh man. And Serena just looking white as hell in this clip. 
That is like the worst white girl dance of all time. <laughs> what is going on? I didn't think they would all dance. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at fucking Silvando is the best dance. Look at him. <laughs> He's like fucking doing the MC da hammer dance. Silvando obviously oh, knows how to dance. Dude has got moves. <laughs> Get this dude over here. Look at him go. Oh, man. Holy shit. The fucking arm <laughs> movements, the shoulder shimmy. <laughs> God damn it. Dude, what a legend. <laughs> what a legend. Holy Banana. crap. Okay. Banana. Holy crap. The question is, what is a phenomena? The question is, somebody's okay. gunning for reg right now. Somebody's gunning for reg right now. Banana. Why is it doing Banana. them all one of it? Oh, cuz it was anonymous. I forgot about that. <laughs> question uh, is, what is a phenomena? Let's do one of those. The question is, who cares? Reg equips his leg shields. I'm surprised Reg didn't get hit Banana. by those gifts. Banana. Dude, what the hell? Holy crap. Is, <laughs> okay. Is, who cares? Well, uh, <laughs> what? All right. Anonymous Banana. five gift subs and then 10 more for Banana. Matthews. Well, Reg, people are gunning for you right now. And he still didn't get a sub. The question is, who cares? He still didn't get one. So not only is he probably going to get banned, maybe. He didn't get a sub. <laughs> it's still going. Why is it doing this? Oh, man. question is, what is a phenomena? The question is, who cares? All right. Get some pizza box arm guards. There you go. Now it's starting to do it. Here we go. <laughs> Nice. See, that one just said gifted 10. Always gift anonymously. Oh, no. Oh, no. But then I can't properly thank you. Well, I mean, it is your your gift. You can do it how you want, right? Okay. Three wheel spins. Well, then. That came out of nowhere. Thank you. Munches and bunches. I want to see if that flickering continues if I change something here. Okay, never mind. Just do it later. I just get so distracted by video capture. I really do. I really do. Your leg shields are defending you against the sun. <laughs> uh, oh, you just missed it. Okay. Let's write these down. What page am I going to write this down? Okay. Becky, we got two. We got two Beckys to do. All right, because we still have one summon from earlier. From uh, I think that was slain. I think it was slain. Next spin. This music is not good right now. All right, this is not. There you go. Got him. <laughs> you got him. You got him. Oh, and I owe you a gift sub. That's one reg ban. Is it going to be two? Is it going to be two? I like to do all the gifts at once. So let's see what we get. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Cab filter. Okay. So everyone say bye, Ray. <laughs> While I give the sub to the community. Putty Putty would have been good music. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The leg shields didn't work. Mr. Reg. Bam. Bam. Got him good. Got him good. Well, we're at 348 already somehow. Thanks to generosity. That's 52 away. Well, then. <laughs> <laughs> you get to see it normal now. It's true. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh huh. Yep. Well, I'm 
invisible. It was just like morphing pixels on Rummy's boobs. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now I look like I belong in this game. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> that was a little uncomfortable, okay? <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, boy. Hey, what are you going to do, right? <laughs> you kind of like the predator. It was a kind of the predator look. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Think how rummy felt. It's, I, I don't care. She's always yelling at me. She's so mean. She's so mean. So, okay. This is how in deep, how deep we are in deep, how deep we are into this game. I want to give you an idea of the lengths that I just went. Oh God. Which is the newest save? Um, <laughs> why doesn't this have a timer? Day two. Third loop, fourth loop, fourth loop, fourth loop, third loop. What? What's the newest one? <laughs> I can't. I think it's this one. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> Where we got to run these boobs? <laughs> Jesus! Oh, I'm invisible. It was just like morphing pixels on Rummy's boobs. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, man. What was I going to say? <laughs> I think this is the newest save. Oh, this is how deeply ingrained this miserable game has us. Before stream, I spent an hour looking at the first VOD to review the cutscenes from the beginning of the game and get ideas on what to do next. <laughs> This game made me research my own videos. I hate watching my own videos, but I had to do it. <laughs> oh, man. But before we go any further with that, we got two of these to go. So we'll start with the first. Oh, yeah. Big, big, Becky coming at ya. Final boss of the D2 series gonna murder you with squares. How you like that, Slane and everyone else? Imagine this is the face of the final boss. How are ya? Okay, this is awkward. There's a lady walking by and she's looking at me. Okay, she left. Okay. Okay, that's one Becky down. <laughs> What's the problem, Night Dreamer? What is this problem? Imagine having no videos and knowing true hoarder. Hoarder. Horror. Ah. Another problem from the list. Oh, that list. The, the list of problems this game has is that it required me to look at my old videos. Yeah. You're right, though. You're right. Okay, so there's a bandit attack. Sometime in this game, on day three, it's either 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. Okay? <clears throat> Great. We already missed some stuff that I got some ideas on what to try on day two. Um, so I'm almost tempted to just reset the loop. No time plate on saves? Oh, good call. For a game like this, that is pretty bad. No time played on saves. Good call. So here's what I'm going to try next loop. We're going to try to find Rummy bathing again. Because that seemed to have led to a whole bunch of cutscenes. The last time it happened, it was 
in the morning on day two, and it was... It was over here somewhere. Like, I think it was, like, in this area, if I'm not mistaken. But it also could have been in here. But it led to a bunch of cutscenes. A casual 21 gigs. Oh my goodness. Is that all? What is that game? Oh, that definitely looks like Mech Warrior. Check this out. It's gonna be hard to see. It's gonna be hard to see. Oh, those circles are still there. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, this is a triple wide uh, res. That's kind of cool. Mac Warrior Online. That's still around. Wow. Hi, Lickety. What are you doing? Okay, she's gone. We'll turn off cat cam. I need to put that on my stream deck. Give me a sec. Overlay. <laughs> Boob mapping. I almost accidentally hit the $789 alert. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Don't do that. Let's not do that. Oh, uh, it's a source. Right? Yes. The cat cam and then um, scene this one cat cam. Okay. So, hey, I got it. All right, cool. What is that alert? It's two minutes long. It's $789 because it was requested of me to add it. Okay? I'm not that crazy, but people are like, can you add this alert? I was like, oh, oh okay, sure. So I did, and eventually somebody hit it. <laughs> and it was like two minutes long. And if you want to see it, well, no, 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 no. Don't you share that. This is a... Don't... It just destroys the secret and the fun of it. Don't you share it. <laughs> he's right. He's got proof. But, but, yeah. The whole idea I made that alert is so it would be a big event if it happens. It's like two minutes of craziness. Two minutes of craziness. But yeah, uh, there was when we uh, beat some Nautica. So, I mean, if you really want to go out of your way to find it, sure. But I uh, don't like to put my alerts on clip demand because part of the fun of them is getting to use them as reactions to certain things, right? That's the whole idea. That's the brainstorming I need from people. I have to seriously start finding people who have the time and are willing and able to help me with that stuff. Because it's just... People are busy. Like a busy lives. You remember? Yeah. Oh, okay. You were there. All right. <laughs> it's a pretty pretty. Ah. Lich, thank you for showing those images, by the way. That's really cool. It has to make playing those games mega fun to have them on triple wide like that. That's very cool. It's very cool. Should make an audio alert of something went wrong. Okay. Something went wrong alert. If someone wants to cro uh, crop out the sound for that and DM it to me, I'll take it. You watch Putty Commercial, you have one question. Sure. Sure. 
Claire's been really good. Like, she started out terrible, but she's like my magic caster now. I like Claire. And when I went to loop four, she immediately was waiting for me to rejoin. I was like, yes, that's awesome. You know? Why does Putty eat each other? Delicious. Even the putties recognize that they taste good. <laughs> Send it my way, Dorga City. Dorga City sound effects. I have a secret channel in Discord called Brainstorm um, that I use for this kind of stuff that only mods and like a couple other individuals have access to because it's very spoiler heavy for channel content coming up. <clears throat> Alright, so my ideas that I currently really want to do are on day two and we're on day three. So I can try to do the bandit attack, maybe. Yeah, because we're on day two, right? We just had that miserable date with Rummy that you have. After you finish discarding SCART switches. Uh, G-SCART. It's like $200. G-SCART. It'll sync strip and properly reorganize any SCART signal it receives. Uh, just go to Retro RGB, man. That's where you find out all of that stuff. Yo, Parks Lady, how are you, miss? Small Parks Lady. Time to review our first loop. As I said, Mr. Reg, that's what I was doing before stream. That's how hard this game is. I don't ever do that. <laughs> so, my ideas I want to do are help with the bandit attack on day three. Go to the wedding announcement ceremony. Um... It's currently night, the middle of the night on day two in game. It's like 11 p.m. So, folding laundry, feeding the cat. I gotta say, this map and not having it drives me nuts. It really does. I have not been able to find out how to get that map for the life of me. Game still has good music. Not gonna lie. There's some really good tunes in this game here and there. This is one of them. It really does have some good tunes. I found five five regrets, remember? That's what we call our money now. We don't we only have 39 because I just spent 9,000 of it to upgrade the main character's weapon. I have, I have, I have 39 regrets. You end up listening to it forever. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Rank and Dactylus over here with the uplifting message. <laughs> it's just like, Christ almighty, you just never stop hearing it. It's locked. Interesting. Hear you out, I'm hearing you out. Nocturne RNG is signal that it is displeased with you. Oh dear. They are sold out? Yeah. Yep. They usually are, but it's the best out there. It's the best one that exists, Orca City. Uh, but Retro RGB will have alternatives on there you can look at. Why is Reg still here? I mean, we got him once, but he, he came back like a phoenix from the ashes. Although more accurately, it was more like a, a chicken from the ashes. You know? Of a half half stripped chicken <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what is going on here <laughs> all right well this chicken might be cooked so here we go <laughs> thank you for the four gift subs desert wolf let's see what happens what is this nat 20 dice not, i like it you don't like it oh man Feels bad. Another Becky! <laughs> he dodged it again! Alright, let's do that one right now. I still have two to do, so... It's new. I, it's not. I just only used it on D&D, &D, so... And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna use it. 
I'm just gonna use it. You're damn right you're gonna use it. Let me smash. I'm getting tired of finding finny bears in treasure chests. You should be finding Becky's, all right? Those are way more valuable. Man. Whose turn is it? Desert Wolf, I'm going for you this time. Actually, you know what? Never mind. We're gonna kill Reg. We're gonna kill Reg. Reg is the reason that I keep getting summoned. Because they're trying to kill Reg, not me. Oh my god. This world is not fair. It's just not. I can't wait for 2021 when I can go back to happily murdering people without consequence. That, yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Three Becky's. All right. Woo. This door's locked. Interesting. That never happens. XCOM Pro Tags? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <clears throat> I'm tempted to crunch my audio more so that I can... So, okay, so bear with me. If I crunch it even more, I can talk like this more often. And when I get loud, it won't overwhelm you. But then it might get a little muddy. It's kind of boomy right now, isn't it? It's a little boomy. It's a little, just a bit boomy. This makes it a little less boomy, but not much, you know? But I'm usually a loud person, and I'm kind of talking like this all the time. You, you feel me? You feel me? Reg, see me here tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Desert Wolf, but tomorrow is movie night. So you can hang out with us and fake ban him there. Okay? Does that sound equitable for you? Can we do it that way? Alright, it is now midnight on day three. Um, I need to write down somewhere here. God, there's- where do I even put these notes anymore? This game is such a mess. Locked. Door. Day two. South of Central. Okay. See me here Thursday. <laughs> well, this seems like it's far more in reach now. We're 352. If we hit 400, this, which looks really cool retro style, will be played after Ephemeral Fantasia. <laughs> Uh, could you tell what I was holding up there? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Beyond the beyond, correct. To infinity! Am I really that fat? That's so weird. That, that's what he asks a complete stranger. I just, I'm worried about that gentleman. What kind of people is he hanging out with? That was an interesting watch we did. We did Galaxy Quest recently for a Tuesday. What do you guys want to watch tomorrow for movie night? We've been doing it every week. I found a Fire Emblem Awakening. That's a good game. It's easy, but it's a good game. Star Wars Episode 3? Why? <laughs> hey, Wolf, hello. Hello to yourself. Everyone say hello to Wolf. You remember this game. I am I apologize then for dredging up old old traumas. Jokes aside, there are people out there that appreciate this game and I envy them. Um This isn't a well built game, but I guarantee nostalgia can give people a lot of fun and meaning in this game. Um, and I always want to hear from those people, like, what did you like about this game? Uh, for example, not to single the man out, but he did say it himself, but Sen, when he first got this game as a kid, he really enjoyed it. So to me, that brings up a dialogue. What did you like about the game, you know? What, what was it about the game that really, you know, did it for you? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Time travel is one of your favorite topics. There you go. This definitely has a, a time loop, right? A stable time loop in it, which is an interesting concept. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Dude, 
To see all the Star Wars memes. You want to watch that to see the Star Wars memes? Man, there's a lot of them. There are things to like in this? Yeah, some things. Uh, the music's honestly pretty decent. Um, what else? <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh here's here's what I honestly am enjoying is streaming this game. I think this is making a great stream experience. Um because we have found a lot of things that this game has done wrong. We really have. Come on, get out of the way so I can sequence break. Damn. He won't let me go by. Very funny came by. It's not funny. God. It's just, uh, why, are you, why are you gonna call me out like that? It wasn't bad at the time. The concept of Groundhog's Day RPG. Right. The concept is mega cool. The concept of this game. You're in an active, stable time loop in a JRPG. So you keep resetting back to day one. But, you know, retaining your knowledge after each loop. Catchy music and a good concept was enough to keep your attention. Same. If I had played this, like, when it came out, I'm not sure if I would have liked it or not, because I would have been, like, a sophomore in college, and I really wasn't playing a lot of games. But, yeah. <laughs> Kyo. Uh, I will say Rummy's outfit is terrible. Oh, my God. I guarantee if she was in an active combat situation, she'd be just picking wedgies the entire time because that thing just rides up way too high. Oh my god. She, they just turned that poor character into an active trope. Look, this is Bikini Badass Girl. She's there to be Bikini Badass Girl. That's it. Okay, but what, you, what about like active character progression and things like that? Maybe it's there, but, but you fucking demean that with her outfit. <laughs> yeah, Groundhog Day, exactly, Wolf. Very nice. And fan service. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, for sure. It absolutely was. 100% fan service. You made me something, Thor. Okay. Well, I love when you do that. Thor has been helping me so much lately. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you, Thor, whatever it is. Still trying to find that damn map. So one of the things we're doing with this game, any of you that are new or haven't seen me play it yet, this is a blind challenge. Which means that I have to beat this game fully blind. That in and of itself is the challenge. That's 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 it. That's the challenge. Because it's this game. It's a sequel to a station ID. Ooh, I love new station IDs. Yes. What's, we're going to play one, and then we're going to play another one. These are unrelated to the game, but here's one that we just did for Desert Wolf. You want to hear it? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. It's Desert Wolf. Hey, I'm still getting paid for this, right? Of course we're going to pay you. Don't worry about it. Okay. Mm, let's see. Okay. I fixed the cam. That's right. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Hello there. This is Dead Wolf, and you're watching Phenomenon on Twitch.tv, where we help anytime. About that rig. I, I kind of said it yesterday, but I, there, I, I have a genuine, real concern with this game. I, I feel like it might be impossible for me to beat this game if it requires being good at Sitar Hero. 
If I have to be good at Sitar Hero, I cannot beat this game. <laughs> like, factual truth. Right there. If it requires me to be good at that, I can't beat this game. It will be impossible. Everything else I can figure out and do. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. But that? That's like a f incapability of me. I don't have rhythm. I can't play those games. No, Dorka City. No. Thank you. That's very generous, but no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. Very kind of you, but no. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, what do we got from Thor here? Oh, no. Are you serious? Oh, Jesus. All right. All right. You got... Okay, so I'm going to leave it up to chat. Vote one if you want to hear Thor's ID now. Vote two if you want to wait till the first break. So we... You know, so it's more natural. One for now, two for the first break. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to go with chat's demand here. Sweepers. The name, just the name, I'm like cringing already. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of ones. <laughs> I, think, I think we have our answer. <laughs> you guys are like, I'm gonna hear it now. Okay, okay, okay. holy crap. <laughs> let's let's do it then. Uh... Oh, hold on, I gotta tag it proper. Album title. There we go. All right. Here it comes. Here it comes. New ID from Thor. It's about a minute. Are you still thirsty? Happened to me too. Hi, Thoringar here. And the makers of PT, in conjunction with Phenomenon Labs, have developed a new refreshing sensation you're sure to be sprinting to try today. Oh, no. Introducing Sweat Tea. Our proprietary, man-made, all-natural blend of fluids, electrolytes, and energy boosters will have you working up a lather in no time. We don't add any sugar or preservatives, so whether you're going hard in the streets or playing hard in the sheets, you can get sweat tea without feeling guilty. Cool uh. down and juice up with sweat tea. B.O. Original. <laughs> Available everywhere PT is sold. Official sports drink of Phenomenon. Find out more today at twitch.tv slash phenomenon. Did you just say B.O. Original? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I think we just scared all the viewers off. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. God damn it. Meow, says the cat. <sighs> Sweaty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, geez, Reg, that's a monstrosity. Yes, you can sell me a map, Jarbo. Damn it. Nobody will sell me maps. All right, I'm done searching for a map here. Here's what we're going to do. I don't think it's 6 a.m. that the bandit attack happens. I think it's 6 p.m., but I'm going to go there at 6 a.m., and if it doesn't happen, I'm going to sleep. For like 11 hours. Oh, it's five. Right. Derp. Anyone pictures available? Where can I get sweaty? Oh my God. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. available absolutely nowhere that's right can you get sweaty at the gym probably would be its 
biggest seller is the gym, yes. I think so. <laughs> uh, the statue of Snuffleupagus. Okay. <laughs> You've been drinking imitation brand PT? You might have been, yeah. You might have been, yeah, yeah. All right, it's 6 a.m., nothing happened. So, 6 p.m., all right. Let's go to the end. We're gonna go sleep with Claire. <laughs> Get it? That's not funny, even a little bit. It's not. <laughs> Where's your daughter? Where'd she go? She's been hiding from me. That's been a problem. We can't find her anymore. We think she's like Permagon or something. Cause she was supposed to show us around town and then she overheard our conversation with Claire and she's like terrified of us now. So yeah, <laughs> good. Do you want to rest now? No, I want to save. I can't save indoors. I, I, thanks, I hate it. Why can't you save indoors in this game? That is so weird. Adding that to the list of things not to do. <laughs> Can't save indoors. Okay. Great. Let's go save outside. You guys are like keeping chat lit right now and it's amazing. I'm so grateful. That's awesome. Thank you. <clears throat> Little good jazz, Jed. Okay, I saved. She's declared missing. No, Claire's with me. Okay, Bayou. Rissa's missing. Let's see what you can do with that one. I believe in you. What can you do with Rissa? Do you want to rest now? Yes, yeah, six hours. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. She's Rissa-ing. What do I want to do to Rissa? Make, sh make her wake up from the time loop. That is the goal. Three hours. So we just slept nine hours. This is so emblematic of my life. I just went to bed at six in the morning and slept for nine hours. Although more accurately, it'd be about six for me. <laughs> you know, somewhere in there. Uh... There you go. You guys are getting some better ideas there. Okay. She's not in their room. Yo, where's she at? A messenger announced your presence at the wedding announcement reception. Okay. Tonight, which is, according to my notes, day three is all I have written. I think it's out here. I think. Drinkers want to drink. They always be drinking. Okay. Some of these NPCs are woefully useless. You, come here. Who are you? Egan's daughter. All clear, sir. Why are you calling me sir? I'm just some derpy musician. I'm not a sir. The nerve of these guards. Oh. Hello, I'm old and I like food. 
That's that NPC's purpose. You know, Egan, yeah, totally. I know that name from the show Dark. That's the only place I know that name from. And that's probably not even the right name. <laughs> I'm a sure to our player. It me. So we just wait for like 30 seconds. It should trigger the ceremony, which is the bandit attack. What else? What other ideas did I have here? You am mostly lurk. Well, enjoy your lurk, Don. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, after day three, I don't really have anything. Honestly. Where's the ceremony? It didn't happen. Is it not here? Is it somewhere else? I don't know. See, I did, I, I, hello? There's people out here. They're like, yay, we're cheering. Is it back here? Do I have to go in the palace? <laughs> Oh, what a massively confusing game. We might reload. We might reload. We might. Now loading. Now loading combat. Because we're in a palace. And clearly when you're in a palace, you have to fight things. Oh, the goat barfing doors. <laughs> Omega? Why does the enemy scale with me? Thanks, I hate it. Ow. There we go, I paralyzed him. He don't get paralyzed. No more Doug. Yeah, he's Omega now. He apparently leveled up. <laughs> he apparently leveled up. This was supposed to be the ceremony, right? Maybe? No. So baffled. I don't have the notes as to where the ceremony is because I don't know where it is. I have no idea. Can I do this? There we go. That's a good attack. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. There are things to like about this game, all right? There's some things. There's some things. We're still fighting Alex, though. He is resigned to his fate. Yes. Yes. She killed something. <laughs> that never happens. That's too funny. She's actually getting kills. Party level up. I don't actually like getting party level ups anymore because I think those are what's tied to the enemy scaling to me. So leveling up is, and so this is actually a discussion we had yesterday and I wanna hear your input from it, but when you have enemies scale with the player, it de-incentivizes the player 
from wanting to level up and get more powerful. It makes them actively not want to. Because you're actively being punished for getting more powerful in the game. I don't understand why there are people that think that's a good idea. I want to. I want to understand why people think that's a good idea. Maybe it's at 8 o'clock. I don't know. It looks like they're all standing here waiting for something to happen right here. So I'm going to chill here until 8 and see what happens. For me personally, when you level up... Okay, I was right. It's the palace. I'm going to write palace in my notes. When you level up, you want to be able to go back and kick the asses of the enemies that gave you so much trouble earlier in an RPG. There's a satisfying feeling to that. At palace. Okay, I got it now. I have the location. You can't do that when the enemies scale with you. You never feel more powerful. You constantly just feel like you're walking or, you know, fighting an uphill battle. I've invited the island celebrities. This is the whole bandit attack. This gathering is my way of thanking you, supported my family. I offer you an early glimpse of the queen's wedding dress. Yes, thank you, Snuffleupagus. Dollar Store Sephiroth or Snuffleupagus. Yes, they are both accurate. Allow me to present my future wife, Lorel, in her wedding attire. Gasp! Well, she's not wearing a diaper anymore, so that's a plus. As much as a fashion statement of wearing a diaper that has a cape on it is, this is probably a little better. It's the bandits! Oh no! And then we get the music. This is bandit music. So this music's totally out of place. This is the kind of music you get when you're introduced to your next, like, RPG you know, party member who is like really cocky and smug and probably thinks he's the greatest ever. This is not the music you want to play when bandits are murdering innocents. <laughs> it's a the, the tone and the mood is a little out of place. It can be okay in open world setups. Generally level scaling is pretty bad. Let's see what else. How dare you come in here like that? Save Sir Snuffleupagus and the princess at all cost. <sighs> ding, ding, ding. Bandit gall hint. Be good and hand over the princess who had some devil. What a sinful woman she is, my princess. She can even charm bandits. You can stop the posturing now. What else would we be after? We want the ransom money. Unforgivable. Wicked people like you are not suited for the island. So here's going to be one of the funniest looking death scenes I've seen in an RPG. <laughs> the lines. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's just everywhere. <laughs> Boss! <laughs> Goodbye, gall hints. Uh. <laughs> Did you enjoy the new show today? Now he's getting all, like, creepy handsy with Pharrell. I don't care how many times I see it. It still amuses, doesn't it? A person really dies after all. Well, wow, he said something different. You've already become part of this island. You're just the same... You're just the same this one here. Five days in the island will never end. Unless, of course, I die. Give up, then sit back and relax, my new little friend, Tree Waifu. Okay, so he said different text that time. It's an insult to 80s action movies. Come on, the red lines, Magnum or nose. <laughs> Okay, so day three, that's really all I got for day three. That's it. Beyond this, I'm just, eh, just, I don't know, go level? I don't fucking know. Apparently we're already at day four now. 
What if I go to the reactor? Remember the reactor blows up? What if I do that? I somehow never zoned when I loaded the what? 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 Oh, right. There's enemies in here. This game is just absolutely baffling. Yeah. Oh, no. Six damage. Shoot. That's a pretty good ability. Even... Even... As a single target, it's just strong. Oh, he didn't kill that guy. Okay. I wonder if I put her on... Balance style now. If she's gonna be able to do damage. Not really, no. 98 is still pretty bad. Bonk! Doink! Oh, I missed! I wanted the doink! I wanted the doink! She learned guard circle. Okay, that's cool. Increase the defense power of all allies. Neat. Okay, let's see what that... Like, the, the description is what I'm looking for here. Guard circle. AP6. I don't know if that's a lot or not, but I like that it def increases defense. That's fucking cool. That's very neat. I, I, I appreciate that. Oh, damn. What's already falling? Crap. <laughs> Crap. Uh, yo, Jeff. Dude, thank you for the host, man. How's the Jeef today? Simply Jeff with the host. Yo, what's he doing here? Uh, tree wife. What is it? It's in the middle of the night. Bag off. Demon reactor. Uh, 12 a.m. Day four. Okay. I want to. I want to go in the reactor. That's what. That's that's I'll what. I'll give you your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> your motorcycle. You're doing mighty fine? Really? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. I like that, the sound of that. Level scaling can be okay when there's limited scaling. Reaching a point where you can get through fights more easily. Not having the encounters become completely trivial. Open world games can benefit by making sure the content always feels relevant. Regardless of which way you go through it. Man, that's hard to do too, isn't it? Get wrecked, Doug! There, now we have speed and defense. Maybe. I hope. Hurry! Speed rapidly increases. Last time I used this, he got he took damage. It's really weird. I'm gonna try it again and see if that's right. Yep, it hurts him when he does that. That's kinda shitty. Dude, 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 dude. You can have level scaling like 7 Saga? Yeah, it's pretty miserable. Miserable. That game 
you basically will soft lock if you level too much, or if you don't level enough, you can't progress. So you just have to like know <laughs> when to try to progress or beat your head against the wall. Oh man. You acquired an SM7B for 100 bucks new. How the fuck did you get that for 75% off? The company that sent you the CD case gave you the right one because you did not pay for a reprint. Nice. How did you get a $400 mic for $100 new? That's craziness. That's craziness. Menus and comment obscure the center of the screen where all the action is taking place. Okay, let's add that to the notes. A buddy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll do it. But do you have the hardware to support it? This thing needs juice, man. You need to have some kind of interface and preamp that'll give it a hell of a lot of game before you can use it. That's, that's the issue with really good dynamics is they need lots of preamping. Uh, okay, menus in combat cover the action the uh, you know the ui is rather uninspired in combat isn't it it's just boxes and text that like overlaps on each other and it's hard to read like i notice my my eyes kind of just glazing over whenever i try to interpret it <laughs> don't make my pen run out of ink <laughs> They had to liquidate because of COVID. Yeah, got you. That makes sense. Yeah, you're going to want something that'll give it a bare minimum 59 decibels of gain. And a lot of preamps don't even go that high. So mixers usually don't. That's for sure. Channel strips usually don't. He's looking to sell anymore? I know, that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, what else has he got? <laughs> Damn. The festival is the best. It's, it's so good. Like, man, you don't even know. Stage cabs? Okay, I definitely don't have any interest in those. So much wrong with this game. I've gone through three pens. Wow. Wouldn't that be something, huh? I want to, like, reset the damn loop at this point. Because I don't have any ideas, really, of what to do from here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know, last time I did to just reset it was sleep like six hours repeatedly and then it just forced it. It was kind of funny. Yeah, uh, SM7B is 400 US dollars new forever now because you can you find these things used on eBay for like 300, 350 because they last forever. They lose little to no quality through heavy use. That's how well built they are. <laughs> so I hope this thing lasts me many years to come. Because <laughs> he's talking about the microphone I use. I like this music. It's a good song. The game has some good songs in it. That's how the song goes, by the way. You're welcome. His mixers were painful. Oh, price-wise, gotcha. Hey, yeah, use your DJ mixer for PA Studio Audio. That that lady was hitting on me and saying I was cuter than her husband. That's a that's a rougher relationship. Hey, do you have your eye on some beauty? This island's full of hot babes. It makes me excited. Uh, uh huh. C good. I'm leaving. 
You need a lot of juice to use an SM7B, Jeff, so be prepared to make more investments. Unless you already have really good preamps and mixers or and or channel strips. That's why I usually don't recommend dynamics to people if they don't think they can give them the juice necessary, even though it's always ideal in a broadcast environment to use one. You just, it's got to be right here in front of your mouth to sound good. And that's why you don't hear all the shit that's happening in the room around me. How does this song go? How does this song go, folks? How does it go? It goes like uh, Fallout 4 Mine, apparently. That's how it goes. That's how the song goes, by the way. <laughs> oh, my That's how God. The song goes, by the way. That's how it You're goes, welcome. all right? That's how it goes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Jesus. How's that for amp? It does not look like a microphone preamp, but it does look like it can give... <sighs> what the fuck? What is that thing for? Is this an amp for like... Monitor speakers? <laughs> it's not really a mic preamp. That's gonna color the signal. Uh, it might work. It might work. <laughs> it's for full stage. Okay. All I could say is try it, man. But that's a lot of juice for what you're using. It's. I would say you're using a nuclear bomb to take out the bicycle at that point. Like, if you really want the power draw from that thing for your one microphone, more power to you. <laughs> Go ham, buddy. Uh, holy shit, your power bill is going to, like, skyrocket. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's like, how many fucking watts is It's a thousand watts <laughs> per channel. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, that's that's hilarious. A thousand watts per channel. <laughs> I, I'm worried about that, like for just a microphone use, but try it. That's all I can say. Just give it a shot. See what happens. Okay, that's enough of that. I still can't get back there. I saw an NPC back there at one point. There was no way to get back there. I wonder if the mine gets like more mined out as each day goes by. Let's go visit the mine and see. I mean, it would kind of sort of make sense that it would, right? But we'll see. You need a new preamp? Just get a channel strip. Well, it's a 7B, so a channel strip wouldn't be enough. It just wouldn't. It wouldn't. Liner and Stray. Okay, these are new. Well, that was a very big enemy, but I beat it. Stray's offensive power increase. That's not good. Miss! Okay, he missed too. Maybe the rain is making them miss. I don't know. All right, cool. Three cloud lifters? God, no. I don't think that's even possible. I don't think it would carry phantom power from one to the next. Cloud lifters need phantom power. Do, do, do. 
Yeah, the rain is making it even harder to read the text. It's true. You're right. It doesn't look like the mine has changed appearance. The NPCs aren't here anymore. Oh, there's one. Pre sound Bluetooth. If you just want just the preamp, just the preamp, right? Pre sound? Don't you mean you mean presonus, don't you? Presonus, right? Area boo. There's something here called a boo. I don't see it. Let's fight it. Yo, it's the big Z. What's up, Zordon? How are you and the kitty today? Do you just have like crazy accuracy problems in the rain? I think you do. I'm going to heal tree wife him. Oh, uh, well, how much uh, gain does it give? SNR, no, that's not it. There we go. Twenty two. Woo hoo hoo. Do 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 do. Offers a maximum gain of eighty. It's pretty good. That'd be enough. Yeah, that would probably work. It's kind of a channel doubles his channel. Sure. How much does it cost though? How much does it cost? If it's an interface too, I mean, that might just take care of it. That or if you want to be like, you know, silly. I work my butt off again. You can get an Go XLR <laughs> if you like software. I'm personally not about the whole software audio thing. 200, that's pretty good. Monsters are known to appear here. Why doesn't anyone tell me about that? Remy was looking for radiant stones here. Why doesn't anyone say that about the palace? There's monsters in the palace. We're fighting rhinoceroses. All right. Just, just thought you should know that. I like that she has buffs. I I appreciate that. I respect that. She's listening now too, which is cool. Clearly, very funny. Very funny. I'm laughing so hard right now. Do, 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 do. What all these dang fish do? Very tasty. Sure. Stone gel crab. Very tasty. Great. You don't know what to do with it? Sell it. If you don't use it. Honestly, just sell it. What does this guy say? Long ago, the quarry on the northeast side of the island was used, but now the quarry closer to town is the only one in use. No one ever goes to that other one anymore. Give me a map. That's the only reason I came here. Damn it. <laughs> they won't give me a map. It's so rude. Did I get that already? I don't know. Squall nut. Nice. Do 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 do. Beep, 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 boop, boop.
Okay, question. If a game requires you to use a guide, like you've gotten to a point in the game where you have to keep looking up a guide just to figure it out, do you see it through to the end? And I'm saying you. We're seeing this through to the end. That's not even in, you know, a question here. But at what point do you just say, I'm done with this game? <laughs> At what point do you just call it a day? Am I looking up a guide? No. Are you looking up a guide? Because I'm not. Dude, depends on the game. Gotcha. Dude, 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 dude. All right, so there's nothing in this mine. It's a usual well. I found a crab. Okay. Great. But I wanted a map, not a crab. That's the only reason I'm here. I want a map. I found a super bomb. Okay. You won't look up a guide. Got you. You're not good with certain kinds of puzzles. So for games that have those, you'll be use the guide to be fine. La Mulana, you'd probably look up a guide. That's what I've heard about those games too, yeah. Mr. Sen. Came out as early because you have little attention, hold to convoluted games. <laughs> uh, anyone got any suggestions for refreshment? Lemonade. Hello, Liggity. Are you inspecting? Here. You want to inspect? Nah, you don't really care, do you? What are you doing, kitty? She's gonna go to the tree. Are you going to the tree? Yeah? Hi. Hi, lady. You wanna sit down? Come here. Come here. I'm being inspected right now. She has to sniff and look at everything. Oh, that's her. That's her camera now. You will. You will look up a guide after beating it if you want to hundred percent it. Gotcha. Whiskey is refreshing. <laughs> uh, yeah. There you go. Oh, there's the stuff. Look at he likes that. Yeah. Yeah. Sweat tea. There you go. Yeah. Have some of that. Cat is trying to claim my viewers. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, don't look at you with a cute little pain in the ass. With a cute little pain in the ass. She likes that camera because there's just this plastic thing sticking out in the air that she can rub on. What are you doing, Critter? Eh? What are you doing? I gotta move stuff out of the way. Sometimes she likes to lay on the desk. Like, like, is that your camera? Yeah? Is that your camera? You gotta rub that butt. Rub the butt! <laughs> what are you doing, lady? She's shedding. I'm gonna have to give her a good brush tomorrow. I'll just do it now. I can do some of it now. She loves this, too. She loves being brushed. There you go. I'm gonna give you a little brushing right now. How about that? A little kitty grooming. See? She starts rubbing everything now because I'm doing this. It's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, 
jeez. I'm gonna have to clean my webcam when she leaves. <laughs> Cause it's just covered in cat now. You made a mess, little lady. You made a mess. You know that? You made a mess, Lickety. You wanna lay down? There you go. All right. There you go. She's plopping over and she's not using my stream deck as a pillow this time. That's an improvement. Oh, she changed her mind. Okay. You got me excited too. You know, I was ready. I was ready for new behaviors, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. What is it? Are you done? Can you go now, please? Can you like lay down or find somewhere to chill? Hmm? That's fine. Just lay down right there. That's a great spot. You can do it. <laughs> oh, you gotta see this. You gotta see this. <laughs> Just plops right over. <laughs> That's her spot now. Just crumple in my notes, as you can see. Oh, uh, Jesus. Oh, man. What can you do, right? <laughs> What can he do? Oh, jeez. All right. Let's kind of do this. And, uh, and uh, yeah. All right. I, I'm going to have to move my chat now because she's blocking a whole, a huge portion of it. <sighs> all right. Moving on. She keeps moving the monitor. She's like licking herself with the monitor shaking on the, mo on the hydraulic arm. Like, oh, God damn it, can't. A festival? I want to go. I, I don't want to go to the festival. I've seen what happens. It's overrated. Super bomb. Egg. I can work for days on end without sleeping. Want to see? No. I, I don't. I don't want to see. Live berry. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in this one. Yo, it's a chaos kitty. What's up? Miss Yvonne is here, everybody. Say hi. How's your scooter, chaos kitty? Is it making you less tired after work now? Let's see if that locked door is open now. I want to check that out. Willing to buy a new body with active cooling. <laughs> yes, I would like one of those too, actually. Mine has many flaws. <laughs> I need a rehaul. Do 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 do. How many folks have I broke out of the time loop? One? I think? I don't really know. I think Claire is the only one. But I have no idea. I don't know how to know if I've broken them out of the time loop or not. Do 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 Active Kool-Aid? Is that like the kind of Kool-Aid that makes you poop a lot? This is open now. Are you done moving my monitor, cat? Are you okay? What's your deal right now, huh? You goof? You wanna lay down? She's being very indecisive. There, let me get that out of your way. Okay, there she goes. She's, she's going off to other adventures. Bye, kitty. <laughs> See you later. There's nothing in here. Why was this locked? This place is meaningless. A water charm, really. That's honestly pretty terrible. Pretty damn terrible. Was that a sign? What is that? Oh, that's a, a painting. Okay. Do 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 do. So that door was locked when we came here. It's not locked anymore, but there's nothing in it. You'd think something called a water charm would be useful, right? It's like some consumable item you use in combat. 
that just gives you resistance to that element temporarily. That's pretty terrible. That's not useful. You want to leave town? No, I want a map. I want a map. Give me a map. Why are you hiding maps? Why is this town so poorly mapped? Hasn't anyone who lived in this town been like, I'm really forgetful. I should make a map. Instead, they have segments of maps scattered all over town. <laughs> Parrots, 15 parrots just landed on your house. <laughs> that sounds like a cacophony. Uh, you can draw me a map. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. You'll take video next time? Yes, please do. That sounds like an interesting experience. All right, you know what? We're aimlessly wandering, it's time to reset the loop because we've accomplished absolutely nothing. We'll go to the wedding, we'll see the whole... I had turned into icicles. Claire will not be present for some inexplicable reason. You know, the usual. Uh, so do parrots are parrots literally wild animals in LA? That's that's pretty strange to me How does that happen Because <laughs> they're not native to there are they they had to have been like some kind of a transplant It's just a bizarre scenario All right, I should save first Nah, nah, nah. Mm -mm. Save game. For some reason, the music stops. Feels bad. Feels bad. Do, 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 do. Day two. Day two. Day three. Day five? Oh, that's third loop. Imported birds that were somehow released into the wild and thrive. Crazy. It was sleepy cat on a chair for company. That is best company. That is best company. Where's the option to sleep until the the next loop? <laughs> I need that option. That's the one I'm looking for. This one's a wash. It's a total wash. We'll just sleep for like 30 hours. That'll fix the problem. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you, Windows Defender. Please stop doing that. You need that option IRL? Oh, man. That'd be something. Day four still. Just hurry up already. Make it the next cycle. Big stretch. Yeah, I have no events written down for day four. I haven't found anything yet. God damn, how many times do I have to do this? 
should only be one or two more times. And then we'll go to the next loop and um, see what we can do with that. Man, I can tell so many of you just love this game. <laughs> oh my god. Time is gonna loop again. Good. That's exactly what I want to happen. I found a thawing. Where's Claire? She doesn't join me anymore. Well, that's annoying. I need to reload. Fuck. Now yeah, we're gonna take a break. I have to reload because I forgot to store my items. Oh well. That's okay. That's okay. I wanted to go and break anyway. Magnumer loves this game. It's his favorite. Feels need to reload, man. It's true. I like how it's showing the actual wrong image too. That's not actually what the capture card should be showing. You know, it's it's a thing. Just ephemeral fantasia things. <laughs> Oh, jeez. So what do we do on breaks? I play tunes. That's what I do. Good tunes. Good tunes. Goodly tunes. Play breaks for you, station IDs. It gives you time to stretch. You know, the usual. We were talking about ease games before. How about an ease game song? An ease game song works for me. You guys enjoy that. We'll be back. We'll be back. Phenomenon. This summer is a phenomenon.
Welcome to Phenomenon. This is Phenomenon. Welcome. This is Phenomenon. Welcome to Phenomenon. You can do anything at Phenomenon. Anything at all. The only limit is yourself. Welcome to Phenomenon. Welcome to Phenomenon. This is Phenomenon. Welcome to Phenomenon. This is Phenomenon. Welcome. Yes. This is Phenomenon. This is Phenomenon. And welcome to you who have come to Phenomenon. Anything is possible at Phenomenon. You can do anything at Phenomenon. The infinite is possible at Phenomenon. The unattainable is unknown at Phenomenon. Welcome to Phenomenon. This is Phenomenon. Welcome to Phenomenon. Welcome. This is Phenomenon. Welcome to Phenomenon. Welcome to Phenomenon. Sup, 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 my fellow insomniac nerds. This is High Nerd Dirty. Shouty, you the best. You the, you the best. You're watching Phenomenon. Go on. Where you come for the games and stay for the tunes. Don't go anywhere. It's not like we're getting any sleep as it is. Toodles! Hey everybody, welcome back to Insomniac Cat Theater. Now, he says it's a gaming theater, but I swear to God, it's nothing but cats. Do not listen to him. Do not listen to him. Meow. See? Nothing but fucking cats. Yeah, we're back. I'm back. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking through the break, everybody. I can tell you, all of you, each and every one of you here tonight, are they diehards. Why? Because I'm playing a terrible video game. <laughs> And you're here. We're enjoying this ride together. You drew the map. Oh, Kane Bio has made content for us. I can't wait. Let's see. Art share. It's got to be an art share, right? No. Okay. Uh, gaming. No, I don't see it. Where? Where is it? <laughs> where, where is it? <laughs> I don't see it. Kane Bio hit it somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. God, I am putting this in my art folder. I have a fan art folder. Well, just wait. Just wait. I love that it's labeled shit map. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. This is so wrong. This is so wrong. Okay, so this is the map of Ephemeral Fantasia, courtesy of Kane Bayou. What's this? Oh, the RPG Valkyries. Heck yes. I love that channel. That's a great place to go. Have you folks checked out the RPG Valkyries? They do lots of speed runs. Lady speedrunners all across the world banded together to make that channel. It's pretty, pretty damn cool. Welcome on in, Valkyries. How was your stream tonight? I am Phenomenon. We're playing Ephemeral Fantasia. We do retro games, RPGs, D&D &D every Saturday. Big channel quality. Small community vibes. <laughs> This map is inaccurate. It looks nothing like Australia. No, listen. You got Station ID Village, Pun Thicket with double C's, uh, Reg's Timeout Zone, still Pun Thicket. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> this stream. <laughs> okay, this is the map of Ephemeral Fantasia, apparently. Oh my god. Yeah, that went in the f that one went right in the fan art folder. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hi, RPG Chink. 
How are you? What were the Valkyries doing tonight? I'm very curious. Please check them out, everybody. It's a very cool channel. I was hanging out there before stream yesterday. They were doing this really cool crossover heavy improv-based D&D session. It was very funny. All of their characters were like secret characters from various franchises of video games. It was really funny. <laughs> I had a good time hanging out for that. Soul Blazer. Oh, I bet RPG Chick was taking part of that. She's pretty good at Soul Blazer. So I love that game. I hope to get it back someday. That's one of those games that I don't have anymore. One of those rare SNES carts that I just do not own anymore. I wish I still did. All right, I got to go put my stuff away before we reset the loop. I forgot about that. Rando Blazer and hang out with Natara. Oh, nice. Very good. Very good. There's a fly that keeps landing on my CRT, by the way. It doesn't belong there. Hold on. You brought him over to see Ephemeral Fantasia. It's true. That's brave. I respect your bravery. This game is so bad, it's attracting flies. Yeah. You right. You right. But hey, at least we can go to the pun thicket when, when we're feeling overwhelmed. <laughs> oh, man. Deposit money, please. Yes. Or, okay. We'll keep our antidotes. Super live berries. We have some magic bottles. This fog sphere, I don't care about that. I should just deposit the important stuff, you know? Like the stuff I use all the time. Everything else is whatever. Like these bombs, I don't use these. I don't use any of this stuff. Deposit money. All of it, okay. All right, perfect. Pun thicket. You want to know how to feel about this game. It's true. It's true. This is how you feel about this game. If you have clips, you feel free to share them. I need to put it. Hold on. I know what I can do here. Boobie doobie. 16, 9. There we go. That's what that's labeled as. So if I push that, it'll go there. EF is just chilling out over there in the corner. All non-upscaled and everything. Here you go. If you want to know just how you're supposed to feel about this game, this is how you're supposed to feel about this game. If you want to know how you're supposed to feel about this game, if you were curious, something went wrong. Good. Good. <laughs> I was trying to show a tweet and it said something went wrong when I was trying to explain to people how you're supposed to feel about this game. <laughs> it couldn't have been more perfect. Uh, <laughs> other people should get to see the glory. Right. This is one of those cases where I play this game so that you don't have to. <laughs> That's the, that's the way it be. That's the way it be. I play this game so you don't have to. All right, that guy tells me about masks. This lady yells at me for talking to her with undue familiarity. I am not going to memorize the names of everyone on the island. I don't know what gave you that crazy idea. Outsiders should stick to tourist attractions. I'm old and grumpy, and I yell at people. Okay, okay. So, okay, here's our next goal. If you're unfamiliar with this game, minor spoiler warning, trust me, you're not missing out if you haven't played it. Um, this game is all about a stable time loop where you keep repeating the same five days over and over, carrying your knowledge over to the next loop. Conceptually, that kind of sounds cool, right? 
Oh, wow. A game about stable time travel loops. Neat. That has a lot of potential. It sure does. Unfortunately, about 1% of that potential is actually reached. <laughs> so, you know. Do you want to rest now? Yes. We're going to rest until it's the next loop. And then go find Claire, who didn't rejoin us for some reason. It was a little weird. We're trying to break the time loop, and certain people we interact with, we can actually snap them out of the time loop so that when it loops, they retain their memories like we do. We've done that for one person, we think. We think it's just one person we've been able to do that with. And that's it. Um. So, yeah. It makes me feel like I've gotten nowhere in this game, but I have... Here's a little bit of fun thing about this game if you haven't seen me play it. I decided we should write down everything this game does wrong game design-wise as a primer of what not to do. And in the first four hours, we filled the entire page. <laughs> and we're well into page two. So, yeah. How about some highlights here? Confusing cutscene triggers. Characters during cutscenes clip into walls. No zone boundary indications. Audio crackles on load screens. <laughs> the game has Sitar Hero with terrible controls. <laughs> oh my god. The camera rotation during combat is nauseous. Extremely low detail enemies and textures. Names of enemies being Doug and Alex. And these are monsters, not just like dudes you're fighting in, you know, with swords. Like legitimate monsters named Doug and Alex. <laughs> the villain is an incel. And not like, oh, I love to hate this guy. Like, no, he's just creepy. In a bad way, like bad creepy. You know, like the kind you just don't even want to relate to for any reason at all. You can shove NPCs into geometry. There's enemies in town locations, and it's not explained for any reason at all. <laughs> Those are just some of the highlights. Uh, what's good creepy? Like a horror game, for example. Um, Resident Evil 2 is good creepy. Dollar Store Sephiroth, the villain in this game, is bad creepy. <laughs> You're good creepy? Yes. Ex ex whatever you want to be, Reg, that's what you are. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Outlast, Layers of Fear, Soma, Visage. I haven't played Visage. I don't really do uh, horror games anymore. Where are we at? 341? Oh, wow. That dropped like 15. If we somehow hit 400, I will play this after EF. Beyond the Beyond. Beyond the Beyond. PS1. JRPG. One of the first on the platform. Generally a love or hate title. Probably gets a lot more hate than love from what I've heard. Do you want to rest now? Yes. Yes. Oh, God. Where'd my frames go? Holy crap. They're gone. Let me just dump this way down to, like, here. Wow. That's, like, terrible. It just went out of... Completely out of whack there. Oh. Grabs a bucket for the frames. Bye. Dude, I just dropped like 5,000 frames. Feels bad. Hopefully you could still hear me. It like wasn't buffering the audio. The ISP has been saying that about every game, Jeff. It feels bad. Like every single game. 
Darn, time is going to loop again. Darn. Gee. Wow, we're just, we just hate that, don't we, so much. Whatever will we do. All right, so we're at a low 2000 bit rate right now. It probably doesn't look as good, but it's probably good enough because I have a good encoding setting. So, you know, you know, you know. Now loading. Now Rummy is here for some reason. What? <laughs> Why is she here now? She wasn't here the last time. <laughs> oh, no, this game doesn't make any sense. Oh. All right, we're on loop five. Hello, Rummy. I am Music Man. Tree Waifu. Sir Snuffleupagus has requested I serve as your guide. Let me know if it drops anymore. We'll do the same as we've always done. If it stays stable for like 30 minutes, we'll bump it back up a bit. You really don't need a high bit rate for this game. I mean, it's going to make me and the text up there look worse. And in the combat, when the camera's swirling around, it might get a little blocky, but yeah, you know, it'll be all right. Doink, doink. She's going to show me my lodgings with the worst guard outfit ever. She's got thigh shields, but a thong that probably rides up so hard she spends more time picking wedgies than fighting. 12 bit raid? Could you imagine? Do they change this? Probably, Mary, but I don't know how yet. You know what they say about big shoulder pads? Um, big closet? That's what they say, right, Kevin? They say big closet, right? Got it. Nailed it. Nailed it. I don't want to see Snuffleupagus. Let's see if we can get Claire back. A walk. <laughs> Stress of plan. Do -do -do. Cutscene? Not this time. Interesting. All right, let's see if we can get Claire on our side for the meeting, right? Hello. I want to show you around the island. Can you wait until I finish cleaning? It, yeah. I think she does it in the middle of the morning, so. Why is this loop different than the... You know what? Don't question it. It's EF, right? Just don't question it. Just roll with it, okay? Just roll with it. <sighs> so it's like 11.30 in the morning... That gives us time to do very little. What defines a ravioli, says Chaos Kitty. I like that Chaos Kitty has these questions. I really do. Because now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, what's a ravioli? This is very high quality. You want it repaired? Wait, what? What? Now she'll fix it? It's going to require a lot of work, but if you're not in a hurry, I'll do it. Tree Waifu handed over the broken watch. Why did it let me do that this time? I don't understand this game. <laughs> what the fuck? 11 a.m. Day one. Claire fixes watch? Question mark. Does that mean she won't join me anymore? Stuffed noodle. Stuffed noodle. Stuffed pasta, I would say. Not a noodle, but pasta. I think a ravioli is stuffed pasta. And it doesn't have to be meat, right? Yes! Wait, so if you take her with you, though, does she fix the watch? 
So it's a snake that has just eaten a mouse of ravioli. I mean, it is wit. It is a danger noodle. That's a fair question. A snake is a danger noodle. So does that mean the snake is now a ravioli because it just ate something? <laughs> also, I love the, f the phrase danger noodle to describe snakes. Just as much as I like calling raccoons trash pandas and squirrels are nature's ninja. <laughs> A snake is a danger noodle, though. That makes it a pasta. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, man. Gotta love it, right? Gotta love it. <laughs> yep. A squirrel is nature's ninja. That's right. That makes it an impasta. Oh man. A squirrel is absolutely nature's ninja. Okay, so. If Claire has joined me, does that mean she's not going to fix the watch, right? I don't have the broken watch anymore. That's an interesting development. She has a hundred rely now, which is nice. Rely is short for reliability. It's how often she will listen to orders now. Could you imagine if you, all things being equal in this game, and there's a lot of nonsense in this game, let's be fair, right? But imagine you were playing through this game and trying to beat this game blind, and you just never figured out that rely stat. So you probably go through the whole game thinking NPCs are just annoying and useless, right? Because <laughs> they never listen to you? Oh, man. Oh, man. I want to see if this still does the flicker if I do this. Um, it does. You notice how it looks slightly different? I don't know which one looks better though. They look, honestly, this is a, this does. I mean, this is corrected for four, three aspect ratio. This shifts it a bit though. Hmm. Which one's more accurate? You could barely see it, I bet. <laughs> speaking of Pop-Tarts, speaking of Pop-Tarts, I went in the kitchen to get another drink and sitting on the counter were store brand generic Pop-Tarts. I'm not even kidding. So I'm like yelling. I yelled to the other room. I'm like, did you seriously buy Pop-Tarts the berry? And she's just like, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember the last time she or I have ever bought Pop-Tarts in like 10 years. <laughs> and they're just sitting there on the counter. What the fuck? Is someone playing a prank on me right now? <laughs> like, are, we, are we for real doing this? Oh, man. Welcome back, RPG Chick. Thank you again for rating. Um... I don't know if Natara is around, but tell her I said hi. She seemed she seemed like a really cool gal when I met her at RPG Limit Break. Pho is Vietnamese pasta, says Fail Canceler. I've never had pho or pho or whatever, however it's pronounced, right? I've never had it, so I don't know. Mm. Okay, so. But is a soup. Saf likes it. Saf, how are you, brother? Good to have you, man. Saf, you gonna stream tonight? I wanna raid you tonight. But you usually start after I end. I don't know what your schedule is. You would say it's Vietnamese ramen, says Wit. Okay. Wit, I just realized what your name actually is. Wit's end.
Are we back? Who can see me? Who can hear me? Night Dreamer can't see or hear me. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm like, can you hear me? No, I can't. <laughs> What was I gonna say here? Every once in a while OBS crashes and I know why. I know why. I'm pretty sure I know why. And it's an unfixable crash. Legitimately unfixable. Do -do 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 -do. Crash reports, show crash reports. Uh, okay, today's the 27th. Let's check it out, shall we? Program files. Lib X264. You know what that means? It's the encoder. When you read the crash report, and the crash report says that the fault address was Lib X264, that means that it's the actual encoder, not OBS. Like the the encoding library, the, the thing that puts your image and turns or translates it into internet video that's outside of actual OBS, yeah, there's no fix for it. Those are the only crashes I ever get, are ones that are unfixable. <laughs> Damn. All right. You may or may not have to host again if you want. I don't know. I honestly don't know, but I don't think the stream technically went down. I think it gave you the tech support screen, so we should be good to go. Should be good to go there. Okay, so I'm a bit confused here as to the decision I should go through. Claire offered to fix the watch, but now she's roaming around with me, right? Does that mean she's not going to fix the watch or she will, right? Now loading. Ah! My name is Diego Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Hey, Claire, I'm going to fix the watch. But I don't want to die. Getting more frame drops. Oh, yeah. God damn, today is not my day, apparently. We're running at 2,000 bit rate, so. Bot no work? Oh, you, it's gonna. What do you mean? It worked. The bot worked. It just played your sound effect. Yeah, Comcast won't uh, fix my internet, by the way. They just won't. They just won't fix it. I, I spent weeks in DMs with them trying to get them to fix it, and they just kept trying to upsell me for different routers and contracts. They won't fix it. They just won't. They refuse to. Get the frame warfer. What's a frame warfer? I like the sound of that, though. I'm waiting for it to clear up before I really do anything because it's it can't even do 2k right now frame warfare they are an awful company yeah they are they are I, I I mean I don't really have a choice though I have no no alternative it worfs what does worf mean <laughs> what's that word what's a worf The nice thing is this only happens every once in a while, but every once in a while is way more than it used to happen. So that's, that's the bit of a problem. This is what happens when you choose to save the animals instead of the frames. My network usage is fine, so I know I'm not overloading it anywhere else. Mm. Did it clear up? Maybe. Maybe. 
Dwarfin is throw. There's the translation I needed. Okay, I get it now. Way too late. You always have competition? Yeah, no, we don't have that here. Who do you use for internet? You, because you have no competition for fast internet. Otherwise, it would not be you. <laughs> and I mean, the thing is, it's like, those are the foot soldiers, right? They have nothing to do with those decisions. That's just their job. <laughs> So I don't get mad at those people, but the people that deserve to get mad at, we can't get mad at. So know, there's just, there's no fix. There's no fix for it. I think it's cleared up. Maybe, maybe. Let me uh, make sure my network use is low. Yeah, it's low everywhere. So I don't know. Okay, carrying on. We should have a stable thing. Fortunately, it does mean a lot of people were like this. I can't watch this. There's nothing to see. And then, and then they go. But, you know, it happens. It's a thing. Um, okay, so here's some events that we wanted to tackle, all right? Here's some events we wanted to tackle. Day, they're all on day two. In the morning of day two, you can catch Rummy bathing. I want to do that because it led to other cutscenes, and we've only seen that on the very first loop. Just the first, and none of the others. So I think that's probably a good plan of action. Matterfish. You're throwing frames at me. Ow, it hurts. I'm being attacked with frames. I mean, it's nice that I can get this gal back on my team. She play Witchery 1 and 2 before playing 3. Um, okay, so... The story in Witcher 1 is really good. The gameplay is terrible. The story in Witcher 2 is... Witcher 2 is better in every way than Witcher 1. Story and gameplay. Gameplay is leaps and bounds. The gameplay in the first game is terrible. Um... If you continue your save from one game to the next, some of the decisions that you have made in the previous games carry over. So I would always say if you have the time and the will to get through it, yes, play them start to finish. If you really can't handle the first game, which happens to a lot of people, watch some reviews on it. It works like Mass Effect, not, I don't think it works as extreme as Mass Effect, but yes, it does work like that. You can watch Witcher on Netflix? No, incorrect. They have said many times, and as is evident from the Witcher Netflix series, they're based on the books, not the games. The books and the series on the TV all take place well before the games do, timeline-wise. <laughs> Thinking about getting back into Teemos. What's a Teemos? Oh, the magic of charades is what I call it. Yes. It's the magic of charades. That's what that game is. <laughs> uh, I want to enter the tournament. Yeah. And then, he, and then he doesn't let you. Well, fine. But what if I want the magic of charades? Uh. 
You don't think you can play a game on Netflix? I don't understand. There is a game you can play on Netflix, though. What was it called? It's called, like, Bandersnatch or something like that? I haven't played it, but I heard there's a game on Netflix. Legitimately. <laughs> uh. Yes, really. Yeah. Um. This guy's just like, yo, there's there's people and they wear masks. Cool. And I'm like, okay. With what input method? Mount point and click. As far as I know. Yeah, I think it's that shulk. I think that's what it is. Choose your own adventure. It used to be a thing with VHS games. Yeah. I had, think I had one of those as a kid, but I don't remember what it was. So basically, yeah. Um... If you can deal with the gameplay in the first game, it only gets better until 3, and then it's, like, legendary. As far as how good it is. Meet Remy at the inn at 5. Okay. So, go to the inn and sleep for 2 hours? I guess? I feel like sleeping, though, skips events, which is problematic. What? You know what that... There was one game I was trying to get Sath to play. Um, really obscure. I was just like, play this game. The name sounds cool. And he started playing it. It was really cool. It was called, like, Magician or whatever on the NES. Apparently, that game is very confusing massively confusing. It honestly looked cool. It has, like, elements from, like, tons of different genres. Which was really surprising. Do you want to rest now? Sure. I have rested an hour. There's my sitar that has tumors. Do 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 He just plays anything? Saf plays NES and like Genesis and Super Nintendo and that's it. Which is fine. He could do just about anything he wants now that he has a good computer though. You die of thirst and hunger way too quickly. Oh, that's a bummer. More confusion as this? I don't know. I haven't played it. I don't honestly know. There's... Oh, it's Rinna, not Rissa. I was getting her name wrong. Feels bad. Your name is Rinna, not Rissa. Whoops. Magician needs to be a scrub and learn create food drink. It's a good spell. It's a good spell. It's a staple. <laughs> oh man. Do 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 do. I think it's okay, but I'm not going to touch my my. Alright, it's five o'clock. Where the fuck are you, Rummy? You're late. You're late. She said she was gonna pick me up! Uh, excuse me! <laughs> Oh, this doesn't make any sense. You're a wizard, Harry. You might have to play. Honestly, Magician looks cool. I don't know if it is cool. I haven't tried it. I'm still trying to get my NES RGB modded. I don't want to stream composite video signal. I think it looks like butt. That's just me, though. That's just me.
Okay, we're resetting the game. Obviously, something went wrong. I will pick you up at five. Never shows up. Must have done something wrong. Have to reload. No choice. Do, 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 do. Magicians on Switch Online. Uh, I mean, it's not original hardware, so I wouldn't, I still wouldn't play it. But anyone else that would want to try it, if it's on there, go ham. Something went wrong. Yeah, the video game. Something went wrong, the video game. Boop. Boop. It's confusing, especially blind. Hmm, sounds familiar. Look <laughs> what you're playing. That's what went wrong. Sorry. God. God. Things have been wrong for 21 and a half hours. <laughs> oh, no. We're on the fourth loop again. Okay. I guess I never saved. Whatever. All right. So I have to reverse it. We're back to EF loops four. Good. We gotta go put all your items away again. This game's gonna have a lot of reloads in it. Lots. Lots and lots. It's because I don't remember to save. I have a terrible memory, so I just forget. Do, 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 do. Let's do the time loop again. Nice. That's a reference. That's a reference. I help anytime. He helps anytime, if you didn't know. Anytime. Not just sometime, anytime. I have any time. Oh my god, Mary. That's that is the worst timeline right there. <laughs> That's the worst timeline. I should save. Let's do that. And the music cuts off and it's awkwardly quiet for everyone. And then, and then you're just kind of like nervously glancing at the person next to you and wringing your wrists. The video game. Welcome. You haven't seen it? I saw it once. I thought it was okay. I thought it was okay. I bet it was way better than okay when it first came out, though. But I saw it for the first time like three years ago. Big stretch. Oh, gotta get up for the day so I can immediately lay back down and sleep again. <laughs> you notice how the audio does that, by the way? When it changes? It went... Pfft. That wasn't my audio. That was the game. The game did that. When it cuts audio off, it cracks. Good quality assurance there. Yes, the best. <laughs> I did it again. It's a... <laughs> That's not mine. <laughs> My audio doesn't do that. It's just this game. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it didn't do it that time. It's 
sleep all the days because it doesn't matter. I mean, it's true. There's nothing for me to do in these last two days. I have absolutely no lead, so I'm not just going to aimlessly wander around. <laughs> Hurry up and make it to the next loop. Come on. Come on. How many times do I have to do this? Yo, thanks for the host. Did those drop or not? I can't tell. It looks like they did, or something else happened. They didn't. Okay. Hello, I have orange hair and I look weird. And now let's see if Remy gives us the visit. Now she doesn't. Does this make any sense? <laughs> now loading. <laughs> oh my God, what the hell? Just, just fast forward, please. I'm so glad this game is fast forward. Even the devs are like, yo, we're going to need to speed this up. <laughs> uh, they're just like, man, hold on. We need to speed this up. <sighs> Can you imagine without it? I could. Yes. I could imagine it without it. That's not a pleasant thought. <laughs> oh, hi, Sammy. How's work going, man? How many loops? Now we're back to five. We're back to five. Mm -mm -mm. We're back to five. Okay, hold on. Save. Again. Again. I'm just going to save over. You know what? I'm not. I'm going to rotate it. I will not honk. Do, 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 do. Okay. Select a file. No. You select a file. Hello. Fix my watch. High quality. I want it repaired. I'm not in a hurry. Fix it. Tree waifu handed over the broken watch. Okay, great. I'm available to go with you. See, this is where I'm... Do I leave her here? Does that mean she fixes the watch? If I don't leave her here, will she not fix the watch? I don't know. Let's play it through. I'm good, Claire. Oh, you're not taking me. Thanks for the passive aggressive response. I hate that, by the way. If you ever want to successfully communicate with me, don't do that. <laughs> oh, just don't. Don't do that. It teaches me you're not to be listened to or trusted because I don't understand your intentions. Does she honk? She does. She totally honks. She goes, ah! Hold on. I want to I wanna be part of the, the, the group, too. I want to be part of the group. <laughs> I'm going to leave her here. I'm going to leave her here. Roll sense motive. Okay, one sec. So here's my real sense motive. 1d20 minus 10. Okay. Wow, that works really well. Roll D20 minus 10. There it goes. 
Minus five. You swear during your healing word cast, your target is now sad. Okay. I nailed it. My sense motive is minus 10 in text and plus 10 in person. <laughs> uh, hi, Flare Cat. <laughs> I'm really good at reading people in person, but holy crap. If we're text communicating, it's done. Unless you're plainly spelling out in the most literal sense what you're trying to communicate to me, I'm not going to get it. I'm old and I have useless things to say. I just paraphrase what that guy said. He's telling us about how he likes gourmet food. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Wow, we're getting dice rolls here. Dude, Desert Wolf cheating the system here. Dexterity check failed. You fell upstairs. <laughs> Reg, you need to make more of those silly, silly ones. Is he here? I don't know if he's still here. I don't know if he's still here. All right, so go to the end until five. Right? Who's got a clip? Share me a clip. Let's do it. Let's do clip share. While I wait for 5 p.m. for Rummy, who's, who said she would show me around. I want this broken watch to be fixed. That seems very key. Falling upstairs? I'm falling upstairs before. You trip over the step you're about to step on and you fall down. Roll D zero and valid. <laughs> uh, there's no D zero. That's like dividing by zero. Yes, I'd like to roll a non-existent dice. Is basically what you just said. Oh, okay. You can't roll an absence of dice. <laughs> Smithing novel. Okay, let's check it out. While time goes by in game. The book that that Brad gave her maybe opens her mind? I don't know. No, it's just the, the manual. Cookbook? <laughs> no, the... The smithing novel. The smithing novel. novel. The smithing novel. <laughs> the smithing novel, right. The heat, in the uh, heat of the forge. The, the, right. God damn it. So we don't know. Stay tuned in the future. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. As the hammer slowly whacks on the metal. No. Take no. Stop it. No. We're not writing it. We're not writing it live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unless the book, the... Ah, oh, smithing novels. God, God damn. God damn. So good. Oh, man. Don't forget its sequel, The Sharp Edge of Desire. <laughs> Jessica. <clears throat> I remember that. Damn. <laughs> that was a fun playthrough. Oh man, that was a fun playthrough. Roll down. Oh my god. Is it five o'clock now? No. Okay. Solo man birthday? Oh jeez. Did we really get him with that? Did we really get him with solo man birthday? I don't even remember that. Of course, happy birthday to Solomon. 
every day. Really, Happy dude? <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> every day, right? Of course, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Solomon every day, apparently. That's the channel joke. If you go to his channel for the first time, make sure you say happy birthday. Yo, Kuja, what's up? How goes this lovely game? Um, we're doing this right now, or we're standing here waiting for five o'clock. If that tells you anything. Apparently, you do that a lot in this game. Do 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 do. So people are sharing clips from the channel that they like. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see if anything happens at five o'clock. I hope so. Also, I've been dropping lots of frames tonight, sadly, but it's knock on wood, stabilized for now. Roll 666. Of course. It's because she rolled... She didn't roll D666. She rolled 666. She literally told the script, Hey, give me a 666. And it did. <laughs> she forgot the D. That's why. All right. It's five o'clock. Where the hell's Rummy? She said she'd be here. I don't understand. She's not here. Meet Rummy and in Inn at 5 p.m. <laughs> that was a huge waste of time. All right. She doesn't show up. Your first fin clip. What is this? Oh, wow. This was forever ago. Holy crap. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, nobody should talk about Jaeger because that stuff is fucking like butt juice from a fetid pig. I mean, nobody should... Butt juice. My audio was way worse back then, wasn't it? I'm like loud and scratchy. Listen. I mean, nobody should talk about Jaeger because that stuff is fucking like butt juice from a fetid pig. I mean, the, the description is accurate. That is what Jaegermeister does taste like. Butt juice from a fetid pig. So, I mean, I stand by that statement, but damn, not by the audio quality. <laughs> uh. Honestly, Jaeger, I don't like. It tastes like black licorice. Maybe you like black licorice. If you do, you'd probably like Jaeger. Potentially. Not a fan. Myself. Not a fan. All right, so Rummy's not showing up. We learned, right? We learned. She's going to fix the watch. Then we get porn music for some reason. It's... She's gonna fix the cable for us, you know. It's a bit on the fritz. We can't watch our skin and max. That's what that money sounds or that money. That music sounds like. <laughs> oh man. You do not like black licorice, nor do I. Nor do I. Fetid butt juice. Pretty, pretty accurate. Is it dead? Oh no. Which one was this? Which one was this? Oh, this was a... This was a quintessential Nellia question, wasn't it? You cleaved its head and these fucking weird tentacles start writhing and flapping in the air as you cut through them too. 
and one of them lands on Ain's shoulder, and one of them slaps disgustingly on the wall to your left, and its head just kind of goes <laughs> on the ground, and this blue purple ooze comes out of its neck cavity as its body falls to the ground. It and it's okay? just writhing disgustingly on the ground. Like it's like weird reflex. Its head is separated from its body, as are some of the tentacles on it. Okay, but is it dead? Make sure. Is it dead? <laughs> is it dead? After that description, chat, is it dead? What do you think? <laughs> Vote one if it's dead. <laughs> Vote two if you think that was a hilarious question. <laughs> <laughs> Is it dead? What do you think? It's dead. <laughs> no, you know what? Uh, it's fucking disgusting. You cleave the tail and these fucking weird <laughs> tentacles start writhing. Is it dead though? <laughs> when was that? Um, what session was that? Let's see. What does it say? Um, it doesn't say. It was one of the first sessions, like first ten, like early in the campaign. Like this week is this upcoming week is session fifty two. That was like one of the first ten. Sometimes the tentacle monsters are less dead than you hope. That's fair. I respect that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so today we learned Rummy's full of crap, she's not showing up. Maybe she'll be at the bathing part, right? You, I'm available to go with you. Um, no, I want you to fix the watch. Oh, you're not taking me. God, that passive aggressive reaction. Consenticles. They were consenticles, that's right. <laughs> oh my god. I Consentical. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The head has to be at least two feet away to tell it's dead, otherwise you have to reanimate. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Holy crap. You buy, buy frozen octopus tentacles, thaw them out, and pour soy sauce on them. They wiggle. How do you know this information? <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> That's oh, that's probably how they did uh, special effects in uh, Star Trek. <laughs> what the hell? That's disturbing. How many pages? Like a page and a half? I mean, we're, we're running out of things to write down because we're not very far. So I'm sure it'll get longer. Less than you thought. I mean, we haven't beaten it yet. We're, we're like nowhere in this game. So when we get to the end of the game, I'm sure it's going to be a lot longer. All right. Speaking of, let me add one thing. Lying NPCs about meetings. Okay. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up, Monty? How are you? Oh, I'll come pick you up at five. Doesn't doesn't do it. But she did it all the other times. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I definitely don't want to show that on stream as much as I'd like to.
Hmm, I'm thinking. Do I just save the game and zoom all the way to day two? Maybe. I mean, we did just save. Yo, Eagle Falcon with the raid. What's up, man? Eagle? Rabbit Amoeba? Nizamologist? What's a Niza? What is Niza? What does it mean to be a Nizamologist? What does it mean to mologize Nizas? This is the question. Welcome, everybody. I'm for now. I hope that told you everything about the channel you wanted to know. I'm Phenomenon. I stream retro games, RPGs, D&D &D every Saturday. Hopefully you have a good time. Do you want to rest? Sure. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, that, that, it me. <laughs> Just remember, with the power mm. Windows 95, you too can mologize Nizzes. Nizzes. And avoid Windows 10 updates. Mologize Nizzes. <laughs> yes, that's what I wanted to do. How did you know? Ah. Uh. Thank you for 95 bits, Eagle Falcon. As a reminder, everybody, since that is the first or second bits or donations of the night, go to this list right here if you want to support the channel. If you see an ID number next to a game that looks cool to you that you'd like to see played, use that in your donation message. It automatically adds those votes to that game on a one-to-one -one ratio. So... Eagle just did 95 bits, right? That would have been 95 votes to his game of his choice. <clears throat> All right, let's try to see if she's bathing. Rummy might be bathing somewhere. Maybe. Possibly. Doo -doo. Before you go to bed. She drowned it in the tub. Oh. Your eyes are as blue as off-brand glass cleaner. How goes this game? I heard a review that this was very sexy. Dot. Number 09. <laughs> oh my god thank you for 69 bits this time you actually voted what did you vote for world of final fantasy nice very nice Very nice. How it goes this game? Legitimately, this game is not good. Um, this game has everything going against it and then some. However, I think we make every stream slow and steady progress, but it's going to take a while because I feel like I really haven't getting it, gotten anywhere. From the accidental hints from chat, I've gotten this question. How many people's memory or how many people have you removed from the time loop? That's a question I've seen multiple times, which tells me that I'm doing really bad right now because the answer is one. So I have no idea, Keep honestly. Calm. This is not a Windows 10 notification. This is just me being a troll. <laughs> Number 003. <laughs> Hi, Seamus. How you doing? Uh, what's up, man? We got about 200 hours to go in DQ11. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. That game is so long, but... Oh, it's, I love the contrast. We have what is probably one of the best JRPGs I've ever played. And then this one. On the other side of the week. Thank you, Durian, for 51 bits, by the way. And voting as well. 
And a bit from Sammy. He didn't vote, though. He forgot. If you were a fruit, you would be a fine apple. You guys like that camera? This game is such shit that we need a little alleviation. Thank you, Chuck, for 69 bits. You did not vote, however, so I don't know what to do with that. Thank you so much for the support, however. Bam. But it's not automatic. <laughs> Which one is 024? Please tell me. When you don't automatically vote, I have to go searching through. If you were a chicken, Chrono Cross. Impeccable. I'm gonna forget that every time, as I have for the last year and a half. Consenticles. It's been voted for for a long time. I don't remember the numbers. I will never remember the numbers. Ever. Ever. <laughs> please, please remember that if you can. This is why we have that system, because I'm never going to remember. Zorda with 69 consenticles. Thank you. Didn't vote. That's all right, I guess. I'm going to leave myself some notes here. Name. Okay. That will go there. Twenty-four is Shovel Knight. Oh, did I do the wrong one? But he said Chrono Cross. Now I'm really confused. Chrono Cross is the only game that will make the overhead camera not give everyone a stroke number o two six. Holy crap, dude! 1,537 bits to Chrono Cross. Thank you. I, uh, I hope, I hope what I'm doing has earned all of the support. Chrono Cross. <laughs> Okay, any mods out there right now that can help me with this next list, please, please help me. <laughs> People are not voting. <laughs> Thank you, Zordon, for 431 bits. I need help, or otherwise I can't play the game. Oh, please help me. Help me. <laughs> Do you have the ability to edit? No, you have to specifically request it, and you have to add... I've never given anyone the ability to add votes unless they specifically asked it because it's, yeah, it's because reasons. Can you ban Rag now? Sure. All right. Well, you have to go actually into the sheet and request access. Nice. I won. I won. You finally came into RPG Twitch bits. Was that the, um, um, the, uh, the, the survey thing they do, right, Zordon? That's what that is, right? I did that a couple times. I never got anything from it. Is it random? Like, how does that work? Four thirty-one added to Chrono Code. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no, I don't know what that means. That might be the wrong game.
Okay, that would... Is it just me or is the the tally for the gold like... Blah, my ears! Oh my god! You get a rare survey, you take it, you get bits. Nice. No, I've gotten surveys. They've never given me anything from them. I don't know how it works. Ban all the mods for five minutes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh. All right, this is where Rummy, we think, might have been bathing. It was... I'm turning lots of pages right now. Sometime in the morning. Maybe it was here. It also could have been on the other side. I don't know. Thank you, everybody, for the support. Honestly, thank you very much. I just say I've been uh, mentally struggling a lot lately. I don't know if that's ever going to change, but how much for a wheel of uh, five subs? Five subs for a wheel. So it's every five subs gets a wheel. Spin. Donations and bids go for votes on the next list. So sub, the wheel was my way of being like, we don't have that thing for subs. Let's do that. Five subs. Five subs. Tier three is an instant wheel spin. Yeah, that's true. Because it's six points, six sub points. Uh, Twitch counts. Um, and I go by sub score, right? A tier one sub is one. A tier two sub is two points. A tier three sub is six. And they use that for your tally to, um, what do you call it? Uh, to determine how many uh, emotes you unlock, among other things. The subway chair? That sounds vaguely familiar. I don't remember what that is, though. What if you give one five-month sub? So the way it works is... I'll get to that. <laughs> okay, well, Rackadactylus with five subs. Thank you so much. If you gift one five-month sub, they get to share their subscription once a month. So it's just paid in advance, but they can only share it once a month. So it counts as one. Otherwise, you could be like, oh, look, there's that five-month sub next month. Oh, look, there's that five-month sub, right? There's no way to keep track of that. It's just paid in advance, just like you would sub yourself for five months in advance. The same thing. So, yeah, I don't count that in one go because Twitch doesn't count that in one go. Rackadactylus gifted five subs. Thank you very much. We got a wheel spin. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. There it is. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. <laughs> you, you sniped him. You sniped him, Rackadactylus. Oh man. God too soon. Sammy's always mourning the downtrodden. You have to respect that, don't you? You have to respect it. You really do. The man, he, he's... He's a defender of the people. <laughs> uh, so, okay, yeah. Just to clarify if anyone's confused. Bits and donations. That's how you vote for games on this channel, right? That's my way of saying thank you for the extra... Thank you for the support. Thank you for supporting me and the channel, right? You can use that to decide the games we play later on. Subs? We didn't have anything for that for years for actual years. 
So I was thinking one day, hey, how can I actually do something with subs? You know, an extra thank you for subs. That's what this is right here. That's what the wheel is. We're all Regison on the inside. <laughs> do you want to ban Sammy instead? I'll leave it up to Rachidactylus since he was the five, the five shot himself. Leave it up to him. How does the song go? Nice. You do? You want to ban Blue Sammy instead? Bye, 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 Sammy. <laughs> Everyone give Sammy, like, sad hugs. <laughs> oh, give him sad hugs, okay? I guess we're going to watch a clip from BGG here. So, here we go. There we go. Bye, Sammy. Bye. <laughs> Somehow I managed to paste a V. A, a v. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh, I got him. Oh, dang. Dang. Welcome to getting old. It's happened for a while now. Uh, it might mean that there's a storm coming because... My mom gets that all the time too. Like every, every freaking time a storm came in when we were growing up as kids, she'd be like, oh, my knee is acting up. We got a storm coming in. And sure enough, pressure change was causing the knee to act up. So we haven't had storm in a while. And winter's kind of, this fall has sort of been warm so far. Oh, shit. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. <sighs> Whatever, sure. Oh my god. You have no idea how excited you are to scare him. Yeah, I do. I scared him on accident like twice in the hotel room. All right. I was just going about my day. <laughs> I have every idea. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I think at one point I scared her by turning on my shaver. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I get it. I know. Oh man. Yeah, I'm very easy to spook. I know. It's we haven't done a horror game. We did it for like a whole year every Monday here, but there's just not enough time. There's not enough days in the week. Did I get it? Yes! Fan service! Alright, I, I actually don't care about this. Even the awkward fake jiggling going on there. This is what I was seeing if I could re-redo. Where I could get this cutscene again. Okay? Sir Tree Waifu, what are you doing here? Oh, you must have gotten... The gem ceremony time wrong? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, how'd, how'd you know? You're right, Grangioff. I would... If you're one of those people that are, like, somehow walking on air whenever you just walk about, you would scare the shit out of me, and I would be so mad. I would tell you to start making noises as you turn corners. <laughs> I'd be like, click at the walls or something so I know you're coming. God! It'd be like the most unreasonable request, too. <laughs> oh, 
old innkeeper has quite a quick temper. Uh, okay. What? That's not it? You already knew I'd be here swimming at the beach? Ooh, this is different. Okay. You wear sandals in the house so she can hear you coming? That's funny. Your wife calls you Ninja Kitty and hits you with pillows? Nice. Dude, are you going to grow the beard out again? You got to get the Viking beard. It's probably too hot for it, though, isn't it? Your ninja ask and your tiny Filipino wife stomps like an angry elephant. Maybe that was a defense mechanism. She was probably so used to being so tiny and quiet that people would get mad at her. So now she's like, I need to make noise when I walk. That's my, that's my theory. That's my conspiracy theory about it. Grow it out, Jeff. I remember you cutting it a while back. Like, you would show pictures and it was, like, down to here. Like, down to here. Okay, I need to see an updated picture then. We need the Viking beard. It needs to get thick enough so you could start braiding it. Like a dwarf. Going to battle. <laughs> Uh, yes, that would be better, Vasril. Thank you. Thank you for that level of consideration. Damn the carpet. I need to hear the scraping, okay? Queen, I had quite the beard over a month ago. Mine was like this long for a while, and I was looking at old clips and videos, and I'm like, man, that looked terrible. This looks way better. When I trim it, it looks better, because when it grows out, it looks shitty. I can't grow a beard. I'm pretty much learning that. It doesn't work. I can't grow one. It just looks terrible. This, I think, looks really good. But when I grow it out, it's like wispy and patchy. And it's missing, you know, portions. <laughs> you came here just to see me? Yeah. Oh, tree waifu, is that your idea of a pickup line? No, 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 you know, just, uh, <laughs> yeah, just a coincidence. <clears throat> you always trim your beard so you can feel it. As soon as you can feel it. Yeah, if I start feeling it tickling my nose or my lips, I just straight a straight line as straight as I can right here. And then use a guard to clip it down. You wouldn't know anyone else. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this looks good. Honestly, I like this. I like this. I wanted to do like I tried it. I've been trying to make this better, but it, it's very patchy. I mean, I could show you. You know, this isn't really doing anything, is it? And you can see just how bad my complexion is. But who gives a fuck? Yeah. It's not really working, is it? There's not much going on here. I wanted a line, but it's too thin and patchy. So it just doesn't work. Ah, wrong button. <laughs> Whoops. Tree waifu has explained about the island's peculiarities. That's impossible. It's impossible. The island's time is circling around endlessly. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't believe it. And to think that Snuffleupagus would cause such a disaster for the Islanders. That's impossible. I know you're Sir Snuffleupagus' honored guest, but you've gone too far, even for a joke. I figured she wouldn't buy the story. The gem ceremony starts at eight. Dollar Store Sephiroth has instructed me to escort you, so I will attend the ceremony with you. I'm going to go change. Wait a moment. Okay, so she didn't buy her story. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> Time is closing. That's impossible. Oh, man. There you go, Sammy. What an awful idea. For liking women as much as he does, he sure doesn't know how to handle them. Shall we go now? Uh, sure. Sure. Booty waifu. 
It's almost time for the holy gem ceremony. We should proceed to the ceremony area. Oh, okay. We are just getting steamrolled right into this. Can we explain to her everything that's about to happen and then she'll believe us? Because that'd be cool. I'd be like, okay, there's going to be dancing mummies. Snuffleupagus is going to steal the crown or whatever it is, the gem. And then diaper princess is going to faint. All right. It wasn't much of an outfit change. No, it wasn't. <laughs> oh my God, Rakadagulus. Why are there... <sighs> yeah, serpent mummies, basically. Her swimwear cover for her. <laughs> so here's a question. Diaper Princess knows this is a time loop, right? If she knows she's stuck in a time loop, I would just every single day try to kill Snuffleupagus. What difference does it make? You're just going to wake up at the start anyway. Keep trying. He specifically said, if you kill me, it'll stop. If, if we had only told Rummy word for word that was going to happen... that skirt felt would you like it to be <laughs> oh thank god this ceremony is back my favorite number 009 eagle thank you thank you so much 69 bits and he voted for world of final fantasy very cool what a magnificent gem that was the first time i've seen it no you've seen it hundreds of times Hey there, Sir Tree Waifu. Do you have a minute? Psst, psst. He's peeing. Something I need to speak to you about. Can I trouble you to come to the palace later? Sure. Question mark? Please stop by the palace this afternoon. Okay. I'm running out of space on my timeline. All right, general, general nonsense. Afternoon meeting. After weird zombie ceremony. I can't fit that on this line, weird zombies. Okay, cool. Trying to call a cap. <laughs> I like that outfit, Athena. I, d I don't like it. I don't like it. Please, I'm counting on you. O okay. Shorthand. I already. My handwriting's already bad. I can struggle to read it. If I shorthanded it, I wouldn't probably be able to parse it. What were you and the general talking about? Yes, that was General Bagoth. He's in charge of the soldiers on the island. You should have requested I do a tour. It's my job. I will come pick you up afternoon. Uh, all right. Thanks. This reminds you, the music reminds you of Professor Layton. Oh, I love that game. I played, I think, two of them. I think I played two of those games. They were really good. Oh, good. Oh, good. You ready for nausea, camera? Here it comes. I'm going to bump the bit rate at this point and see what happens. It's been stable for a good 30 minutes. Let's give you a little more quality if we can. 
Let's see. All right, here we go. Here's the test. Little bit right bump for you, fine folk. All right, these are easy, thankfully. Current drop frames is six, seven, eight, three. If that goes up at all, we'll lower it back down. I leveled. Yay. Lucky. All right, this is a dead end. There's nothing here. Rocks. Sometimes you just don't have enough rocks. You hope I saved? I did not. I have no idea, Gringia. Why do we have eight hit points? When did that happen? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I didn't notice that. Like, why do I have eight hit points? <laughs> That's pretty low. That's not gonna do me very much good. I, I thought I had more than that. <laughs> they were hitting for me for eight. Yeah, that's why I was not paying attention. What's up, Kondo? Zero. What lowered me to eight hit points? Very confusing. What if we can get the general to believe our story? We have to go meet him, right? Rummy's gonna be like, just randomly show up. She's gonna randomly show up. Okay, this is what's gonna happen. She's gonna be like, you're impossible. You're just making fun of me. I'm gonna take you here and just Okay, sorry, what the hell? I just was m walking around, jeez. This is my favorite sound effect in the game, by the way. It only happens during the safe menu. Is that pleasant? You guys like that sound? <sighs> Thanks, PS2. Oh my god, it's this game. It's This game does that. This game, this game does that. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. See me screaming ASMR. Yeah, that's a Zordon ASMR sound. He loves obnoxious sound effects. That's his shtick. You're going to make that man so happy if you do things like that. Their attention to detail is noteworthy. Something like that. An amazingly accurate sound effect of a dying fluorescent light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Doink, 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 doink. Oh, we missed one. I can't wait to play a game that doesn't look as low poly as this. God. This game looks like it belongs on a Nintendo 64. It's the sound of the save card trying to fight back. <laughs> oh no. Uh. <laughs> what abject misery if we wrought this day.
Mr. Eagle. I know it's being chroma keyed, but he says this is on PS2, right? Well, yeah, 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 it sure is. What is your PS2 to do to deserve this? Oh, jeez. Uh, it's an OG PS2 as well. Like a fat. The one I've owned since like 2003. Still works just like it always did, thankfully. It's got some issues. Couple issues. This is the original controller, and this cable gets loose right here. And, um... The video out, the multi out, has broken plastic clips so it gets loose. Otherwise, it works just as fine. Still kind of Viking. Oh, did you get the picture? Holy shit. That thing needs to be braided. Dude, you even did the scowl. Alright, you all need to see this. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. I want one. <laughs> I am smiling. <laughs> oh. I like that he said I need to brush it first. Are you sure? <laughs> Imagine what it would have looked like if he hadn't. A thing needs its own website. <laughs> I'm impressed, man. That's that's a beautiful beard. That's a beautiful beard. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I have to all right, I have to close the link. Cause if I just leave it up on this monitor, I feel like somebody is judging me. Because you're just staring me down right now. Like I have done made every wrong decision in life. <laughs> Oh, man. Way back when you had to pawn your original PS2 to make rent or face eviction. Your now ex-wife replaced it with a slim. Nice. Nice. So you weren't without it for too long. That's very cool. It'd be fitting considering the game. Oh, the OG design is pretty not. Yeah, I like the OG design. There's nothing wrong with a slim. I mean, he can't do the, like, you know, the internet stuff or the hard drive, but that's, that's super niche. The slums are nice. I got the OG myself. Like, the original that I actually owned. My only, well, my, I only have two of my original consoles. And they're right next to each other. Let's see if we can't get this close enough to show you. That shouldn't be sad at all, Jeff. That's part of who you are, man. That is your character, and it is a quality of character, not a not a detriment. That's as close as I can get this webcam. It won't stretch any further. There's my PS2. These are my two only original consoles that I've kept since I've gotten them. Just these two. Everything else I've had to reacquire. Well, I guess the Wii counts as well. The Wii is original. But yeah. It's really hard to see because I can't get this camera closer. What if I do this? Wait. I'm going to use my my knowledges. I bet this is going to work. Wait, you ready? This is my phone. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Oh, it worked! <laughs> I turned the flashlight on. <laughs> Perfect. All right. You got the Wii, the PS3, and the PS4. So you got the 64 and the PS2. There's the GameCube with the GBA player. <laughs> it shows up. Yeah, you got the Super Nintendo, the Saturn. There's a Genesis fight stick there. 
Down on the bottom is an NES. There's a Genesis on top of it and a Dreamcast next to it. I need to get a Sega CD still, though. But yeah, that's my console shelf. I have a Switch as well, and that's right there. I keep it back there. Because I'm constantly, like, taking it in and out. And it's plugged into the Matrix. So, yeah. <sighs> Sorry for the... Uh, the wobbliness. I hopefully you don't get too like vertigo or anything. Come on, plug in. I have a old mic arm that I attach this webcam to, and it has an attachment that I can screw into the camera. It is one of the most useful things I bought, and it was like twelve bucks. Like super cheap. Sometimes the cheap shit is really the most useful. It's just a garbage mic arm, a newer twelve dollar mic arm with like a five dollar attachment for for Logitech webcams. Yeah, I, I really like the Dreamcast, but I need to... I bought Sonic Adventure, and I think it's just too scratched. I need to resurface it, and I don't have a resurfacer, so I bought um, some really high-quality lacquered CDRs, and I'm just going to back it up and play it off the backup instead, and it should work that way. No, they're all plugged in, Queeno. I keep all my consoles plugged in. Like, the power cables might be disconnected because I don't like them to draw power when I'm not using them. They're just unplugged from the, uh, ch the, uh, the, the surge protectors, but everything else is plugged in. I don't have to cable swap for the most part for any of my consoles. I can just turn them on. Boom. This music is like just mopey. Shaky cam. Sorry about shaky cam, everyone. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. But I like to show that console rack. Uh, Renegade Jib Jib is going to be making me a new one, too. I got to message him about that. He's the one that made me that console rack and my desk. He wants to ma He's making me a new console rack that's going to be twice as tall. So things aren't as quite compact and jammed together. And I plan on getting more consoles, right? I want to get a Sega CD. Um, I want to get a PS5 when it comes out. Uh, what else do I want to get? Um, someday I'm, I might want to delve into PC Engine, also known as Tur Turbo Graphics 16. Um, what else? There was something else I wanted to get. Probably not OG Xbox because I couldn't find a single game on that I really wanted to play, so... Um, I can't remember offhand. I really can't. Oh, I have. I need somewhere to put my OG PS One that Dorcas City sent me. He sent me an OG model at model one thousand and one PlayStation One. I need somewhere to put that, and I don't even have room on that rack for it right now. It's in the back on one of my shelves. We'll have a bunch of heat sinks and fans in the back. No, but he's apparently mounting the surge protectors on it, which is really impressive. That's going to do some serious cable management for me. Is this German speedrun housing? Okay. Reg's back, everybody. He's back. He's returned. I don't feel like going back to work at all. Ah! He's finally got a sub. I was wondering. All the give subs and they missed him every time. Thank you, Sammy. Very generous, dude. Thank you so much, man. Gifting that sub to Reg. He's got the Finny Bears back. He's got them Finny Bears back. Your leg shields have failed you. <laughs> uh, what is this? Hold on one sec. Ah! What is this supposed to be? It was a Dorka City special right there. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I can use that for uh, stereo imaging. <laughs> that one.
one's from Cane Bayou. Oh, man. <laughs> Frying egg, something like that, Hardy. Yeah. Apologies to your ears. I didn't know what that was. Something went wrong. Good. 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 <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, if you just got here, welcome on in, everybody. Hopefully you have a good time watching this game. Small preface. If you don't know, this is widely regarded as one of the worst RPGs ever made. But we're making a great experience out of it. I'm telling you. This is, this is a stream experience. You can see what not to do. Something went wrong. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling you out? No, I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. What's up, Samson? How are you, brother? <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. All right, so I got to meet dude, right? Rummy's like, I'm going to go pick you up. Okay. What time did she say that was going to happen? It was day two. General nonsense afternoon meeting after weird zombies. Oh, we're... 11.30 in the morning, so we got a bit to go. All right, so real question. Of everyone that's in chat, and obviously if you're lurking, you don't have to answer. I don't want to call you out, but I encourage everyone to do so. Type 1 if you've played this. Type 2 if you haven't. I want to see how many people have actually played this game. I don't think I've asked that yet. A lot of twos. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> a lot of not played. <laughs> oh, man. Jeff played this and ran away. A lot of people have not played this. A lot. <clears throat> not surprising. Reg's played it. Zordon's played it. I didn't know you played this, Zordon. Grengios played it. Of those who haven't played it, RPG Chick, Miri, Boat, Otaku, Buddy Cthulhu, Matthews, Queena, Kuja, Arrow Fodder, Local Host, Wander Maven, I'm not sure. <laughs> Thor hasn't played it. Isaac hasn't. Heimlich and Hardy have not played it. Yeah. Not only have you played it, you still have your copy of it. Wow. <clears throat> the problem is, since I'm streaming, you're interested in playing it. It's really bad. Um, if you want to play it, do so and tell me what you think about it. Honestly, like just if, if, if there are people out there that have the bravery to try this game, more power to you. But no one's going to blame you if you don't. <laughs> you played it for six hours, Zordon. That's pretty good. See, Hook hasn't played it. You watch BGG play at Kuja? Yeah. I get you. I know, right? Like, this is one of those, I'm playing it, so you don't have to. You hadn't even heard of it until last year? Same. Legitimately same. Had not heard of it until last year. And then BGG played it. And it became such a meme on his channel. Background guy 02, if you don't know who I'm talking about. The people who are like, are you going to play this game? And I'm just thinking. Why? <laughs> so finally, I'm like, fuck it. If we hit 600 sub points, I'll play this game. I threw out a number I thought was ridiculous. And for a while it was, and then it happened. Here we are. <laughs> Vampire Hunter D. That's an anime, isn't it? Did they make a game out of it? It'll depend on if you can get a PS2. Yeah, I got you. Right. You are content to continue not playing this. You would hear this weather channel music. It does sound like it belongs on the weather channel. Vampire Hunter D is a video game. That's wild. That's wild. Shouldn't have tested chat. I mean... Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, like we have incentives active right now, but I don't know if they're as notorious as this. So I'm trying to 
find ways to get those to happen. You know, like 400 will be this game right here. We hit 400 subscore. We'll hit play Beyond the Beyond, which I have heard is spiky as all hell when it comes to difficulty and grinding. But hey, one of the first PS1 JRPGs, if not the first. Another fantastic game, says Cooch. <laughs> Uh, things going better. Uh, Video Wizard, the same. We just make very basic, brief, little bits of progress here and there. So, nothing has really changed that I know of, but... It's our appointed time with the general. Here we go. There's a lot of great games to play on the PS2. Amazing games to play on the PS2. Tons of them. This is not one of them. Brave Fencer Musashi is PS1, Hardy. So if you have a PS1 or a PS3, you can play that. Though PS3 is first-party emulation, so Musashi may have issues with that. I don't know. But all, you know, for those of you that don't know, all PS3s will play PS1 discs. Pretty much every single model of PS3 will play a PS1 disc. But it is first-party emulation. They don't use hardware And little known fact, PS2 isn't 100% hardware like initially thought. The audio is hardware based. Um, almost everything is hardware based except for the graphics. The graphics are actually software emulated, but since the architecture is basically the same thing, it's not, it's almost imperceptible. I'm just, what I'm going to be doing is when I get my new console rack and I can hook up the PS1, I need to get an RGB cable for it. Because the PS1 will natively output RGB. So it'll look great. Um, and it'll sound great. Because I have the 1001 model of the PS1, which has the RCA jacks. Uh, I've talked about it before, but the 1001, the very first model of the PS1, has such good audio output quality that DJs and audio enthusiasts buy up those models of PlayStation 1 to use as CD players. <clears throat> like cheap CD players that have exceptional quality. PS2 can read DVDs for Monster Hunter 2. So you want a PS2 to have a 2-in-1. Gotcha, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm using. To do all my PS1 games, I use a PS2. Because up until last week, I didn't have a PS1. Beyond the Beyond, good quality game. Very grindy. Ridiculous, hilarious story that makes no sense. 400 sub score, we'll hit it. That's 53 away. Did you hear about... Ayudin Chronicle. No, I I don't know what that is. What's that, Queena? Ayudin Chronicle Kickstarter met its goal in three hours. That's impressive, whatever it is. Very impressive. Suikoden 6. Makers of Suikoden. Oh, I've never played any Suikodens, so... I have Suikoden 1 now. I own it. It's on our next list, so people can vote on that. I don't own two, though. I'm trying to get my hands on a copy of two. Sweden and Spiritual Successor. That's really cool. That's really cool. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Video Wizard. In regards to the Weather Channel thing. Remy's yelling at me again. What a shock. Are you alone? Cause you've got my interest. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Luffy a one got some votes finally. It's been a while. Pokeballs on the shoulders and armor that only covers the size of your leg is the hot. Sumer 2020 fashion trend. Sumer. Number 08. Buddy Cthulhu, thank you, man, for 69 bits. Voting for Luffy a 1 on Super Nintendo. As you folks know, maybe you don't if you're new. We do hardware only here. So any of those games that get voted in on the next list, we play hardware. So Luffy a 1 would be hardware. 
literally every single game on this list right here are games you can use your bits and donations to vote for hardware only i think there's one exception on there because they were or one or two exceptions because they only ever got digital releases and it's Mega Man 9 and 10 but they're retro so I put them on there because I have them um, but I'd still be playing them on hardware right I wouldn't be playing them on like PC or emulator I'd still be playing them on the the, the consoles they were released to digitally Sir Tree Waifu, I have been awaiting your arrival. I apologize for my rudeness earlier. My name is Bagus. I am in charge of the island's troops. Oh yes, Honorable Rummy, I forgot to have something prepared. I'm sorry, but do you think you can bring us something cold to drink? Yes, of course, but don't try to scoop me, all right? Which he will do immediately. Escorting Tree Waifu is my job after all. Scoop me. So we get in six and all but name. Uh, does anyone have a link to that Kickstarter? Feel free to link it in chat if you could. I would... I want to back that. I think... Oh, let me see if this other one is still there. Oh, it's not. I wanted to back Sea of Stars, but I never got around to it. Have you guys ever... Did you guys hear the Sea of Stars? She's always like that. That's one I wanted to back. I never got around to it. Feels bad. Ayudin Chronicle. 100 heroes. 1 million... 1.36 million. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. This just came out like today. <laughs> People are like, give us more. We need it. Holy hell. That's impressive. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. We'll have to look at the trailers of those real soon. Ever since I spoke to you, I've been getting criticized. Why'd you have to go take over, they say? Going to get in trouble again, but... Here, a certain tree waifu, come this way. No. Yeah, Konami's actually a really bad company. It's just a shitty, shitty company. They used to make good games. They don't anymore. They don't care. They just want to make gambling machines and use their intellectual property on gambling machines. What do you think? Do you like this island of Pandu? No. I love this island with all my heart. I don't believe it's blessed, but it's filled with the kind of simple charm that can cleanse souls. Didn't Star Citizen start the same way with Kickstart? Sure, but Star Citizen was way more of a prospectus than just one RPG game. Star Citizen set out at the very outset to be the space game of all space games. These games aren't trying to do that. They're just like, we have this vision. It's tight. It's focused. It's this. Star Citizen was never any of that for any reason. Do, 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 do. Story of Seasons is the real successor to Harvest of Moon. I haven't seen that. I have this feeling I can't shake. This feeling that something is amiss. Something horrific is going to occur. Yeah, this is his... I feel bad about things about to happen. This time I'm going to believe him and see what happens. It's hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. No, they don't, Kuja. They really don't. It's pretty sad. It's a bummer. Thank you, by the way, for anyone who's followed tonight. I try not to call out follows by name. Uh, because I respect people who want to lurk. We have a very small and minor alert that happens, and it's a really tiny sound effect. But otherwise, I don't, will never call out a follow by name because some people just want to follow the channel, they like it, and they want to lurk. And that's pretty cool. I am one of those people a lot of the time where I'm like, I like this channel, but I just don't feel like getting into a conversation just at this moment. 
You may laugh, but on my own, I've been secretly trying to figure out the source of this unease. I've been conducting investigations all over the island. While monsters appear here and there on the island, it's peaceful otherwise. I could just be deluded. Yeah, yeah. I can't recall when this fear erupted, but it's so definite. I've had this feeling of unease for years. You followed after someone ends? I forget. So, I just kind of have to bite the bullet because I know my memory. <laughs> like, I got to do it now or I won't remember. Castlevania vs. Bloodstain. Yeah, that's another famous example there. Telling you this makes me a little uncomfortable, Sir Tree Waifu. Uh, what else tried to do that but didn't work? Um, that Mega Man X one, right? What was that? The one that was so poorly marketed and Mighty Number no. 9. Yeah, that one did not work out. Is this a Dreamcast game? It's PS2. It, I think it was initially supposed to be, but yeah, this is PS2. Here it is, right here. It's supposed to be turquoise, but my chroma key on the camera cuts it out. <laughs> it is most decidedly PS2, unfortunately. After seeing you yesterday, I started thinking. You are a wise person and you can look objectively at the island and the islanders. That's why I'd like you to give me your honest opinion. Could it be that I'm crazy? No. Really, does this mean that you, sir, also feel there's something amiss as well? He's, he's getting awkwardly close. They didn't listen to the fans? Yeah. Ukulele? I never tried that, but I never played Banjo-Kazooie games either. Those are games... Oh, I gotta put those on my list, don't I? I gotta put those on the N64 Banjo-Kazooie. If I get carts of those, I'd try them. Never played Banjo-Kazooie. All right, I added that one. So, I also spelled Donkey Kong wrong. <laughs> Whoops. All right, there we go. <laughs> Whoopsies. Really, what a relief it wasn't just some illusion. Touch my hand. Or walk away. All right. Please don't make me play Sitar Hero. Tree Waifu has spoken the truth about everything. What, what? What? What did you say? The island's time is closing. And you say the ringleader is Sir Dollar Store Sephiroth? Yes. Sir Tree Waifu, I don't mean to be rude, but I do not believe it. Oh, uh, of course you don't. Cause and effect. I remember that one. The Stargate episode was hilarious of the time loop. Yeah. Here's the... There was the only saving grace I know about Mighty Number no. 9 was... Supposedly it was a great speedrun game. But that alone will not sell copies, will it? A lot of us probably have watched speedruns. We might even enjoy speedruns and rarely do them ourselves. But the fact of the matter is that's such a small segment of the gamer population that that alone does not sell copies enough to support, you know, a budget of making a game like that. Mm. Ego was smart when it came to Bloodstained. I haven't played that yet. It's true. What you are telling me coincides with some of my premonitions. I myself have been plagued with the feeling I have been living the same days over and over for years. But I've heard it's common for people who are extremely tired to feel this way. However, that Snuffleupagus is the root of the variety of evils. No, no, I don't believe it. Sir Tree Waifu, at first I wanted you to identify and stop whatever was causing these sensations of fear. But there's no need to do that now, so let's stop. He sucks. And here I thought I was going to get some progression. Which bloodstained? Um, the one that came out on Steam. Um, the the Kickstarter, Curse of the Moon. Is that what it's called? Bloodstained something. It's basically like, oh, we wanted to make another Symphony of the Night. 
Ritual of the Night? Okay. There's retro, like, spin-offs of them, too, from what I know. I want you to understand, I'm the general of the country, and Snuffleupagus is my master. No matter how highly esteemed you are, I won't suspect my master. That's final. It didn't work, huh? It's admirable that one's so loyal, but... Wouldn't it have helped if you had offered some kind of proof? You could watch a loop and then foretell something, you know. For example, how about telling him he will die in the reactor explosion on the fourth day? Okay. That. Day four. Tell... General... Douche. He will die. <laughs> oh, if he gets it after he's dead, it's too late. What do you plan to do? I, I, I don't know. Hey, did you see Tree Waifu? No, uh, I'm just a guy with a, with a tunic. Darn, how dare he? He always blows off my tours. I wonder if he enjoys insulting me like this. Seems a bit on the nose. Yeah. The magical sitar is spoiling. <laughs> Good. We need some hints in this game. Ugh. Oh, that's not the exit. Damn it. I was hoping there wouldn't be enemies. Her outfit is meant for maid cafes. Pretty much. Omega and Doug. Why did they name that thing Doug? God, that's the worst name. It really is. Doug has been defeated, everyone. Ow! New Doug, you have a stupid name. Why do they name this thing Doug, says Tree Waifu? <laughs> well, you know. You know, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Where's the freaking stair? I got it on here. Fun Doug, he's an enemy now. That's what happens when you steal my sandwich. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, well, now what? Save save General Douche from the reactor explosion, right? That's what we do. Hello. You know what I think is funny that you can do in this game? Ready? Boop. Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Why does it let me do that? This game is so busted. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's go say hi to Claire and see if she fixed the watch. Claire, fix my watch, please. Nothing personal, sonny. You love jank physics? I mean, honestly, I do too. I can't. One of the things I remember the most about playing Oblivion is when you would close a door on a corpse. And then it would just start like distorting and being like <laughs> just flailing all over the place awkwardly, making really weird noise. <laughs> it was so terrifying. <laughs> no, fix the watch, Claire. Ah, oh, damn it. Deadly premonition. I honestly want to play those someday because they seem to be the polar opposite of this, and as far as their masterpieces of jank and very deliberately crafted nonsense versus whatever the hell this game is. <laughs> it still did that in Skyrim. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to do this. It's 1130, so it's still kind of young. You know, we still got about three and a half hours on the stream. 
Uh, I want to get up. I want to get a snack, another refill. And as always, we play, we play uh, station IDs for you, little fake adverts or segues to tell you what you're listening to. And then we play music. So I hope you will enjoy that. Um, we're going to do this one. This was a new one Thor gave us. You, some of you already heard this tonight, okay? We're going to hear it again. But, yes, we have the sequel. PT. PT has a sequel. All right? PT has a sequel. And then we're going to hear some metal-style video game remixes. So enjoy that. We'll see you right after the break. Don't go anywhere. Are you still thirsty? Happened to me too. Hi, Thoringar here, and the makers of PT, in conjunction with Phenomenon Labs, have developed a new refreshing sensation you're sure to be sprinting to try today. Introducing Sweat Tea, our proprietary man-made all-natural blend of fluids, electrolytes, and energy boosters will have you working up a lather in no time. We don't add any sugar or preservatives, so whether you're going hard in the streets or playing hard in the sheets, you can get sweat tea without feeling guilty. Cool down and juice up with sweat tea. B O original. Available everywhere PT is sold. Official sports drink of Phenomenon. Find out more today at twitch.tv slash phenomenon.
Hello, I'm Background Guy 2 and you might not like Insomniac Game Theater, and that's alright. But if you don't like butts, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. You better rethink that line of thought, because I do have a particular set of skills. Skills that I've acquired over a very long career. And if you do not retract that line of thought, I will look for you. I will find you. So help me, God! And I will probably ask to touch your butt. There, this is Weewa, and you're watching Phenomenon. If you're looking for cats or beans, you'll find no better source of them than right here. Farmer Finn is the best cat and bean farmer east of the Tenasket. And I'm not just saying that because I'm contractually obligated to say it. <coughs> Although I am contractually obligated to say it. What an asshole. Phenomenon on Twitch. Listen, listen, my roommate is fucking with me at this point. You know how last break I told you I went in the kitchen to get a refill? And there was a box of Pop-Tarts sitting there, right? <laughs> Sammy, uh, I respect that, man. You're trying, all right? <laughs> I went in the kitchen. There was a box of Pop-Tarts on the first break, okay? So I go in the kitchen this break. There's a second box of Pop Tarts in there now. These fucking she just fuck she's fucking with me at this point. They're just multiplying for no reason. <laughs> God damn it! It wasn't there the last time. Ah. <laughs> uh. And they're not sandwiches. All right. I don't care. They're not sandwich. <laughs> You're all wrong. <sighs> Let's play your favorite game ever. Let's play your favorite game ever. It's called Ephemeral Fantasia. This is everybody's favorite game ever. <laughs> beep, beep. Okay. So, suffice it to say, I'm eating a Pop Tart. <laughs> This game is not a sandwich. Reg is trying to get banned again, everybody. He's trying to get banned. There are some peanut butter on it. Honestly, that might work. Because these are like chocolate. Reg is four four subs away from another ban ban opportunity. Um, okay. Let's look at our list of things to do. Also, I said we could look at some trailers. I don't know if you folks want to look at those trailers. Um, there's two games on Kickstarter that I want to get. So we could do that. We could roll into that in a bit. They are pastries. And they even say so on the box. Alright? Listen, listen. 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 Even though Thor made this happen, it's still not a sandwich. <laughs> I don't care if this box says so. Because you know what else this box says on it? What else does the box say? Except... Toaster pastries! It says pastries on the box. Pastries. Right there. 
You do not see it only because you choose ignorance over knowledge, and that is a personal problem. <laughs> Got her. Got her. It's also a soup. Hot dogs are not tacos? Wait, who says hot dogs are tacos? I've not heard that one. I've heard people say that they're sandwiches, which is also ridiculous. Hot dogs are neither sandwiches nor tacos. Oh my god, Seamus. <laughs> All right, so it's 5 p.m. on day two. Can we meet Rummy in the restaurant? I don't know. Let's head that way and see what happens. Because Claire did not fix our watch. Would she give me a break? I, what? She's still yelling at us. Invite you to dinner. Right. I'm going. I'm going, Rummy. Jesus. We'll be there. God, she's so bossy. Why do people like her? I guarantee the only people that liked Rummy... Making a qualifying statement here, and I apologize to anyone who's offended, but if you liked Rummy up until the point that I've seen in this game, it's because your hormones were guiding you. Because she has been nothing but rude to us the whole game. <laughs> the whole freaking game. She has treated us like crap. Ugh. This is your favorite RPG released by Konami on PS2 in 2001. <laughs> You're beyond that, Flare Cat. Oh, man. Overwhelmed by central polygons. Funny you say that. <sighs> Funny you say that. Here's an actual review of Ephemeral Fantasia. <laughs> actual review. <laughs> Overwhelmed by sensual polygons. Read it to essentially. I don't know. It makes my chest constrict thinking about it. No flare cat. The only reason I did that is because someone said how much to get you to read bad fan fiction. And I spitballed a number, and before I could finish telling them I wouldn't do it, they had already donated the amount. So unless you're prepared to put your money where your mouth is, it's not happening. cannot support your mouth. Hey, well then you are you are just like the rest of us. What can I tell you? <laughs> we all feel that one pretty acutely. Ah! Why did that open up? Alright, let's go back here where it actually looks good. I have no idea, Queen. Cook my favorite dish? Nope. Your food's good, but it 
It ain't that good. <laughs> it's really good, but it's not that level of good. Your wallet costs from dust every time you open it. All right, here's the restaurant. She wants us to be there at 7.30, right? It is almost six. Taking the Pop-Tarts back, that's fine. I really wouldn't be missing out on much. <laughs> the heh <laughs> heh yeah, I'll see you. Listen, just reading that, just reading that review makes me nervous. Reading it aloud would give me anxiety, at the least. <laughs> Streamer luck first chat. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? We've been sharing clips while I wait for the damn clock in this game. Oh, this was during the marathon, wasn't it? Staggered him. Staggered him. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he just missed. Yep, that's my luck. I was frozen for 10 seconds and he was just whiffing. <laughs> uh, no, not really, Video Wizard. You can go to the inn and rest, but it bypasses events if you do. Like, no joke. It'll just skip right over him. 7.30, here we go. Ready? Ready? Oh, it just auto... Skip the head. All right. Same shirt. <laughs> that one chest in the water. Oh my God, dude. That was several hours of people stonewalling me from that chest. <laughs> It was like half the stream. <laughs> they just didn't want me to have it. Whoa. Okay, this changed. Um, Sea Hook, all I know is that one minute equals one hour. So, however, you divide that. Yeah, it had nothing useful in it, I know. <laughs> I got stonewalled from opening a chest by chat for several hours in DS2. Finally got it and the loot was worthless. It was completely worthless. Hey, what's wrong? Your pace is a bit slow, Sir Tree Waifu. Sir Tree Waifu, are you listening? Didn't know her drinking was this bad. Excuse me, did you say something? What did you put in your drink? Uh, I mean, look at the wine. Okay, so here, here. She has drank a whole bottle of wine. That's an upended bottle of wine. <laughs> She's been hitting the bottle hard. It's been a rough couple of days for her. All right, bottoms up on this one. Bottoms up. What? You can't. Should you be saying that? One word for me and you could be dead. Should I inform the royal household that you have been calling Sir Snuffleupagus, the leader of this island, an evil apparition? You'll definitely be sentenced to death. Now, now, hurry up. You're a man, so down it. Just down it. Wow, okay. 
Dollar Store Sephiroth can drink a bottle of the strongest alcohol and his coloring doesn't change his shade. Wow, that's proof. He's, he's a... He's a demon! That's right. Snuffle up against his budget. This time she's a sobbing drunk. Your talk with her this morning must have had an effect. I'm so sorry. I let my guard down a little too much. <laughs> Genova Ocho. This is so embarrassing. Oh my god. I'm getting fuck left. Your tree waifu, what do you think of me? Um. Am I unattractive to you? Less. Uh... When did I save? <laughs> because this is so awkwardly phrased. Am I unattractive to you? No. Less attractive than the princess. No. Oh, thanks for the host, Amal. <laughs> Am I unattractive to you? No. Why would I say yes to that? Oh, you liar. The truth is you tree wife who like the princess too. <laughs> the same situation as me. You like someone who's out of your reach. Wow. <laughs> Let me think about it. Oh, no. Alright, let's drink all night till we pass out. I'll listen to your every worry. Uh, okay. Bartender, bring us five more glasses of wine. Dunk. She got wasted. <laughs> we apparently drank until dawn. It's light out. Like I went there at 7:30 at night when it was going the sun was going down. <laughs> uh, this is it, my room. The rating is T for terrible. <laughs> Rummy, is it her name? It's just what the locals call her. <laughs> I'm sorry about last night. I'm so embarrassed you saw that side of me. But drinking and blowing off steam like that made me feel so much better. Thanks, Tree Waifu. After I rest a bit, I'll go over to the castle. If you need me or anything, don't hesitate to call. Okay. This is also a new cutscene. Oh no, awkward silence. Please don't. Mr. Tree Waifu, if you really can tell what's going to happen next. Why did we leave? Just tell her, yo, the general's gonna die in a reactor explosion. Straight up. Please stop me! Uh, okay. So her house is right here? She lives in the land? Oh, the locked house was her house. Her house is the locked house. Okay. 
Where is this shit? I love that her name is Rummy. Because, not because it's her real name. <laughs> It's locked. We're on day three now. All right. <clears throat> There's a wedding announcement ceremony. It must be six in the morning, not 6 p.m. It has to be. It has to be. Are we supposed to get her to an AA meetup? Maybe. Meanwhile, let's rob her garden. It has nothing! Hello. Who are you? Well, at least we know where she lives now. I can't talk to that NPC. She's exercising in the flowers. All right. You know what? Whatever works for you, kiddo. <laughs> Yo, Tio, what's up, man? This game is so bad. It made them dig up E.T. from the landfill just to be sure which game was the worst. Okay, Tio, I have a question, man. I gotta ask you. Please don't be insulted, but I just looked at your chat history. Are you a bot? <laughs> Are you real? <laughs> uh, I have to know. <laughs> you can whisper me if you're afraid. Uh, it's all right. Like, I followed his channel and everything, like, the other day. I'm just like, oh, I gotta check him out. I haven't seen him live. Hmm. Hmm. That's a weird question to ask somebody. Are you a real person? <laughs> I feel bad, but I'm also like, there's some interesting patterns I see here. So, if he was a bot, would he know that he's a bot? Excellent point. Excellent point. Excellent point. Yeah, we gotta we gotta give Tio the Turing test. All right, there's gonna be a bandit attack, right? We know this day on day three, there's gonna be a bandit attack. Save, kill the music, apparently. Well, regardless, I appreciate that Tio is uh, lurking and supporting. Just like the meat boy says. <laughs> I hope. Uh, yeah, Jeff, like a year and a half ago, I want to say. Stay hydrated bot was banned. It was removed because people were adding it to channels without the channel owner's permission. And it started becoming like a means of spamming, you know. Okay. I have chosen poorly as far as Pop-Tarts go because there was like chocolate ones and strawberry ones. 
I went with the chocolate ones and they're just like cloying my mouth. I'm like, ah. Yeah, video wizard. It was also factually incorrect about how much water it thought you should drink. Okay, so the chocolate ones didn't taste bad. It was just too much. I think I'd like the other ones better. I, I'm not saying they tasted bad. There was just too much. You know, like, there's just too much. All right, so Claire hasn't fixed the watch. There's a bandit attack on day three. We could go talk to Kite for no good reason at all, if we wanted to. The wedding announcement ceremony is this day at 6 p.m. ish? 6 p.m. ish? It's also early morning. Let's see if we can catch Rissa. She likes to show us around town. Ooh, excuse me. Honestly, I, I liked it for a bit because I'm forgetful and I would forget to drink water. But eventually I got rid of it. And then, yeah, Sammy had the Stay Smashed bot. That would be immediately banned by Twitch. <laughs> so I had to reject that idea. Oh, come on. Looks like you didn't spend last night in your room, you sneaky... Be best if you didn't camp out just anywhere. Not all the islanders are decent people. I heard just last night the bandits attacked someone on the outskirts of town. The bandits have their hideout in the northern part of the forest. Every so often they'll come into town and wreak havoc. But now with the wedding festivities, they're much more active. They're a violent bunch, so you'd best be careful. Ah! So we can get Rena. Okay. How many days does a typical game go until it resets? Uh, it's a stable loop, Sea Hook, so it's a five day, five day loop. Much like Majora's Mask is three, right? This game is a five day loop. So when you get to the end of five days, it resets. Hey, right a hamburger case, though, man. How are you? Mr. Tio didn't answer. It feels bad. I'm starting to wonder there. I'm really starting to wonder. When was the last time they were live? Let's see, videos. Recent broadcast, four days ago. That's a real channel. Espanol and English. What am I hearing? Oh, it's his hosted channel. <laughs> I was like, what is that? <laughs> I was hearing Espanol. Oh, man. Todos los Espanol. What am I, a new game? No, it's not like that, Magnumer. It's like an actual in-game time loop. It's not a new game plus game over scenario. It's literally a time loop that the game is built around. This was in development as the same time as Majora's Mask, so neither copied the other. Interesting. I beg you, Mr. Musician. My father hasn't given me any chores to do today, so please let me show you the island. Okay. Right. So we've done this before, but we haven't done this again, right? And there's one thing we're starting to learn is if we revisit old cutscenes with new knowledge, sometimes it changes things. So I am hoping, really, really hoping right now this is true for her. Which is like one hour. Um, every day is an every hour is one real minute in the game. So every day is twenty four minutes. So math, twenty four times five. That's like what one twenty, I think. So literally two hours. If you just sat there for two hours, the loop would reset.
Sure, let's go, Reno. I just skipped through all the text because we've seen it before. It's not relevant. She wants to show us around town and the island. We did it before. We're going to see if anything's different, though. And this is how you get her on your party temporarily for like two minutes. Legitimately like two minutes. No math. No math. We didn't do math on our FFT challenge. That was so much fun. I hope you guys got to see us do that. Speaking of retro games, did you folks want to see um, trailers for some Kickstarter retro games that are coming out? Or did you want to keep rolling with this craziness? Should only be a couple minutes, but... But it is a bit of a tangent. This was early time loop attempts that paved the way for time loop perfection. Presented in Lightning Returns. <laughs> the right tower is where Snuffleupagus lives. <laughs> Sammy's all-time favorite character is, uh... Is Hope. <laughs> This is where we're going to be dancing today. Oh my god. You're okay with a break from suffering to watch trailers? Thank you for answering. I was hoping one person would answer. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh. This sounds like end credits movie or music of like a 1970s sitcom. Seriously. Like Love Boat. I could hear this music in the show Love Boat. Or <laughs> or Gilligan's Island or something. This is totally where this music would be long. You wouldn't mind a break. Any break for this game. Just give me something. I need something. Okay. 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 We'll get through this cutscene, okay? We'll get through this cutscene, and then we're gonna we're gonna watch those. If you had to choose between Fish Sword Captain and Innkeeper Kid, I don't know yet because I haven't seen what Innkeeper Kid can do, so I'm not sure. Sorry, somebody's sending me free parts, so I need to respond. Free. Free, right? A poll is up, says Reg. Do you want to watch some upcoming game trailers? Top of the chat. Yes, no, I love Rummy trailers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm here alone with you, Mr. Musician. We're gonna fall in love. You kid. Call me in 10 years and I'll see if I'm interested, but I probably won't be. God, that crackle this game does. You, you BGG and seven plat lightning returns. So what you're saying is that you enjoy pain as a substitute for pleasure. Interesting. Interesting. Where's the police got you? <laughs> Uh, I hate doing homework. I never come here, but if there's anything you want to know about the island, come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's going to take us to her secret spot. Eventually. Which is where it gets really awkward. Because she looks like she's freaking 12 years old. Because of the festivities, it's not very crowded, but on a normal holiday, the park is packed. I never liked this bird statue. Me either. It's ugly. It looks like blocks.
The winner is... Yes! <laughs> Play a landslide! <laughs> Wasn't even close. <laughs> uh, the bird looks like it's glaring at you. That actually does look better than bird enemies, doesn't it? Don't you just love the smell of freshly cut wood? Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. The yeah, oh man. <sighs> totally. I love Rummy got six votes. <laughs> Uh, can we please I can't call you Mr. Musician Should I call you by your first name Okay She's gonna show me a place special For her gratitude Her secret place If a 12 year old told me she's gonna show me her secret place I'm gonna tell her That I have to go wash my hair I'll check with her later <clears throat> Just throwing that out there Really not interested but I have to be diplomatic, right? You don't want to hurt the poor girl's feelings, but you got to say no. Don't you go tell anyone else about it either. Uh, uh, now I'm really going to say no. Wow. <laughs> uh, if I was 12, okay. I'm not 12. I'm 38. All right. The whole I part here is crucial. I am 38. I am not 12. <laughs> No, a million times. Over here! Uh, okay. Oh, God, this kid is so dumb. At least he has a talking tumor sitar to keep him company. Don't worry, we're almost done with this cutscene. You're waiting for Chris Hansen to turn. I mean, come on. There's going to be a stump that we could have a seat on over there. So, I mean, the scene is right. You can get through here. You're going to love my nuts. Now. <laughs> the tiny. What the fuck, box kid? <laughs> All right, well, I'm, I'm changing my mind. We're going to watch some trailers right now. <laughs> oh, God. I can't. I can't fucking... I can't do it. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Your timing is tragedy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's. Well, this is an inauspicious start to this trailer. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it, dude. Uh, what did I do? Don't even. Don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Uh, what were we talking about? This is. This, uh, Okay, okay. Spiritual successor to Suikoden. Kickstarter just went live today. In the last 30 minutes, it's gotten $40,000. It's $1.4 million. Let's, let's check it out. The people left Konami to make this, so... It's interesting. Hey, hey, this is our Hold on. That thing is blocking the chat. They're apparently there's subtitles. All right, hold on. The boss is thugs. Hold on. If this is cinematic, we're going to the theater. <laughs> we're going to the theater, all right? We're going to watch it in the cinema, all right? You got to do it right. You got to do it right. 
I know it's smaller, but it's more it's more thematic. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. どうしよう。He's recruiting characters like he wouldn't sweep it in, isn't he? And they're the old devs. That's clever. <laughs> it's really clever. <laughs> Foam sword. こいつは手強そうだ。俺たちだけで大丈夫か。段ボールあるか。カードボール。大丈夫かなこれで。俺にいい考えがある。<笑><笑><笑><笑> The boss. <laughs> That's a lot of nines. Boss clear. <laughs> スターターに対してみんなの中に不信感があるのかもしれないでも今回僕らは最高のゲームを作りたいと思っているそしてそのためにはクリエイターが IPを持ち本当にファンのためだけに仕事をするそのためにみんなの協力が必要ですどうかよ
taking place before there's been a huge flood where many islands are waiting for you to explore with much mysteries to unravel and I can't tell like what, what kind of game the this is, is like is it action of the Fleshmancer, an evil alchemist who manipulates Chrono Trigger blood, style the only hope for this world I don't are know. children of the solstice special beings born on either the summer or winter Chrono solstice, Trigger style the power of the sun or moon Oh, <laughs> skills, and then protecting the world as they combine their power to create eclipse magic. Hold they on. The only force that can has been a huge flood. Flesh that was Chrono Trigger style. Look at the combat here. Flesh and soul alive. Look at the combat style. The only hope for this world are children of the solstice. Special beings born on either the summer or winter solstice. That's Chrono Trigger style. Sun or moon. Honing their skills and then protecting the world as they combine their power to create eclipse magic. They are the only force that can fend off the flesh. It has speech. double text. Why don't more games do that? You will play the role of two such children of the solstice. And for those of you who played our first game, you might have met them before. So as a general guideline for Sea of Stars when it comes to game design, we want to create an experience that is seamless and frictionless. And of course it starts with combat. So battle is initiated by entering physical contact with the enemies and doesn't take place on a separate battlefield. So without any it's loading totally or totally chrono trigger style. Be fighting and navigating in the same area. We want to create a combat system that is heavily reliant on strategy and skill. That's why we have a timed hits mechanic, which means that instead of just playing a combat through the menu, you need to actually pay attention to the animation. And if you time your inputs properly, you can increase the damage that you deal with every attack or special move. Nice. And so too when you're defending from enemies. Time day TV. That a boss that is proving a bit too hard, you don't necessarily need to go back and grind to have more levels or better gear. You can simply learn the patterns and then have better execution next time around. Very cool. The game will feature six playable characters, each with their own set of special moves that combine with each other to create unique synergies. So while the game will certainly challenge you with different enemy types and group compositions, you will always have the tools to emerge victorious. You'll need to be on your guard, however. Enemies who enter a spellcasting state pose a significant threat to your party, urging you to take action. While channeling, they will display a bar with locks, each with a specific damage type. With proper use of your characters and special abilities, you can remove these locks. For every lock that you remove, the efficiency of the ensuing spell is thus hindered. Weird. Remove all the locks, and the spell is entirely broken. Wow, there's some strat. It puts a lot of strategy into the RPG. As a final ingredient, combat to make style. sure you have all the tools at your disposal in clutch situations. Using regular attacks creates That's really energy hard to do. Your characters to add a multiplier to the JRPGs have been around 35 years, people. and people are still finding ways to change it up. And deeply engaging. This means our character moveset includes things such as swimming and climbing and jumping off of ledges. If it looks like you can go somewhere, the odds are that you can, in the ways wow. that are unshackled towards what you'd be used to in a game of the genre. Yeah, I want this too, Sea Hook and Flare and Shame. <laughs> As you may have noticed in the trailer, we went pretty hard with the lighting system, which was mandatory to properly tell the story of the Moon Girl and the Sun Boy combining their powers. Our system is 100% rendered dynamically, which means that things like day and night cycles, Whoa. weather effects, eclipses, or blood moons... Okay, we're going to look at that again, because that's something I always pay attention to, that kind of aesthetic. Look at this. The Moon Girl and the Sun Watch Boy the night cycle here. It goes Our from left to right. Rendered dynamically, it goes left to right. Look like at that. Day and night cycles, weather In effects, a retro style game? That is so freaking cool. Our system is 100% rendered dynamically, which means that things like day and night cycles, wow. weather effects, <laughs> eclipses, or blood moons, How did they all do that? in real time. As fully fledged Solstice Warriors, you will eventually get full control over the sun and moon. So whether you just want to chill in your favorite area in the ambience of your choice, or you have a specifically complex puzzle related to lighting that you need to solve, or there's a magic door that only opens at Lighting night, related the puzzles? Oh, and oh, one man. last thing about day and night cycles, every single music track in the game will have both a day and night version. Oh! Which, <laughs> I guess, brings us to music. Day and night versions of every track. Yes. Award-winning composer Eric W. Brown, also known as Rainbow Dragon Eyes, is back to rock your socks off yet again. This time around mixing his retro catchiness with modernized sound using instruments from all over the world. Eric even built his own recording studio at home. He's also playing with the Wise Audio Engine this time around, meaning Sea of Stars is getting fully dynamically layered music and ambient effects. So whether you'll be exploring a snowy mountain at high noon, a damn cavern in the dead of night, or even a rainy jungle, everything will transition seamlessly 
This company is starting to prove the versatility. That's really impressive. So this is your first look at Sea of Stars. We hope you're as excited as we are. In closing, we want to thank all the friends we made since launching the Messenger, from press to industry folks to, of course, they're gonna make fucking Discord. bank on this game. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you want us to keep you posted, feel free to come say hi. In Holy the meantime, crap! We humbly thank you for your support and hope you will join us in bringing Sea of Stars to life. How much did they make on this Kickstarter? Twenty-nine thousand five hundred eighty-nine backers pledged. A hundred one million six point one point six one point six two eight million Canadian dollars. Wait, what is this? Hold on. What is this? This is something at the end. I thought it was over. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. There's like monkeys bouncing around. Yeah, this one did pretty well on Kickstarter. Holy crap. I was going to back this, and I forgot. Estimated delivery, April. Now, when's the game supposed to come out? That was that backing pledge. Wow, they hit, like, every stretch goal. <laughs> they hit, like, every stretch goal. Uh, FAQ. Here we go. Nope, they don't have it there. Man. I wonder when this is supposed to come out. Doesn't say. Last updated in June 22nd, so they're definitely keeping in touch. 2022. Okay. I mean, I, I'm the kind of person that I've never had a problem with waiting for quality. And it looks like it's quality. I mean, it really does. I mean, it, you know, 2022, when that comes out, I could see us playing that game. No problem. Like, a release game. I don't usually do release games, but if it's, like, retro RPG style, I'm usually all about that. <laughs> yeah, when they smash their goals, they have to start making stuff up. <laughs> it could be a phenomenon when it comes out. You right. You right. <laughs> <laughs> I see your note, Sammy. I agree with you. It's been on my to-do list for over half a year, unfortunately. I just, uh... <laughs> it's been, uh, it's a thing, so... I don't have enough time to do everything I need to do anymore. I need to start talking to mods and being like, yo, I need help. I really do, so... Those that have time, I'm going to ask if they can help. Both of those games look great. So, um, that one we just saw was called Sea of Stars. Uh, and then the one that was just announced today, so the dev cycle on that could be a long time, was called Ayudin Chronicle, which is the uh, spiritual successor to Suikoden. Something to look forward to, honestly. I, I really enjoy seeing things like this. Like, that there are companies out there, people out there that are like, we're not done. Like just because some big no-name publisher or some assholes in suits think that we're done, doesn't mean we are. And then they just leave and make it happen themselves. That's awesome. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. I I want to back Ayudin, but I never played Suikoden. So, but what I saw from that looked really impressive. It looked supremely impressive, to be honest. So I gotta I gotta figure that one out. I gotta figure that one out. 2.5 years on that one? That's fair, honestly. I mean, it's an indie company. 1.4 can go real fast. Think about it. If you have an exceptionally good coder, you usually wanna pay them 50,000 a year to 125,000 a year, right? That's just a coder. Start putting that together with everyone else. Boom, there it is. Almost two years now. It's a lot Where's of money. Time gone. Treble! What's up, man? Thank you for the 22 months of support, total. How are you? Miss Tribs. Tessa, I believe it is, right? Miss Tessa. The most recent Pathfinder game Kickstarter. Yeah, uh, Kingmaker, right? Or did they do a new one? 
Crowdfunding a DQ10 release? I hope not. That game is come and gone. It's so it's like 10 years old now. I just I it's an MMO, man. Like I just just they just need to fucking bury that shit and move on. It's an MMO. People aren't gonna want to play that. <laughs> Like, just the whole genre itself of MMOs, like, the whole subscription model of MMOs is on a massive decline. Because people are sick of it. You'd play it, and you'd be you'd be a niche, man. It, it would not be worth it for them to do it. It really wouldn't. They need to keep doing what they just did with Eleven and make games like that. Because people like them, they're supremely well made, they're good games. They sell really well in both Japan and the West, so... PSO2 is a huge hit? No, it isn't. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not a huge hit. If it was a huge hit, I'd be seeing people talking about it nonstop all over the internet. And they're not. It was like, oh wow, PSO2 for a week, and then it's gone. Nobody ever talks about it anymore. It was not a huge hit. As a PSO2 free to play non sub, uh, yeah, it fell off massively hard. That is not a huge hit. That's the opposite of a huge hit. That is, wow, it finally hit here. And then after a week went by, they're like, okay, we get why it took them so long. It's fun, but that's it. That's it. I played PSO2 like six years ago with like a fan translation patch or whatever, so I know what the game is. And I know why it didn't come to the West. Because it's basically the whole premise of the game is grind a lot so that you can get a bunch of anime outfits from popular animes. That's why that game was so popular in Japan. Like, there's just, oh, oh, look, and I can put this little creature from this anime in my house. It was just, like, super customizable, fun, nonsense action, lots of content, but all the content was costumes and anime stuff. Which is fine. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but that's not a huge hit. It's not. Because uh, I had fun playing it, personally, and I don't even really like anime for the most part. I might be better to give the highlights of the story. If they could do that, Video Wizard, then I would be interested. If they could turn 10 into an actual, like, really good single-player RPG, that might work. But otherwise, it needs to just be left, left in the dust. <clears throat> Eight-year-old game, you're not going to make a huge splash, right? I, I'm just not going to entertain that, Tessa. You're just gonna cherry pick only the things at the top and ignore the 99% below it. Cause you yourself told me you like to just devil's advocate argue against everything. And I'm just not interested. <laughs> I'm not interested in that kind of conversation. They were hard into it for like a week or two and then they don't even talk about it. Yeah. Like, I know uh, BGG's community was like, oh, this is fun, let's play this together. And they did, for a couple weeks. And for a couple weeks, that community was booming. People were loving that game, and then it was just gone. They figured it out. They got their fun out of it, right? It's coming to the West. What is coming to the West, Isaac? I'm sorry, I missed uh, some context. Apologies. <laughs> Sammy <laughs> Every room on each server is full Now each room is at 10% <sighs> Wow yeah that really fell hard PSO2 It already came out That's what we're talking about Isaac It already came out like what a month or two ago That's that's the conversation. Like, it came out a month or two ago. It was super popular for a week or two and fell off the planet. It just completely fell off. You mean a new PSO2? Okay, I. Oh, I must have missed some context. Could you give me some more details, Isaac and Skapak here? I'm sorry. I apologize. I must have missed something there. Um, what is that exactly? A new PSO2? Does that mean like. Um, 
Like, is that a new MMO? Is it a new single player game? Um, what is it? You're saying, Tessa, you're saying that's an outlier because it's part of a beloved franchise. Ah, I understand what you're saying now. Okay, thank you for the clarification. I very much appreciate that. The MMO to RPG format is pretty much dried up. Yeah, yeah. They're redoing the game and making it open world. Interesting. Okay. Now I will throw this out there for all of you. Uh, I have a bias, but I try to be objective about it. Um, I don't like MMOs based on their game design philosophy, which is to get you to play as long as possible over a long period of time so you keep subscribing and paying money, right? Um, but with that said, I can still objectively look at every single one I've played and tell you why it was good and why it wasn't good. That's what I do with every game, no matter how much I like the game. <clears throat> I liked Final Fantasy XIV a lot until I got to the max level and finished the storyline, and then it was a terrible game. And at that point, it was a miserable game. I think Final Fantasy XIV strengths, personally, from what I've seen, are fan service. Uh, and I don't mean that in like, well, look at this, this is your favorite character and she's wearing a bikini. Fan service in that they do all these nostalgic throwbacks to previous Final Fantasies and then they bring them into the Final Fantasy XIV formula. That's a working strategy because they have such a wealth of history to build upon and renew. Not a lot of MMOs can say that accurately. That will hit so many hearts and minds out there. <clears throat> what is PSO2, says Sisu? Uh, Fantasy Star Online 2. Which was a uh, MMO that was out in Japan for a long time. The people wanted to come to North America because Fantasy Star Online 1 had, and it never did until recently. And then it did, and people were like, yeah, it's finally here, and they played it for a week or two, and they stopped. Go figure, the people that didn't bring it here to begin with were probably right. It wasn't worth it, but... Hopefully they got their return on investment, because that's a beloved franchise and I don't want to see it go under because of that kind of gamble you know I'd like it to see I'd like to see it survive because there are a decent amount of people that enjoy it okay so this is Rena's secret spot yay oh good this is what we all wanted to do is hang out with a 12 year old <laughs> in her secret spot that we're not allowed to tell adults about ugh You think the reason they brought it here is because they had new Genesis in their back pocket? So a marketing strategy to get people hyped up about the series again. That makes sense. You think your alert cooldown is done yet? Thankfully, no, box kid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I had a fan translation that I had to use some like Japanese app on my tablet just to log into. It was like a two-factor authenticator app. It was weird. Um, most of it was translated. Bits and pieces here and there weren't. But there was like one server that everyone who had that fake English translation would play on. And then all the Japanese people on that server hated us because they thought that they we didn't belong there. It was really uncomfortable. <laughs> it was really uncomfortable. So I just kind of stayed off of the online component for the most part. Just kind of did my own thing. I played WoW. I played WoW um, for a couple of years. I started a week before Lich King hit and ended like m the middle of Cataclysm. So however that long that time period is. Supposedly the best time to play WoW was Burning Crusade from what everybody told me. So... Gotta get in the sea moth, Sammy.
bring PS5 to PS5. <laughs> Is there a Fantasy Star 5 video wizard? I didn't know that. I thought it ended at 4. Interesting. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Ellen's D says he agrees on Burning Crusade. Yeah, I never... I, like, literally started WoW, like, a week before Lich King hit. So everybody... Would, like, the servers were quiet. Like, people were just waiting. <laughs> Trailer for New Genesis. Uh, what's New Genesis again? Oh, oh, the Fantasy Star thing. I'm reluctant to watch it. <laughs> uh, all I can say is what I saw in Lich King was the story was actually really impressive, and it's what kept me going in that game. That game actually had some pretty sick storyline to it at one point. And then Cataclysm came out, and I was like, what happened? I'm not, having, I'm not enjoying the world and the lore anymore. I don't care about any of these people or what they're doing. There's no incentive for me to see what happens next because I don't even know who they are or care what they do. PSO's 2, his biggest issue was not the game, it was getting it to run. Uh, maybe. I, I, I don't think that was its biggest issue, though. I don't know. I, I It might have been the biggest issue you had, but... I know the game, so... I think its biggest issue was that it's not a game that's go even if it had an, a great first release, it still would have fallen off the planet. If its biggest issue was getting it to run, then it would have been like shitty, then spiked up and stayed there. Instead, it spiked up and then fell off the planet because it just wasn't that great of a game over time. I'll give Canon one thing, they had MMO leveling quests. I don't remember those. It, my memory's really bad, Boat. Can you remind me what those were? Because I probably did them. I mean, I, in Cataclysm, I had, like... I was hard up in that game. Like, I had the legendary magic staff. I don't know what that was. So, uh, like, I was decked out. Like, I had, ex I had drained the game of its content, you know, at that point. So, um... I probably did whatever that was, Boat. The leveling quests. Oh, you mean like just the like going from level whatever to the end? Like when the expansion hits and you're like, okay, you gotta level up again and all the shit you work towards is worthless now. I know what you're talking about. Exploring was fun, yeah. I'm, I vaguely remember it had a really cool underwater zone. Wrath of the Lich King was better in every way or form. That's what I've heard, yeah. That's what I've heard. Hardy, you ought to stick to digital for Eluden because you don't have a CD reader. Oh, do they sell digital? That's really cool. I would hope they sell digital, right? Uh, or, I'm sorry, sell physical. I would prefer physical myself, but I don't, also don't have any optical drives. I have one I can hook up USB, but that's not ideal for gameplay. I only use that to burn discs for legal backup copies of Dreamcast and Saturn. Mm. PSO2 randomly deletes itself? Do you think that's the reason people don't play that game anymore, though? I don't think it is. Upset about what Blizzard did to Warcraft 3 when they race were forged. Yeah, they my my opinion of Blizzard is if if Diablo 4 is a crash, then that company is dead in the water. They're just done. They're completely done. They're just irredeemable. <clears throat> That's their last chance to stop fucking up. But the thing is that all the people that were originally there calling the shots and making the right calls are basically not there anymore. So who are we supporting at this point when it comes to Blizzard, you know? It's just not the same people anymore. Does that make it the same company? Mm -hmm. 
Burning Crusades was popular because of Blood Elves. I, it's from what I was told, Burning Crusade was popular because it had really fun raids and new zones, and it introduced flying. Like there was from everything I was told, it introduced a lot of new gameplay mechanics that just hadn't existed before in World of Warcraft that brought new life to the game and was like a primer of, hey, we can take this old model and make something new out of it. We're gonna keep doing that for years to come. That was their whole selling point. And they did it with BC in like every way. And then they did it again with Lich King. And then it started going downhill after that. Was it PVP in FF14? I don't know, personally. You hate typing on your phone? Me too, Belvin. Did you figure out what you're going to do with the whole computer situation yet? They're going to relaunch Burning Crusade servers? Wow. You have an optical drive in your computer? Yeah, I just don't. I don't want it to be draining power and wattage in my computer. There's no reason. I don't own any disks that I, my computer needs to read for any reason. Uh, but have I seen the cinematic for 14 that shows the full story of what happened between 1 and 2? Um, I don't know. To be honest, I don't want to see it, though. I try to avoid anything that gets me tempted to play an MMO again. So if I've seen it or not, I'm not sure, but I also don't want to. If I hope that doesn't sound too harsh, but I avoid temptation when I can. And I get addicted to MMOs and like ARPGs like Path of Exile and Diablo 2. So I just have to stay away. Yeah, it's Activision, right? Yeah. It's not Blizzard, it's Activision. It's... I hate saying that. I really do. Because I legitimately have personal friends that work at Blizzard. No joke. I know people that either worked there or still do. And I can only imagine, and that's it, I can only imagine what it's like for them to come to either terms with that or to face the deluge of people in the world who want to convince them of that. Like there's some kind of crusader, you know, like just fucking let the person work and do their job. <laughs> They're not the ones calling the shots, so shut the hell up about it already. So I'm just like, man. They're, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place, you know? Plain and simple. All I can do is be like, I'm, I'm going to do whatever I can for you, friend. <laughs> I hope you find your meaning in it. Matt's in to start a new company. Um, who was the guy that made Diablo that started his own game? What was that guy's name? Because I streamed it. I was given a key for it by uh, Don Forgo to stream a couple times the uh what was that game I streamed it was like Starbound Terraria but it was made by the guy that made Diablo I don't know what happened with that but they just f they disappeared is what it seems like I they had so much promise and then just nothing like that could have been their foot in the door to be like, here we go, we're back in action. But maybe they just weren't into it. I don't know. Like, the game was cool. The game was really cool. We need to throw subs at me? Oh, dear. Well, like I said tonight, if we hit 400, uh, not tonight, but at any time, we're going to play this after EF Beyond the Beyond right here. So, that's 53 away. That's... It's a lot, but it's not. It's just, you know, it's... I say it's a lot, but then the chat always finds a way to make me eat my own words somehow. I said 600 was an impossible number, and here we are playing this game. <laughs> Damn it, Scott. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, dude. The question is, who cares? more subs. Oh, man. Oh, man. Schaefer. Yeah, it was Schaefer, Isaac. That was him. It lurks below. That was the game. Yeah. That game was cool. Well, what happened? <laughs> it was like, hey, Schaefer's back. Wait. Right, like half a year later, like, what happened? Where's Schaefer? <sighs> like him and his wife were hanging out in chat when I was streaming it. It was cool. 
I want to do more of this. This is fun. Oh, Reg. Reg's trying to get himself banned. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you so much, Reg, for that gift sub to Box Kid. Like, oh, it was a random gift sub, and Box Kid got popped by it. Nice. This is Rena's favorite place, by the way. Let's incentivize it. <laughs> 52 away, Reg. You got a ways to go, my friend. I didn't even know Box Kid was unsub, but hey, now I know. Now I know, right? Bad Reg, now earn it! <laughs> Oh, man. They released another major patch a few months ago. So waiting for them for netcode. That game would be so amazing multiplayer. Oh, that was the first thing I think I said about that game. I was like, I want this multiplayer. I really, really, really want that game multiplayer. You get the magic wands that are basically like machine guns that just spray and pray. They do shit damage, but they're a lot of fun to use. Woods energy. I hope we saved it. Machine gun wands. Yeah. Oh, man. Were they fun? Sounds like Noita. I think Noita came out after it, if I'm not wrong. All right. So, you guys ready to hear the greatest rendition? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wait. Can I do it this way? Like, oh, no. Nope, I can't. All right, now loading. Oh, this is going to be comedy. I have no rhythm. How am I supposed to play this game? <laughs> I'm the greatest musician ever. I'm wondering that the whole playthrough video wizard. If this game requires me to be good at those mini games, I can't beat it. I just can't. I am not capable of doing that. It's not possible. <laughs> and she's still clapping. Oh my god. Tally Stanshing, I never heard any music like that before. This must be what they call progressive music. <laughs> oh my god. Clearly we're, we're a rock star of Prague. <laughs> the part that people don't understand is what's so amazing, right? Yeah. You don't get it. I don't get it either, Reno. I thought if I played the song, she'd be like, hey, I never taught anyone that song. And this is the exact same cutscene, and I just don't care anymore. Okay, let's just hit triangle. I just don't care. This, is the, this was an absolutely failed cutscene. Just hold it down. <laughs> Uh, I'm dizzy. There's zombie mummy guys with lizard faces. Rah! Oh no! And yes, this is a PS2 game. It's not an emulator. The devs knew this game was such a mess that they even put fast forward in it. <laughs> oh man. 
Good times. We did a great job, didn't we? Didn't we? Didn't we? Thanks for the sums, everybody. Reg has dodged the bullet yet again. The princess was beautiful. I admire her. There's something called distant. All right, so she's on our party right now, right? But she, she's she leaves in a freaking heartbeat, and you're at this point where you're just wondering. What the hell are you doing here? Why are you in my party? No magic, one skill. She attacks with a mop. Uh. She has something called change here. And when I hit change, it goes. That's all it does. <laughs> okay. Clearly, that's an important skill. Boom. Boom. If I go back here, I'll get a useless treasure. Yeah. You wonder where she runs off to after hearing the truth? Good question. And since the enemies scale, she's just absolute dead weight. Oh my god. Eight damage. The enemies scale. Yep. More things to love about ephemeral Fantasia. They scale. She leveled. Woo! Why lickety? What's lickety doing? She leveled. Her stats are miserably bad in every way. Oh, that's bad. All right. Did we reset after getting her the first time? No. She just died every single fight and never got a level or any experience. <laughs> like I said, she's dead weight. <laughs> she just dies every fight. I got her at a level this time, though. So. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Those enemies are really hard, and she got 30 experience for it. Come here, kitty. Come here. Come on. No, she... Lickety's not having it right now. She's like, nah, I'm gonna go in the corner. Hmm. What if I go back to her secret spot? Uh, Isaac, I think you get it from using skills, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. It was like half her health in one hit. Well, damn! There she goes. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to keep her alive. Thoringar is going for Regison. 349. That's our 30th sub of the night. Thank you, man. 
30 sub points on the night. About 15 of them are new as well. So like half new. Very cool. Here we go. Wheel spin reg. They're going for you guys ready. Here we go. Do we bet reg or do we not? You got him. <laughs> Down goes Frasia. And I give the sub to the community at my own cost. Thank you so much, everybody, for the support. Bye, Reg. Everybody say bye. <laughs> oh, man. You got him good. You got him good. He'll be back though, won't he? He always returns with memes and dad jokes to crush our hopes and dreams. Tree wife who found a wisdom nut. Now I said this yesterday, but I'm going to say it again, okay? Because it's important. But wisdom nuts don't make your sperm smarter, okay? The more you know, the more you know, it's important. <laughs> oh my God, she got to level three. It's so amazing. That would be an intelligence nut. Doesn't exist in this game. Grangioth. They don't exist, Grangioth. It's not a thing. <laughs> oh, man. You can never truly kill the soul of puns like a lich that always reforms. <laughs> All right, let me look at this. General Douche will die on day four or tell him. That's that's the only thing we got written down. That's all we got. What day is it in game? Why does she get such bad experience? It's day three. Okay. We're still on day three. There's a bandit attack at 6 p.m. Oh, we should go back then. We need to get back for the bandit attack. It's our favorite fireworks show ever. How do I know? Because when uh, Dollar Store Sephiroth stabs that bandit, fireworks shoot out of his back and bright red lines. <laughs> oh, man. Doritos Banditos with their leader cool. <laughs> we told the general in our meeting with him, and he's like, I refuse to believe you because you're accusing Snuffleupagus. You know. <sighs> Sky so fly. Is lurking apparently. Okay, never mind. Oh, this is the guy that wants to bury himself in Rummy's breasts. Okay, in case it's not obvious. I just, uh, yeah, <coughs> I just want 
you know, it just, oh man, I am lagging the hell out of OBS right now. <laughs> I just want to bury myself in those breasts. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you for that. And then he wants me to join his fan club. <sighs> Boy. You are emerging. Oh, I like it. Your emergence. How is your emergence today? How are you guys? Supply? Thanks for the host, man. Always good to see you. What's new with you? What's new with you, my friend? One thing I wanted to ask you folks about today. There's something new there. A uh, boat there can show it off. Can you folks see it? What if I do this? What if I do this? I honestly don't care if people see my dashboard, so... I want to show you something. Let me go here for that. Don't auto-play my video. Uh, edit, right? Um, where's chat? Why don't I see it? <laughs> there should be a chat. Oh, it's right down here. Okay. Pop out. Not mud. Pop out chat. Come on, we're getting there. Don't worry. We're getting there. This is a prog this is a process, okay? Alright, great. Here's chat, right? This is chat. Alright. I need Lamau boat. Lamau boat <laughs> what a fucking name <laughs> say a thing say a thing chat I'm gonna call this chat all right uh window um the 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 that match title okay say a thing boat there it is god it's so laggy OBS I'm telling you this is the jankiest demonstration, but we're getting there. All right. We're going to crop. So we'll go here. I'll go here. It's still scrolling. I just stop scrolling. All right. I'm not telling you to stop chatting, but it shouldn't have scrolled. Oh no. What did I do? Oh no, what have I done? I moved a thing I shouldn't have moved. Okay. All right, stop scrolling. Look at the little star. You see the little star? You see the little star? Right? That's what we call a flare. No, it's not scrolling anymore because I fixed it. Not, you can keep chatting though. Please do. I love it. I'm showing the little star, Thor. Do you see the little star on his sub badge? Do you see it? Right? Right? You know, we'll narrow it a little bit and make it bigger. Because I know some of you are on mobile. Little star there, tier three. Right. You can customize that. Thor's got one too. Right. You can customize that. What do we want that to look like? It basically turns into an overlay on top of the sub badge. But it's so freaking tiny. It's... It's so tiny, so we it can't be too detailed. What is what do we want that to look like? I've been sitting on that for a while because I don't know what to do with it yet. Like I've been thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. But the thing is that bit badges are 18 by 18 pixels. It has to be that small. A top hat, it doesn't fit. There's no room. The top of the ears are where the top of the image cuts off. There's no room for that. And it has to be within the dimensions of the badge. You reverse a mid went unnoticed. I mean, I was looking at little stars. <laughs> yeah. So basically the limitations here. All right of the image of what you can use it changed <laughs> <laughs> you 
Because somebody fucking timed someone out and it scrolled it away. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, give me a minute. <laughs> All right, where is it? Um fuck. All right. All right, I found it. All right, it's not too far away. <laughs> oh no, I'm moving shit again. Son of a bitch, stop moving shit. All right. Oh god. This is a chore. <laughs> Here you go. You want to see the limitations of your canvas? That's it. Okay. Anything outside of that doesn't exist effectively. So you can't go above the ears. You can't go below the chin. You can't go to the left or right of the face. So what do we put there instead of that star? A color that doesn't clash with any of the badges. I didn't put that star there. That's the default Twitch flare. <laughs> Bowler hat. Again, how do you do that? You're looking at the, the, the limitations of the size of the badge right now. You can't go above to the left, to the right, or below what you're looking at. Bow, bow. Let's just get rid of that. Actually, no, we're going to keep that because it's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, obscure coloring. A hat. Where do you put the hat, though? Like, do you just cover the ears entirely? Also, what does a pork pie hat mean? I don't know what that means. Earring for tier two, earring and nose for tier three. Oh, my God. It almost looks like he's wearing an earring. Like, when you look at this image, look at it. It's literally just like this kitschy looking square or a star, and then it looks terrible. You know what I'm gonna do? Hold on. Let's get a more clean scale to that. I know how to do that too. Uh, fucking, yeah. Where did it go? It it, it, it just. I don't know where it went. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I honestly don't even know where it went. It ran away. <laughs> where did it go? <laughs> oh, there's two of them. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's do this again. We're gonna give you a clean scale of what this looks like. All right, so we've shrunk it down. It is giving me the wrong size because it's not taking the crop into my, damn it. Take a bite out of the side of the head. That's not a clean scale. It's not. Because it won't tell me what the actual size of it is. Hi, Lickety. Oh, you're such a nice kitty. Yeah? Who's a nice kitty? Yeah, bye. Okay. Good visit. Snipping tool. I... I'm... I use two computers. I use one keyboard and mouse for two computers. Snipping tool does not go from one to the other. So that's not viable. Is there an option to not have it? Yeah. Yeah, there is. But this shows people who have tier two and tier three. And I want to actually show that. I want to show it. But I want it to be something that's our own. Not some shitty looking star. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, no, that's not changing it. Um, I 
Yeah, it won't let me do this, so. You could use these. Because the old insomniac bit an homage to the past. That's not a bad idea. Let me put that in the notepad. Z, 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 Z for flare? Question mark. Okay. I mean, there's just this little thing there now that I can't scale properly because it won't fucking crop properly. I was like, you know, like, so. Here's my idea. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something. Ha! Yeah, that didn't work at all. Okay, never mind. My something I tried doesn't work because it won't actually properly show it. Oh, it will work. Ah, okay. I got a 1600 crop for this shit. You ready? You ready? You want to see what it's like looks up? Looks like like super blown up. This is the actual dimensions of it. I have it. I have it. I have it. I have it. While I'm doing that, you can look at this. <laughs> Eyes closed. Okay, so the thing is it has to be an overlay, right? That will go on every single badge. So eyes closed, the badges are different colors. So the eyes closed would always be the same color on a red and a gold and a silver, you know, and a blue. So the eyelids would always be the same color. It's an overlay if that helps you uh, understand what it is. Do, do. Okay, I now went from 18 by 18 to 576 by 576. This is whatever. I don't care. It's. I want you all to see what I'm looking at here and what the dimensions are. Oh, bitch. Metal Gear! Thor fell asleep. Oh, well, thanks, Thor. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Thor is showing his excitement right now for what I'm doing here. That's the kind of hype I'm looking for. <laughs> Son of a bitch! You tell him. You're quoting bad translations from Konami. Hey, apropos, I guess. All right, are we ready? This might work. Drag and drop sometimes it just lets me do it. There it is. Magnumer, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Hope you had a good time. Hope you had a good time. That's our batch. That's the dimensions. That is 3,200% size, perfectly scaled. Instead of the blurry mess that OBS does, We're just going to remove that and close that and see if this still works. Yes. All right. So that's our bench. Those are the dimensions. You can kind of tell that the borders where they're like, it's black, but not like it's like a lighter black, you know, like a super dark gray. That's you can't go inside inside or outside of that. And that's a star with two sparkles. That's literally what Twitch is. It's a star with two sparkles. That's how it looks in chat. That's a perfect scale of how it looks in chat. <laughs> Tiara eye patch sunglasses. Okay. Z Z Z's. We want to customize this for those folks that decide to do tier two, tier three. And then when we get partner, 
you know, whenever we finally get around to that. Here's open. Everybody gets five tier two so, uh, emotes and five tier three. So... Your founder badge doesn't have stars? I noticed that. That's a little weird. You are tier three as well, so... I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. All right. All right. There we go. I did the thing I wanted to do for no benefit to myself, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Oh, I hit a dead end. Feels bad. Ba -da -ba -ba Early work. It was better than this game. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Bye, Jeff. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Thank you for your support, too, man. You did some nice things for us tonight. It's a regular old will. Link will give you the icon at the end. You can change it between one, two, and three for different scale sizes. Oh, that would have been way easier. I know there's a way to do that for emotes. That's pretty easy. I did not know it worked for badges. All right, so we're on day three. It's 4 p.m. Uh, day three, there is a wedding announcement ceremony in the evening, approximately 8 p.m. I need to be outside the palace. What am I supposed to do with Rena here? Like, do I take her back? This is one of the most esoteric games I've ever played. <laughs> it is so out there. This game does not care if you want to know what's happening. It just does not care. We can take her to watch someone get stabbed. I'm actually kind of hoping we do, and it changes something for her. Legitimately, we're trying to wake up, wake up other NPCs. And here's the thing. It got spoiled for me. Somebody, multiple people actually did. They saw me running around with Claire. They're like, how many people did you wake up from the time loop? And immediately I'm like, okay. Apparently you wake people up from the time loop in this game. Fair enough. Hey kid, wanna see a dead body? <laughs> Uh, she's going to go dancing now. Cool. Oh, sir, a messenger from the palace stopped by. Yeah, you're supposed to go to the thing. Yeah, I know. I know. But how do we wake up Rena or whatever her name is? I don't think we do. Hello, Lakey. What are you doing? Say hi to Lickety, everyone. <laughs> She's way too smart for her own good. She knows exactly the spots to go to be the most maximum amount of annoyance with the, the smallest amount of effort. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people ask me that question, Video Wizard. I just It was like three people just randomly... How many people did you wake up? What does that even mean? I guess the answer is one. Look at that face. Oh, yeah. That's a kitty that likes her chin scratches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. What are you doing, old lady? You want to lay down? Do you want to lay down? Go ahead. Crouching. 
Watchmaker is available to go. No, I'm not taking you. I want you to fix the watch. She found a spot. She's laying on my notes. I can't use them anymore. You can kind of see them right here. <laughs> All the scratches on my arms are from Mog, by the way. You see all those scratches? That's Mog. He does not know how to chill the hell out. Mog's not camera shy, no. He honestly isn't, Isaac. He just... He gets yelled at when he's over here because he's trying to like go behind my computers and things. And it's really bright and hot. So, yeah. He's legitimately not camera shy. He just knows this is a bad spot to be for the most part. Which is honestly good for me because I don't want him over here. He causes too much trouble. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Reg. Do, 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 do. Mog won't go where Lickety is? Uh, a lot of the time, yeah. But that's not why he's not here now. It's because I'm here and there's lights on and I'm really loud. And it's hot. Mog knows Lickety is the top cat in this house. He does not fuck with her. And when they're close to each other... He freezes and then takes one step at a time really slowly, like as stiff as he can. He's terrified. <laughs> He's totally terrified. Like he just, he just like moves one leg. Okay, moves the next, waits. Okay, moves one of the back legs. Like that's how he is when he's around her. Cause there's too many times where he tried to play with her and he got way too rough and she just would swat him right in the damn face and you know hiss at him and scare the shit out of him she's she just has that i'm too old for this shit mentality like, stop fucking with me i'm just chilling right now <laughs> mm. lickety can i have my notes i need to find the general <sighs> she's laying right on them She's laying right on top of my notes. <laughs> kitty. Those right there, a kitty. Those right there, young lady. Those are my notes. I need those. Can I have those back? Give me my notes, Lickety. Can I have the... <laughs> what the hell, cat? Give me my freaking notes back. Yo, know, like him. What's up, man? Mm. Alright, I'm gonna try a, a maneuver here. She's gonna get up, though. Now it's a true blind- No! I have to take notes, Kivon! Put a towel on the floor, cats love squares. They do. My notes are are square, so that's not gonna work though. I feel like if I do that, they'll just pee on it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's not working. Oh, oh, okay, I got the notes. I'm sorry, I stole your bed. Why don't you go on the tree? I think we got her to go on the tree. She's on the corner of the tree. All right, the general. We need to find the general. Room. 
His own room. Mess hall. Training center. Barracks. Seaside tower. Demon reactor. 12 a.m. on day four. Seaside tower. We'll go there first. If we can't find him. We'll wait till day four for the demon reactor, right? No. Seaside Tower. Uh, as far as I know, it's do sound. We should also see if Rummy's in her actual house. What the fuck? That kid was face planted. You know, sometimes I try pretty hard to curb my language, but it just slips out all the time. I'd really like to improve it. It's locked. Rummy's house is locked. All right. The seaside tower is down this way. I do my best and I do catch myself sometimes, but not always. He is not here. This is the seaside tower. Dude ain't hanging out. What the fuck? That person just teleported. See? It slips out. Sorry. Okay, well, day three. What do we got on day three? Wedding anniversary, right? So, sure. It slipped out. Punish yourself by eating a stink bug jelly bean. Uh, that would just make me not buy those anymore. So that wouldn't work. I'd just be like, well, I'm not gonna ever get these again. <laughs> uh... I don't think the weather is randomized at all, Video Wizard. I think the whole island, it, the sphere of influence on this island is a time loop. Right? Does that make sense? I don't know. That's up to you, I suppose. Sounds worse than normal jelly beans. I like normal jelly beans. Coconut jelly beans? I have tons of them. That I haven't touched in months. Because I'm not allowed to. Mm, 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 mm. Feels rain. Bow, 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 bow. Come on, lady. You can do it. Come here. She's coming back. We're getting some cat activity. Come here, lickety. Right here. She's confused. She doesn't know where to step. Come on. You can do it. No, oh, she's very confused. I'll have to fix this. Lickety. How amazing is this amazing game tree? <laughs> uh, uh, probably better than most because I have an audience of people to hang out with while I'm playing. it. That's the, that's the most diplomatic answer I can give to that question. Fenrir. Oh, man. <laughs> Plain and simple. I mean, Brass Tax, the game is not a, not a good game. It really isn't. But being able to play it and hang out with all these people while I'm doing so is pretty fun. Because almost everybody knows that this is a really nasty game. You know, it's it's poorly built. It's poorly built. 
let's say, poorly executed. And I just, I don't want to, I don't want to devolve into some like raid where I'm just ragging on it about how it's the worst thing of all time and I hate it, blah, blah, blah. I don't actually hate this game. I'm just so completely <laughs> apathetic and indifferent to it. This is, this is just part of the show, you know? It's a vehicle. It's a vehicle for our entertainment. Our collective entertainment. <laughs> That's really what it boils down to. BGG absolutely loved it. Uh, uh, background guy zero two can confirm or deny that himself if he'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> Whoo! He loved how much you hated it. <laughs> All right, Dollar Store Sephiroth is speaking, everyone. Shh. Thank you all for coming this evening. I have invited the island celebrities. Yes, we know. This gathering is my way of thanking all of you who supported the royal family over the years of the same five days over and over again. Whew. I offer you an early glimpse of the queen's not diaper dress. That's right. We got her to take her diaper off for once in her life. Can we just crash the guitar on him? I mean, that'd be great. That'd be great. It's the bandits! Oh no! Again! He didn't get salty with this game. There was just the only, I think this is the only game of uh, BGGs I've ever seen where there were just long periods of silence because there was nothing to do. <laughs> there was just nothing to do. A true salt watch revenant wings i i'll play it someday i'm sure crisis core revenant wings i'll try them someday what's the one that I, i've been wanting to play too dirge of cerberus i think is the one i really wanted to try how dare you come in here i just the music choice here this is like intro music for a rogue this isn't the music you play when bandits are slaughtering your people. <laughs> Alright, here you go. You guys ready for the fireworks? You learn to never judge a game by its cover work. Cover? <laughs> Blockbuster again. You mean this? Yeah, it's getting chromoed, but yeah. There we go. Let's go back to where we were. The cover art isn't bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. You're like, oh, okay. It says Fantasia. That sounds like fantasy. And then they have this like green haired princess looking gal. You know, they don't tell you she wears a diaper that has a cape on it. So, you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, here you go. Here comes the fireworks. What's up, Finn, man? How are you? Dink. Dink, dink. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> just shooting everywhere. <laughs> Oh no, the boss, that guy that we're probably is really important, but we don't know who he is, so who cares? Dink, 
Did you enjoy the new show? And then he just like the worst incel bro who's been lifting too many weights just yanks the princess over with one arm. What a fucking incel. I don't care how many times I see it. It still amuses, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Okay, bye. All right. Just, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Cool. Great. It's day four. It's midnight. Day four. Afternoon. Go in. No. Tell General Douche he will die. We're going to save, and we got to find General Douche. I, I wrote Douche now, let's be fair, because I forgot his name. So that's his new name now. That's his real name. Okay? Just just, just throwing that out there. It's General Douche. Rated E for eek. Yes. Rated E for everyone should avoid this game. That's the thing. I play this game so you don't have to. Alright, General... General whatever. General nonsense. Whatever your name is. Wherever you are, you gotta find him. Oh no, hey damage, shoot! Exciting gameplay? Is that what it's rated for, Reg? Is that what it is? You're, you know what's the most interesting facet about this game? As a viewer, I have seen so many people come in and say, this doesn't look so bad. I just, I just have to know. Why that is. <laughs> I have to know. I need to know. How does that come to be? What's up, Lee T? How are you? I think this is one of those games where you look at clips, you're like, okay, this looks like a regular RPG, whatever. You know, it looks like Legend Lagaya or or Musashi or I don't know. Insert 3D JRPG here, right? The dynamic battle camera got you nauseous back in the day? It's probably still does that to a lot of people, yeah. What have they seen, Jobin? What do they know we don't know? Darkest city, man. It's two in the morning and you just woke up. Sir Tree Waifu, what is it? It's the middle of the night. You're going to die. That's it. That's what it is. You're gonna die. You're gonna you're gonna die. That's 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 what it is. Why is it bad, says Finn. Sure, okay. Intro text goes too fast to read. There's an inexplicable talking guitar that has tumors on it. Uh, the cutscene triggers are confusing. Um, lack of accurate anatomy on elbows and arms. Everyone's arms are really tiny. Fish are very stiff like they just came out of a freezer. Walking animation is very stiff. Uh, the guitar is also misogynist. Uh, very low detail land textures. Um, no zone boundary indicators. Character cutscene, characters and cutscenes clip into walls. Uh, audio crackles on load screens. And save menus as well. <laughs> That's just like the first eight on the whole page here. Shall I go on? <laughs> Shall I continue? <laughs> Do you want to know more? Like, 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 what is it? What is that called? The, oh, the, the soldiers that fight the bugs and you just click. No, no, I don't want to know more. Just go away. <laughs> I don't want to know more. What is that shit called? Starship troopers. Thank you. Yeah. 
I got like 40 of those so far. <laughs> oh. Honestly, the biggest, the biggest um, faux pas that this game does, which is just a basic concept that you shouldn't do in any game of any design, is there's no conveyance. This game gives you little to no indication of what to ever do. And in a game where you have to know where everyone is on a timetable and a schedule and a closed time loop, that's the worst possible design choice you could make. It's like the game does everything to go out of its way to make itself unplayable. Do, 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 do. Crystal, we haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Mog. Hi, Mog. What are you doing, Mog? What are you doing? Are you being nice? Mog is actually being nice. Oh, he's got a toy mousey. That's what it is. He found a toy mousey. Hold on. We gotta do this. Let's see if I can do this. Didn't work. <laughs> Log's got a toy about look at him, he's just killing the green screen. <laughs> That's awesome. close to the console he's under that you see that little ramp there he's behind that and it's right next to the console rack which is fine as long as he doesn't go behind the consoles that's when it becomes a problem oh there he goes <laughs> let me get the mouse for him so he can keep playing with He almost attacked me. <laughs> you see the paw? <laughs> Look at the paw. <laughs> it's always so funny to see a cat paw reach under something and like claw the shit out of it. You didn't like that? <laughs> what a goofy cat. <laughs> this cat has way too much energy. <laughs> He's a total nutcase. He really is. The cat content you signed up for. <laughs> All right, so we need to warn this guy. Like, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. So, how are you, Miss Amber? How you doing today? Oh my God, are you kidding? Well, we're just waiting for time to go by right now, so. Oh yeah, he's messed it up. Look at that right there. It's all jacked up. Shaky cam, folks. One sec. Let's see if I can get this.
What are you doing, Mog? What are you doing? Magnitude Mog Earthquake? <laughs> I'm just sitting under my green screen there. Little scamp. There we go. Yeah. There you go. He's getting too rambunctious now. He wants to paw and claw. Where'd he go? What are you doing down there? No, it's too dark. Wait, I got this. Wait, you ready? It's like super dark. Watch this. Yep. I <laughs> got LED lights. There he goes. All right, he's done. He's done. He's running off. Bye, Mog. <laughs> oh, he definitely bites. He definitely bites, Video Wizard. Yeah. He's a biter. All right. Sorry for shaky cam, everybody. Just bear with me, if you don't mind. Oh, God. He's under the tree now. Oh, cats are silly. All right. Back to the game, which is, this is what we're doing. Seriously, just sitting here waiting for it, waiting for the game to let us play it. Oh, I hope he's not behind my consoles right now. I don't know where he went. Yo, thanks for that follow, by the way. I gotta go in and out. Didn't change anything. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Origins. Heard good things about that. I haven't played any Assassin's Creed games though. Like Origins and Valhalla are legitimately the only ones that have me interested in the series. More Valhalla than anything. but I haven't played any AC games. Tree Waifu has stopped. Uh, that is the first time we've ever seen that. I don't know if you can recover from that. <laughs> Shoot. Tree Waifu can now move. All right, cool. I hope you guys enjoyed cat playing under green screen the content because to me that that stuff is fun that's just fun that's fun TV look at that cat look at that cat doing things he's not supposed to that's hilarious why is that always amusing content I don't know I think we all just kind of delight in the fact that wow they just really don't care <laughs> and they get away with it What's that one webcomic? Have you guys read that webcomic? The Strange Planet? You know what I'm talking about? Have you guys read Strange Planet? Where it's like Earth, but aliens live there and they describe everything in a very hilariously detached literal way. <laughs> the one about cats is my favorite. Let's see. Strange Planet. Cats. Uh, the author is Nathan Pyle, for reference. Just for reference. Uh, so, because uh, I want to show this. Yeah, that's it. I found it. Check this out. This is great. This is great. This is Nathan Pyle, Strange Planet, right? I found this, and the other one says, great. It's vibrating. That means it's working. 
What does it excel at? Scratching. Also hiding. An ideal companion. <laughs> Why is that so true? <laughs> Scratching and hiding. That's what it excels at. <laughs> For some reason, that makes it an ideal companion. <laughs> uh, yeah, the baseball one, I saw that one, Amber. It's pretty good. Yeah, those aliens are great. They just have this exceptionally literal way of viewing everything that exists. There's a standoff going on right now. Mog is under the tree. Lickety's just on the other side of it, staring at it. <laughs> An ideal companion. <laughs> there you go. Who will win, Lickety? I am getting wrecked right here. Yo, Kevin Force. What's up, man? Welcome back. How was your stream? What was Kevin Force playing tonight? What was Kevin Force playing tonight? Welcome, everybody. I'm Phenomenon. I do retro games, RPGs, and D&D &D every Saturday. That sounds good to you. That's our focus. Shin Megami Tensei. Super Nintendo. It's the hardest RPG you've ever touched. I've heard that about those games. They're exceptionally challenging. Has anyone out here played uh, SMT games on Super Nintendo? I know they have fan translations. The clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. Yeah, yeah. I know I know when I'm playing a challenging game, my ass cheeks also alert the guards. <laughs> God damn it, Fei Fei. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I am never ready for that when it happens. I'm not. How can you be ready for that? You just can't. You can't. You can't be ready for it. You really can't. There we go. I made it louder. I think that's one of the quieter ones. Here you go. And the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. <laughs> <laughs> what are those comics? Strange Planet by Nathan Pyle. Oh, man. Oh, let me answer. We'll read those messages soon. Phil. Phil, what's up, man? The philosophers. Okay. Nice. I like it. Philosophers. See, that's... I like the philosophers thing. It's on brand. It's your name. It's your name. Not gonna lie. I have random people come up here and call all of my chat cowards, and I don't know what to think about that. It's really weird. <laughs> it was really confusing, and I'm not sure if we're being insulted or not. <laughs> the philosophers thing, though... A plus. A plus, man. A plus. Welcome everybody from <laughs> Phil's channel. I'm Phenomenon. Savaron, Phil, Crystal, Koopasan, Dakota. How are you folks doing tonight? Liking as well. Liking as well. If you don't know me, I'm Phenomenon. We do RPGs, we do retro, we do D&D &D every Saturday. Hopefully that sounds like a great time for you. Because we have a great time with it. Kevin Force with and Philip Hartshorn with the back-to-back -back raids. All right, so Kevin Force was playing Shin Megami Tensei. So for those of you that just came in, do you know what that is? Because he was playing one of the originals on Super Nintendo. Uh, Finn hasn't played the S Super Nintendo ones, but you played the others. Cranky Reed says they don't give you much info on what's going on. Yeah, sounds like this game. <laughs> it sounds like this game. How's this game going? Honestly, we're making slow progress every night. Like I'm learning more and more and unlocking new cutscenes. I haven't had a single night where we haven't made any pro, uh, you know, haven't had a single night where we haven't made any progress. So 
we're gonna get through it. I know we are. And it's gonna be an experience. This is a stream experience. This is not a good game by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm playing it. It was a uh, subscriber incentive. We hit 600 subs a few months ago, which is an astronomical number. Um, the current incentive is 400, which I should update. I should update here. 400 and we will play this game if we hit 400 sub score beyond the beyond on ps1 beyond the beyond will be the next incentive this guy right here let me uh, update that on screen too there we go cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how are you liking Rascally dog. Hello. Let's see. It's a stream slogan. Oh. Oh. No. Okay. Maybe that gives a little context to it, Phil, but I have people that just show up and say cowards and then never respond to any questions. They just say, they show up, they say cowards and won't answer us. And I, I it's really baffling <laughs> like what the fuck am i supposed to do with that i don't understand why are you calling us cowards what did we do to you <laughs> like what the hell did we do to you oh, i'm sorry you're so upset with us maybe we can talk this out <laughs> to answer the raid question if you could only remake one final fantasy game which is it six maybe i don't know would it be six hmm, probably but six in the octopath engine it'd have to so it'd have to retain the original art design and Okay, so what was I saying? Um, anyway, the question that Phil just asked, right? If you could remake any Final Fantasy game, what would it be, correct? That was his question. I think it's a good question. It's a funny story where the slogan came from. Okay. Good. Because I feel like I'm being insulted. <laughs> Uh, anyway, any Final Fantasy game I could remake, it'd be six. Here's why. There is a, uh, a game that came out a couple years ago called Octopath Traveler, which has the very similar to art style as far as sprites go to six, but in a modern engine with modern technology and techniques, right? So somebody made this. It's just a, oh, proof of concept. This is how it would look, right? This is how it would look. Proof of concept. This isn't real, but Project Final Fantasy VI. Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Any of you that are fans of FF6 were probably like, uh, give me, give me. <laughs> Uh, give me, give me, give me. Uh, Magitek armor, Terra vs. Magitek armor, Fire, Fira, Faraga, right? Fire, Fira, Faraga, Fira, whatever. Look at this. Sabin wandering around the cave to South Figaro, right? Come on. Obviously, this was already in the Octopath, but. I don't think these sprites look out of place. Town under control of the Empire, General Leo is hanging out, right? Magitek armor guarding the entrance. Modern technology and techniques with FF6 art design and sprites. I mean, the buildings are still sprite designed, obviously. So are the roads, so are the trees, right? 
So are the torches, etc. There's Atma weapon. You know, it's just there's 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 Tritok, the Esper with Umaru. It looks amazing. <laughs> it looks freaking amazing. Kafka in the Desert by Figaro. I want this to happen. They they have the engine now, right? Square Enix has the engine. You seven, you cyan, me want more food. <laughs> Bye, Feifei. Always good to see you. Always good to see you, Feifei. The game I'll play when I'm 90. I don't think it's going to take that long. It's going to be like four years at the most. If it's more than that, then they're shitting the bed. Plain and simple. So yeah. But here's the cream, really, where I think they really outdid themselves. And for this, we're going to go to the theater. So here we go. Let's go to the theater. Okay. You ready? I'm going to go to the theater for this. Somebody did the opening credits Octopath style, which is really what sold it for me. Come on. <laughs> Give me this game. <laughs> this is what I want. <laughs> Fuck seven. Give me this. <laughs> This is what I want. I will pre-order this. This isn't a real thing. This is just someone's like fan proof of concept. Like, yo, do it this way. Just do it this way. Yes, please. Thank you, may I have another? How awesome is that? <laughs> Clean it, update the sprites and put it inside me. Dude, people, this thing would sell insane copies. Put it on digital, put it on Steam, put it on Switch, put it on PS4, put it on Xbox, put it on PS5, whatever. This thing would sell like mad. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Shut up and take my money! <laughs> Oh yeah, physical for sure, Finn. Absolutely. Yeah, redo the soundtrack too. But, 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 like DQ11 did, what they proved. Redo the soundtrack, give us an orchestral version, but what if you want nostalgia? Let us have the original version too. The actual original version, none of that other stuff. Just OG, pure 100% original version. That's that, that you would let, you know, give them the option. You want to have the option, right? Man. <laughs> I would be so sold on that, hardcore sold on that. Like, not even close. Full retranslation? Yeah, you would have to retranslate it. Yeah, for sure. I like Wolseley's translation, but... Bring it modern. Bring it modern. Mr. Thou. Thou, thou, thou! Yeah, uh, for reference, Master V, just that you were right, uh, Great City Up Ahead, uh, it's the city of Narsh, which is a, like, a frontier town of steam power, so, Final Fantasy VI was pretty steampunk at times, um, which was cool, because it kind of, 
helped more people get exposed to that already existing genre that was already popular in fiction, like science fiction, for many years. When people had never been exposed to it, got exposed to it because of Six. You could see four getting the same kind of love? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Four, five, and six could all get that kind of treatment. Spreading in new ideas is always cool. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. For sure. Doug. I mean, I feel like they could potentially outsource remakes of 4, 5, and 6 to other devs. So long as they retain creative control. Because everything's already there. Everything's already there. Outsource is not bad. No. No, outsource to bad companies is bad. Just dumb the RGB in Atari 26.7? I have no idea. I don't know. Octopath was third party. Correct. Like, imagine if they gave it to, like, level five, for example. They'd do a good job. Totally. It's locked. He's not here anymore. God damn it. All right. That means he's inside. I wonder if I did it wrong. How come you never heard of this game? Uh, CT, you've never heard of this game because it's widely regarded as one of the worst RPGs ever made. Not even using any hyperbole or exaggeration there. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. There's proof. PS1, you were like the 20th person that's asked me that. You were like the 20th person that has asked me if this PS2 game is on PS1. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> that's just one of the many things wrong with it. I knew this game was such a shit show that I was like, here's what we're going to do. We're going to write down everything wrong with this game just as a primer of what not to do in game design. And in four hours, I filled this page. <laughs> the whole fucking page. Rare? Nope. <laughs> I got it for $14 on eBay, complete in box. It's not rare, just nobody wants it. <laughs> The complete in box, the case, the manual, the disc, all in really good condition. Probably because whoever owned it was like, God, this is bad. I just can't play it. <laughs> Woo! I play it so you don't have to. All right, so the general just disappeared. I was going to try and warn him. Like, yo, you're going to die. You're going to die in the reactor, general. You know what I'm saying? I probably should reload it. Probably reload it. I'm gonna exit here if nothing happens. I'm gonna reload it. You never seen this one. It's not surprising. It didn't sell well. Because people already knew when it came out how bad it was. It was like an early PS2 era game. Um, probably rushed to be like, yo, we want to be one of the first RPGs. And regardless of that, even if it was, it was miserably bad. Do, 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 do. 
You rented it as a kid, didn't feel the need to buy it. Oh, was renting games very useful back in the day, was it not? Was it not? This should kick in the signal pretty soon here. It's like flickering from progressive to interfaced, interlaced, which this is one of the few games that does that. <laughs> Not a lot of games do that to me. Did it have competition? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, let's see, FFX. When did Final Fantasy X come out? Um, Yeah, Final Fantasy X was competition which doesn't matter. If this game had no competition, it wouldn't make it any better. I, again, I'm not using hyperbole. I didn't write just a list of bullshit down on this page. These are all single line design flaws that you shouldn't do in a video game. <laughs> so Final Fantasy X being competition isn't the reason why you haven't heard of it. The reason you haven't heard of it is because it's one of the worst RPGs ever made. If you don't believe me, maybe you've heard of IGN, who gives everything a 7 or higher on their scores, right? you probably heard of them before. They gave it a 4.3. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. <laughs> one of the worst games ever made. I can't say it's one of the worst games ever made. There's, It can't be. There's just no way. Definitely one of the worst RPGs ever made. I mean, one of the worst games saying that means that you know every game ever made and all the worst examples, or at least all the worst examples of every genre. And that's just, that's a hard sell. That's a real hard sell. Granja 2 and Skies of Arcadia came out in 2000. Yeah, but they weren't on the same system. Granja 2 was Dreamcast. Skies of Arcadia was also Dreamcast. They eventually got ports to the PS2, but I don't think they were the same year. I think they were much later. Can you explain to you why you're not married to Rummy yet? Uh, she has alcoholism. She's got problems, so, you know. She's got to take care of herself before she can take care of someone else. It's sad, but we'll, we'll be there for her. We'll be there for her. <laughs> Skies of Arcadia was on GameCube also. Right, that's the one I have, actually. The GameCube one. I'd like to play that someday. I need to get Granja 2 on the uh, Granja 2 on the Dreamcast, though. I'm still looking for that. That one's pricey. Every time I look on eBay, it's like 40 to $60. It's expensive. Really expensive. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? Trying to tell you you're about to die, General. <clears throat> Why is the rummy... <laughs> oh, man. So here, let's read some more reasons why this game is bad. There are things to like about this game. The music's not bad, right? The concept is really uh, neat. You're in a stable time loop, but it's not executed, so it doesn't matter. You know? It's like someone who has a... You ever met someone who has great ideas and never pulls through with them? That's this game. Uh, Okay. <clears throat> Abrupt end of audio when saving or loading the game. Uh, in the music Sitar Hero game. Here, I can actually show this one right now. This makes a hell of a lot of sense. So this game is Sitar Hero. There's a quit option. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. You can't fucking quit. You have to go to help and then go to exit. Why is quit there? What is that supposed to do? <laughs> That's just one thing. All right. Abrupt, sudden spinning camera angle changes, both in cutscenes and in combat all the time. It'll make you dizzy. 
extremely low detail enemies, but that also applies to textures. People think it's a PS1 game because it looks so bad. <laughs> Can you press start and quit? No. No. Doesn't work. These are the most detailed enemies in the game. These things. Whatever we're fighting. There's another one you're seeing right now. Let me show you. Okay, so these look like aliens, right? Like they belong in Metroid or whatever. Kind of. Right? So what would you give them a really cool name? I know. I know a great name for these cool-looking aliens. Let's call him Alex. <laughs> That's his name. Every time. <laughs> it's not capitalized, Cracky. They're lowercase. <laughs> Don't fucking make excuses for it. <laughs> uh, who developed it? Now, here's the key. You've all heard of Suikoden, right? Some beloved RPGs on the PlayStation 1. Really well-loved, well-liked RPGs. Konami made Suikoden. Konami made this game. What happened? What the hell happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> when do we fight Bob? We haven't fought Bob yet, but we have fought Doug. Doug is another name. Yeah. Doug's another one that we get to fight. So look at these. These are just, oh man, these blistering 8K resolution texture quality yeah look at that wall oh it's so beautiful oh my god yes that 16 by 16 resolution pixels on the wall <laughs> dude n64 and ps1 games look better than this when they're half asleep so what was their reasoning <laughs> Slice of the floor tile. I know the tiling isn't seamless either. Oh man, yeah, we gotta see that. The tiling is not seamless. I can do a better job in this in Photoshop and GIMP, and I barely know how to use the damn things. These are the tile. <laughs> ah! Yo, McClellan, I see that. Thank you, McClellan. I hope you enjoy that bundle from Hunt. <laughs> from Hunt. <laughs> uh, you literally thought you rented this for N64. Yeah. Yeah. The pattern doesn't line up. No. Did the team have Photoshop? They probably had paint. You know? They probably had paint. It's in the middle of the night. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to save your life, bro. All right. Watch this. Here's another thing that I don't even have to read. I can demonstrate. You ready? You can do this to every NPC. You guys ready? This is fun. This is one of my favorite things. Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> oh my God. Every NPC you can do this to. Why? I don't know. <laughs> What went wrong? <laughs> Let's see. Shall we go on? Um, bloated enemy hit points. So they just give their enemies lots of hit points so that you play it longer. That doesn't make it harder. It just makes it more tedious. Another thing. In the palace, there's unexplained tint colorations in every battle. Everything's purple for some reason. When you're outside of combat, nothing's purple. And in fact, when you're in the palace, it's just like you're roaming through a castle. Soldiers, servants, royalty, torchlight, a very active, lively, populated place. But there's random encounters where you fight Alex and Doug, the space pirates. 
Good. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Boop. <laughs> oh, man. I, I just, okay, that's enough. Oh, I, I'm going to save the others for later, but yeah. The title, uh, if you don't know how to find the title of the stream, it's always below the video player. In every single stream I ever do, it's the first thing that I list in the title. Um, pretty simple. Um, if you're on mobile, it might be harder to find, so, but it's called Ephemeral Fantasia. It's on the, yeah, it's the case that I just showed here, so. It's, it's a terrible, hilariously bad, game that's fun to stream because we get lots of laughs out of how miserable this is obviously i have a green screen right now so it's being chroma but um i can show you folks what it actually looks like do 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 that's what it looks like which you know if you saw this in like a blockbuster back in the day or a family video or whatever you know Look at all that box art looks like it's an RPG. That's not bad, right? Cool. I want to play RPGs on PS2. Well, I guess it's debatable whether or not you actually got an RPG out of this game, but this is what you got. <laughs> yeah, it could be cool, right? Damn. Not this time. Feels bad. Feels bad. <laughs> hey. Can't win them all, right? So we have to beat this game blind. I can't look up guides. I can't ask chat for hints. Um, I can't play it off stream. Why? Because at one point I challenged chat to hit 600 sub score, which is a mad, mad, maddening number. And they did. So here we are. We finally got to it. We finally got to it. Yeah, I'm sure that's partially the explanation, Finn. But there's so many flaws in this game that don't fall in line with that explanation. You know, that's part of it. Visit soldiers is what he does after the reactor. I wrote down the general's rounds. Goes to his room, goes to the mess hall, training center, barracks, seaside tower, demon reactor. Visit soldiers. People have paper and busy rubber banding at PC. <laughs> Is the data side blue on the game disc? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know, though. It's been in my PS2 for a couple weeks. Hansi, how are you, man? Blue would be a DVD? Probably. I don't know. Honestly, I don't even think I looked at the underside of it when I put it in. I just put it in to see if it would still work. And it, it was fine. The thing is, it was barely used. There was almost no scratches on it. Whoever used to own this... All right, he just vanished. All right. Whoever used to own this obviously didn't use it very much. You know, when somebody's just played a game a lot, it has that those swirl marks of just laser wear on it. You know, like wear. It's not unreadable, it's not scratch, it's just used. This didn't even have that. But I don't remember what it looked like. Um, I'm pretty sure I looked at it, but I'm not 100%. I just, no, I did look at it, because I remember seeing there was barely any wear on it. I just don't remember what color it was, I'm sorry. Dark Cloud was blue? I heard Dark Cloud was really good. I'd like to try that someday. Blue is PS2 CD. 
DVDs are silver. Interesting. You got your own holiday, Hansi? Nice, dude. My next two days are always my days off from stream. Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't stream. Tuesday, I take off. We watch movies and Discord together with the community. Wednesday, I just work on like D&D &D and stuff. Your cat just tried to crunch your finger. Yeah, my cat's been a real handful, my new cat. <laughs> All right, so general visits with the soldiers. Does that mean the barracks? I'm gonna save it and see if I can't find him. Cause someone told me the general schedule about where he goes every day, but it did, they didn't actually say where everything is. Tuesdays are movie days. Yes. Uh, 8 Central, we do movie nights in Discord. What are you doing here? You can't go in there. Okay, fine. So there is a barracks in town. I'm going to try that. I have a bunch of PS2 games behind that green screen there. I just don't feel like going through each one and seeing what's blue and what isn't. Because there's the whole shelf of them. The music in this game really isn't bad. All right, her door is open now, which probably means she isn't home. Damn. This is Rummy's house that we have learned. We have learned this is Rummy's house. What does that do for us? Nothing. It might someday, but it hasn't done anything yet. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, I think this is the barracks. Yeah, we got your sword back. Oh, whoops. It's because I saw you with two badges and you usually only have one or two. I didn't realize you were subbed again. I forgot. All right, so it's not here. He's not here, soldiers aren't here. This is clearly a barracks of some kind. So visiting with soldiers, right? Maybe the palace. Maybe the palace. Unlimited power! It's very funny. General nonsense, where are you? The music better not be bad. Your protag, protag is a musician. Oh, you haven't heard me play Sitar Hero yet. Oh boy. <laughs> I have said many times that if this game requires me to be good at the rhythm game in it. I won't be, I won't be able to beat it. If I have to be good at that game, I can't beat it. My fingers don't work that way. They just don't. Feels bad. Here's another fun thing about this game. You ready? You ready? The doors in the palace sound like somebody's making goats vomit. All right, here we go. It's time for vomiting goats. Here it comes. <laughs> what a sound effect. <laughs> uh, what is that? Oh, man. What are we going to make the door sound like? I don't, I know. Let's go strangle a goat. That'll show. <laughs> Yo, take care of 
Take care, Phil, man. Thanks for the raid tonight, dude. Appreciate the support. Always a good times to have you along. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Generals visiting with the soldiers. Where? Where? Right, those are chefs. Those are not soldiers. Maybe they're soldier chefs. That's an exit. All right. Random encounters in the palace. <laughs> Come on. Why? Why? Do you like the camera rotation? <laughs> Tree waifu has stopped. Darn. Darn. <laughs> Maids in this place have liked her. <laughs> Omega and Alex have been defeated. Best RPG. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. You got it. How'd you know? All right, there's no general in there. I don't see him in there. There's a lot of beds in here. This would be a good place to find him. He's not here. Damn it. Best RPG. What is best RPG? <clears throat> Very subjective. I mean, so is saying this is the worst, but this has a smorgasbord of reasoning behind it. I should probably heal. Best, I always read as favorite. Because there's a lot of really good ones out there that in my opinion all earn that consideration <laughs> because a lot of that's nostalgia you know obviously you can view it objectively damn it didn't work <clears throat> my favorites Earthbound, Final Fantasy 6, Final Fantasy 7, um, Dragon Quest 8. I'll give my opinion on 11 once I've beat it, beaten it. But that'll rank up there if it continues to be as good as it has been. I like Dragon Quest 3. Mostly for nostalgia. Honestly, I still think it's a fun game, though. Um, I like Star Ocean 2. I don't know. It's really hard. Usually Earthbound sits way up there on the top, though, for me. Invariably. <clears throat> Alpha and Delta? Maybe. Maybe about... You like DQ5? Five? 5 is a wonderful story. It really does. Man. As far as story goes, I think 5 probably is the strongest story of the ones I've played. I don't think it's my favorite, but it definitely has the strongest story. Baldur's Gate 1 main problem is that it's boring to play as an evil character. I like Baldur's Gate games, but no. Definitely not one of my favorites. I liked Baldur's Gate 2 a hell of a lot. DQ9 is your favorite? I can't even remember the story of 9, honestly. I just remember playing that game multiplayer a lot with friends and doing uh, those um, procedurally generated maps in Endgame. I, I can't remember the story, though. 
I never play e evil characters in games. I can't do it. I feel guilty when I make NPCs hurt. Can't do it. It's just not me. I don't see him in here either. I thought he was visiting soldiers. Angel of the Space Train. I just don't remember. I've played every DQ. I've beaten them all except 6 and 11. Um, I got pretty far in 6 and then my save deleted. Uh, in 11, I'm still playing on stream. So we'll be playing on Thursday and Friday this week. And we're like 130 hours in. That game is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I really liked 9. I just legitimately can't remember what the story was about. Other than you are... Like they said, you're an angel. Okay. But... What? <laughs> what? Uh... Yo, Rummy's here! Holy shit! I need to write this down. Rummy... Will you be coming to dinner this evening? Yeah, sure. What- what dinner? Day four... Was it nine... Nine a.m., I think? 9 a.m. Palace basement. Interesting that we can find her here. That was a random encounter. That might come in handy later. Where's the movies channel? Uh, the one that says, if you're talking about Discord, it's the one that says movies. Uh, movies, where is it? Movies, TV, anime. Yeah. There's a lot of channels, so it's probably easy to overlook it. So no big deal. Uh, what's your account, Athenas? Because I don't know if I see you in there. Yo, uh, 50 bits from an anonymous donator. Thank you so much. This is an alert unstick. Thanks, Reg, <laughs> for the bit. <laughs> yeah, this game legitimately makes you stalk people. You have to literally write down their sched daily schedule. That's messed up. That's kind of messed up. That's really messed up. Yep, that's the one, Athenas. Uh, there's a role assignments channel that'll automatically give you a role if you want to be notified about movies or tech things, audio, etc. DQ7 was fun. I liked it. We streamed that last year. It took like 125 hours to beat. It's a very long game. A very long game. But it's turned out that 11's even longer than 7. Go figure. It's your least favorite? What's my least favorite? Tough call. Two. Two. Not even close. Two. Two's my least favorite. It's like not even close. <laughs> Holy crap, that game. Woo. Two was an absolute mess. As far as that game goes, it's like, oh, this is a decent Dragon Quest game for like half the game. And then it's like they stopped trying. And then it was just the most grindiest game I think I've ever played in my whole life at that point. Yeah, missing shards is a big problem in seven for sure. Yeah, I agree. From what I recall, there was a way to know if you missed any, though. 
Like there was a way to check. I think. I'm not 100% on that. Which channels is the movies happening? That, that's what you just asked, right? Movies, TV, anime. Yes, that's that's what I said. I think. I hope. Do, 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 do. They fix it in a 3DS remake. I've heard the 3DS remake is the best version of that game. Lots of strange things happen here at the palace. Lots of apparitions that have never seen before have been reported. Old guy growing those monsters. Yeah, I do know that. Is it a detector thing that glows if there's one on the map? Yeah, yeah. I remember there being something like that in the game. Yeah, it all, if you guys are interested in watching movies, it's all in the movies channel. So, I mean, it's in the Discord. I make, I ping a notification for anyone that has the movies role to let you know what we're watching tonight or to be like, hey, what do you want to watch tonight? <laughs> and we discuss it and we go, we get to it. This guy is legitimately growing monsters. It's kind of weird. You came all this way, but there's nothing here. What is that bridge? How do I get, get there's clearly something here. Like, that man lied to me. He lied to me. It's fine. It's fine. I'm used to it. Used to it. I'm used to it. All right. It's just that people don't like to talk to me. That's why I get rid of me. <laughs> all right. Anyway, I wonder what that bridge is. Colonel Cross would be nice. That is going to be an interesting stream when we get around to it. People have been voting for it on our, our next list. <clears throat> so it's going to happen. I don't know when, but it will. Chrono Cross is a PS1 game that does something that a lot of PS1 games don't do, which is problems for upscalers. You know, um, hardware that will digitize and upscale the signal you're seeing so it's bigger so it fits on modern monitors so modern monitors know what the hell it is Chrono Cross all of the gameplay like most PS2 games are 240p so they're X hor horizontal lines by 240 vertical lines progressive scan so every line is drawn every frame but the menu in Chrono Cross is 480 interlaced so every other line is drawn every other frame. So it does this like flickering and upscalers just have a big problem with that. So since they use HDMI, it has to reconnect HDMI every time you go into the menu in Chrono Cross. And depending on the upscaler, that could take a long time. It could take a couple seconds. You're just sitting there waiting for the menu to appear. Yep, that's a vote for Chrono Cross, right? <laughs> On analog signals, it didn't matter because it was the same refresh rate. So the tube inside your CRT monitor or TV would just take that signal and display it as it was being sent. It didn't care. It was analog. It was purely an analog signal. It wasn't digital. <clears throat> so it's like, oh, it's 48. Okay, I'm just send the signal how it's being sent to me that's basically how analog works it just does its thing it does what it's told to do if it can but modern displays have problems with that because they're not designed to display that kind of signal Chrono Cross is why I don't get a frame meister Chrono Cross also has problems with OSSCs Chrono Cross has problems with retro tanks and has problems with any upscaler Pretty much any upscaler. There are hacks you can use to work around that. <laughs> you can use custom firmware on a what's called a GBS, where you put a custom firmware on it called GBS Control, which is by itself a shitty upscaler that was designed for DVDs, but somebody designed custom firmware for it that works really well with retro games. But really, what I think I'm gonna end up doing is not even using an upscaler for that game and just play it purely analog and see how my capture card handles it. That's going to be one of the few games that I probably won't use an upscaler for.
You think it's almost as bad as this game? I don't even think it's close, Zodiac. Like, not even remotely close. I honestly like that game. I think that's done. Uh, there are some things Chrono Cross has done that's, you know, not ideal. But the problem that most people have with that game is they unfairly compare it to Chrono Trigger. And if you don't do that, you can start judging the game on its own merits and not comparing it to one of the greatest RPGs ever made, which is not fair comparison for any game. <clears throat> I mean, I'll, I'll upscale it in OBS, but not through hardware, right? So that it's just giving me a pure analog signal. Hopefully that'll work. It's just going to be you and streamer. If it's just one person, I probably won't do it. But it's usually like 10 people. Like 5 to, five to 15 people is usually movie night. Somewhere around there. If only one person shows up, that's m my way of knowing people aren't interested that week, and I just put it off. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All the voice channels are empty? Right, because no one's in them talking right now. Because it's not tomorrow. We're not doing movie night right now. Those voice channels are for purpose. People use them when they need to. They don't just sit in there hoping someone shows up randomly. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. She still hasn't fixed the watch. Wow, how long does it take? Hmm. You're still awake. Good God, man. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Are you new to Discord, Athenos? Like, is Discord a new thing for you? Is that, like, I get answered questions. You just seem to be asking questions that I'm a little confused about. So maybe you're you're new to the whole thing. And that's fine. Like, you know, um, there's myself and people here would be happy to teach you about it. You are new to Discord? Okay. So Discord is like... Imagine if you took Skype or an IRC and like old school instant messaging programs from way back in the day, but you have servers. You have actual servers for it. They're persistent. They're always there. And then people can join, come and go as they please. And there are text channels, and but there are also voice channels. Now, Discord also has screen share integrated into it. So when we do movie night, somebody will just load the movie and they'll scare they'll share their screen in voice chat and then you just click their name and click watch watch stream and that's how you watch so we all just sit in voice and watch the movie together so it's all synced up it's really easy it's hands-free no problem that's it that's all it is real simple team speak is what to use yeah it's 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 like team speak but infinitely better mm -mm 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 -mm. like discord is more for text chat and then it has voice channels TeamSpeak was purely designed for uh, voice chat. <laughs> for voice chat. Same for like Ventrilo and things like that. Those were voice chat. Discord is like live active text chat with image share, media share, all integrated, stream share, all integrated, and there's voice channels as well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, voice chat is definitely secondary. That would explain why you were confused that no one was in voice chat. Because nobody needs to talk right now. <laughs> you basically hop in those channels when you need to. That makes sense, because I used to use TeamSpeak and Ventrilo. And as soon as you logged into those, right? You were in a voice chat. That's not what Discord's about. Discord was for text chat, media share, image share, audio share, video share. And it has voice channels as well. There's a reason why everybody uses Discord now instead of all that other stuff for the most part. It's because it has all of that integrated. And it's so, like, user-friendly. It's so easy to figure out. Like, I, I'm sure it's really daunting for you right now, Athenas, because you've never used it before. It's like, wow, this is weird. There's all this stuff... All these channels. 
text channels, media share. That's the real, the real highlight of it. Um, but yeah, we'll be watching a movie tomorrow. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Studio Ghibli movies. Movies. Um, I can't find the dang general. I thought for sure he'd be uh, in the palace, but he wasn't. Um, and like I said, if nobody shows up, then they don't show up. We'll just do it another week. No big deal. It happens. Dude, dude. Yo, thanks, CT. Appreciate that. Somebody just bought something on a Humble. I don't know who it was. I'm sorry I missed your name. I didn't want to lose my thought there, but I appreciate it what it was. It looks like you bought one of those bundles. Whatever it is, I hope it works out for you. Professor Layton movie? Oh yeah, yeah, you, you've been talking about that. I mean, I'm down for it. I just don't think people have been vibing it yet. I think we'll get around to it at some point. Usually, like, on uh, Tuesdays, I'll wake up, and I'll, like, th anywhere from 3 to 5, I'll be, you know, I'll ping everybody with the movies roll, so we can discuss it. Like, yo, what do you guys feel like watching? And usually, we just decide from there what we're gonna watch uh, that night. What did we watch last week? It was, um... Nausicaa, right? I think it was called Nausicaa? If I'm not mistaken. Was that what it was called? Who was there last week? I'm pretty sure that's what it was called, but I'm not 100%. Nausicaa and the Valley of Wind. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. That was really cool. I'd never seen that before. That was a really neat movie. I don't think I've ever been on this side of town before. Do, 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 do. There's a sick manga for that too. Interesting. What do you? This is like a fortune teller. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm the best fortune teller on the island. Okay. Thirty gold. Thirty regrets. We call them regrets. Sure. This is quite. Uh, uh, I could see. Yes, I could see it all. Fish! A man who fishes will appear before you. The man only believes what he sees with his own eyes. The man has some kind of secret. I can see it! Well, okay, all done. What? Alright. Is he talking about kite? That's really weird. I'm troubled by my teacher's statement regarding women. I see. <laughs> uh, right. Sure. That's not a barracks. I don't know where the general is. I was trying to save his his butt. Was trying to save his butt from the demon reactor explosion. All right. The oceans are dangerous. Great. Thank you. That's 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 what I came here for. Was that information? Perfect. Nope. All right. Oh, we're not having any luck. This game is quite aimless, as you could probably tell. It really does little to nothing to give you any idea of where you're supposed to go and when you're supposed to go there. Oh. It's got neat music, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go talk to Kite then, I guess. Right? Even though day four was the day he said we can't talk to him. It is day four. Interesting. Interesting. Who is it gonna be? I uh I have a question for you. Are you can you hear me? <laughs> uh, can you actually hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you very distracted right now? Uh Kitty. Mog is playing with my green screen again. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. Ma, 
Dog, what are you doing? Oh boy, don't ruin my green screen. It's true. It would ru ruin the giant boob. Mog, what are you doing, Mog? What are you doing? Look at Mog. Let's show you guys Mog. He's playing with his mousey. Look at Mog. <laughs> Mog. Don't ruin my green screen, Mog. You goof. Look at Mog. I don't believe they can hear me, Rick, so thank you for answering it. There he goes. He ran off. Alright, we're gonna go talk to Kite. If he's there. He's not. He's not there. I thought so. Boy, is this game something else. Let me tell you. Is he up here? I don't think so. No, that's not him. Headbang. Ah! I don't headbang. My entire body is amorphous. <laughs> Yo, whoever you are, thank you for 41 bits. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Good supports. Good supports. He's not in here either. So Kite is missing. He's missing. He's flown the cube. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mog's behind my consoles. God damn it. <sighs> Honestly, that scares the hell out of me when he does that. Just something's going to get unplugged and I'm not going to know where it belongs. Mog. Mog, cut it out. All right, he's not up here. Oh, is he just on a tear right now? I see you, Mog. I see you. What are you doing, kitty? What are you doing? You're kind of freaking me out. <laughs> oh, man, this cat. He is a handful. He is a handful. Hi. You want to come over here? Come here, Mog. Come on. Why don't you come say hi to people? No, no, you can't eat that. That's... That's got stuff that you're not allowed to eat. Chocolate is bad. It's toxic for Kitty. Yeah, he's just scavenging now. Losing you. I'm gonna pet you. I'm gonna pet you. You're gonna like it. You're probably not gonna like it, Bog. <laughs> he's just running around like a maniac right now. Ah, oh, boy. Anxiety? Yes, yes, that is a thing that I deal with. It is not a fun thing that I deal with, but it is a thing that I deal with. He probably pooped recently. I'll have to go check the bathtub. <sighs> catnip? I actually haven't tried giving him catnip yet. I'm afraid to. Because this is just what he's like all the time. <laughs> I imagine him on catnip would... Exhaust me. <laughs> I'd have a cat shaped hole in my window. <laughs> yeah, he's two years old, CT, so he's pretty young. I think he, we think he was a stray. We think he was a stray. 
Because we got them from a shelter. I only get cats from shelters. I would like to do rescues. You know, I don't want to... Don't want to do pet shop. I don't want to patronize pet shops because I don't want them... Unless they do it right, which they usually don't. I want. I don't want them to be in business because they have breeding farms for, you know, pets. And disastrously high rates of euthanasia. So I just don't want those... I don't do that, you know, I, I want, I want to take care of animals that don't have a choice, um, that, you know, were, exist, not even through choice of any kind, you know, so, it is what it is, you know, I always do shelter cats, so, he's, he's, he's a hard cat to own so far, really hard, I mean, he, he never under, you know, he didn't, he wasn't taught when he was young that biting is bad. That's something kittens learn at a young age, usually from their mothers. Ew, my name is Frog, and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> a pet shop that only sells food and supplies while being next to a shelter. That is wonderful. That's great. I love that so much. Your boys were abandoned in the wild. Yeah, I think he... Supposedly he was picked up off the street in a suburb like 50 miles away, so... I saw the pictures and my roommate's like, you want to adopt this cat? I'm like, okay, let's do it. So we did a trial adoption for like three weeks. Um, and after three weeks, I'm like, I can't just abandon this cat. He's a pain in the ass, but... What's going to happen to him if we just don't keep him? That's not fair to him. Hopefully he calms down. I, mean, I think he's always going to be the cat that does this to me. You know? I mean, look at my arm. That's just my arm. It's not my other arm. It's not my feet and my legs. And he doesn't know better. You know, he's not trying to hurt me. He's just well, a lot of energy and he thinks he's playing. So... He thinks he's playing. So... I think he's slowly getting more used to me. Like, he doesn't just immediately bite me anymore. And he's doing this new thing where... Which I kind of hate, but I don't. But he's doing this new thing where he'll wake me up at, like, anywhere from 8 to 10 in the morning. Which, ugh. If you don't know me, many of you do. But if you don't, I fall asleep at, like, 6 or 7 in the morning. I'm absolutely a ridiculous night owl. I mean, I stream till 3 in the morning. So here we are. It's 3.20. What the fuck? It's 3.20. I went too late. Anyway. <laughs> he'll wake me up because he wants to get pet. Like, he'll, he'll put his forehead right against mine. And then he'll, like, force his head under my hands while I'm asleep and wake me up. And I'll just, like, scratch his chin and his head. And he, he loves it. He doesn't bite me. He doesn't claw me. Sometimes he'll even sleep on my chest. So he's been starting to do that, which is cool. He needs to do that way more, though. Because during the day and at, like, 2 in the morning, he's running behind my computers, unplugging shit, and knocking things over, chasing flies. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> Just calm down. <laughs> Just calm down. <laughs> uh. Like, after stream, I just want to lay down under a blanket and watch someone else streaming. And not have to get up every five minutes because a cat knocks something over. It's like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> My per ball before him, the cat that passed away in December, was never like that. Lickety was kind of like that for a little bit. But never that bad. Never that bad. So this is new to me. I've never in my life owned a cat that is this crazy. And I'm like 38, so I just kind of don't have the same level of energy as he does. <laughs> it's just like, oh, oh man. Oh man. All right, where's this guy at? He said he was going to stream. Let's see. I don't see him. Come on. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, too bad. All right. I guess we won't hit him up. Do, 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 do. Anyway, yeah, it's 320. I'm tired. It's been a long week. This game's worn me out. We're gonna raid somebody. 
So come along with me if you don't mind. Thanks for all the support tonight, friends. I, it was cool. We met a lot of new faces and names tonight as well. It's always great to meet new people. If you're new here, hit that follow button so we can hang out with you again. You want to see more of this game? It'll be Sunday and Monday next week. Thursday, Friday is going to be DQ11 on the Switch. Um, Saturday, we do D&D &D every week Saturday. Background Guy 02 there is one of our players. So uh, the campaign has going, been going exceptionally well. We're at session 52 this coming week. And we're starting to upload them every two episodes every week to YouTube so people can catch up. Um, so I hope to see you there for that too. That'd be great. Um, but yeah, if you're new, I'd love to see you again. Always love to meet new people. Um, and thank you for the subs, the bits. We hit 30 sub score tonight. Uh, back up to 350 total, so thank you. Uh, we use World 20, kind of. Kind of. Kind of. So, uh, we'll just say that I have some of the best production quality for D&D &D on Twitch. Check it out. You'll see what I'm talking about. You can check out the first few episodes on YouTube. First four are up there. Uh, but I can say that without ego, that we have some of the highest production quality on Twitch for D&D. &D. Uh, and, and I mean that sincerely. So if you like D&D, &D, check it out. Check it out. Uh, it's always a fun time. Uh, who can I raid? Uh, Mr. Sath said he was going to be live, but I don't see him. So we'll have to go somewhere else. No problem. I'll be able to hit him up another time. Do, 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 do. Oh, this guy is, uh, let's see. Um, oh, this guy was just hanging out with us. Let's go ahead and say hi to him. Always very kind, always has very kind words for us. His name is Itch Seamus, so please, if you come along with me. Make sure I'm spelling it right. There's two S. All right, great. He's playing Mass Effect. On insanity difficulty. So if you want more RPGs, this can go from uh, fantasy RPG to sci-fi. Not too bad. So how about that? Dude. Here is our raid message. Fanny Bears rolling in for sci-fi. Sci Let's say sci-fi. I don't know what that means, but that's what I said. Sci-fi. There you go. Copy, paste, slash ME for color. We're going to go say hi to Mr. Seamus. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's got his stories. He knows how to tell a good story. So I hope to see you over there with me, all right? Just a reminder, you don't get a pre-roll ad if you go on a raid. You will not get a pre-roll ad. So a little incentive to just give him 30 seconds of your time. All right, folks, we'll see you in Seamus' channel, and I'll see you next time here. Uh, DQ11 on Thursday. Thank you.